Um, so I kind of wanted to play those jobs as well. I just really liked the idea of like using a lance and jumping and you know defeating enemies that way. Um, and I was a dragoon for all of A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Ward. And that ended up being a huge treat because Heaven's Ward was just like so dedicated to dragoons. Um, you got a lot of unique dialogue being a dragoon. You kind of felt more immersed in the story because you had a little bit more of a personal stake in it, being one of the two Azure dragoons along with Astinian. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. And I just I on it like I. Th uh, a Realm Reborn and Heaven's Word Dragoon was like peak Dragoon to me. Peak uh -huh. Dragoon gameplay. Um, when Stormblood came out, I wasn't having as much fun playing Dragoon. And it kind of got a little bit worse uh, through uh, <laughs> and Shadowbringers oh. and Endwalker uh, in terms of playing it. And not that it was mm -hmm. like terrible, but it just like wasn't as... Uh, as fun? Interactive as it used to be, yes. Mm. Um, I heard about it. <laughs> it kind of like made it a lot easier to play. Uh, they got rid of a lot of the buttons. Hi. <laughs> so it wasn't that great. I mean, like it was, it was, it was still fine to play. I still play it once in a while in casual content. Mm -hmm. um, but if I wanted to be, I, I, she was a friend already. Yeah, I did. Um, but I. Uh, I kind of wanted something a little bit more challenging. Um, and the other reason why I end up being a healer, and Hilda makes fun of me for this too, because it's like kind of a toxic reason. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's it's that I, I, it's hard to fight. So like I I do savage raids, I do end game raiding, which is like mm -hmm. the hardest content you can do in this game. Um. Uh, and finding good healers is very hard. Um, healing is just, like such a huge responsibility and finding <laughs> healers who can handle that <laughs> environment and stress at, uh, at all times and keep like a level <laughs> ahead. Uh, you don't <laughs> find them very often, especially you don't find ones with like good attitudes either, because that's kind of mm. important too in a, in a raid group. Um, so, oh gosh, essentially like. I became a healer because I didn't trust anyone else to do it. Oh, damn. That's like, valid, that's, actually. That's, that's, that that's, is super valid. That's, it, that's the fact. Is I, yeah. I didn't trust anyone else to do the job. I wanted to do it No, that, that's fair. You're a, you're a hardcore player, and if they don't heal well... Oh, boy. <laughs> exactly. I, <laughs> Bip's right. I have trust issues. Trust issues, yeah. I have trust issues. So that's what, that's, that's what everyone gets telling me. So Damn. that is my toxic reason for becoming a support main. <laughs> I apologize in advance. No, like in, in casual content, it doesn't matter, right? You can make all the mistakes you okay. want and you can still make it through. Famous last words. Yeah, it's when you're like <laughs> 10 weeks deep in a fight that you've been doing like for oh. three hours, twice a week. Uh -huh. and, then, and then like, you know, it's it the happening. same mistakes every time. It's just like, all right. <laughs> I want to be done with this. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's when it matters that you have somebody with a good mindset. And mm -hmm. I think, like, I, I do savage rating as well. Um, I stream it sometimes. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, Ave, you, you know, like, our, our group is very sort of uh, kind of easygoing, but we, we, like, when we need to buckle down and, like, just, like, you know, put our heads in, in the computer and just, like, all right, go. Like, we can, we can do that. And I think that's, like, mm -hmm. Why it's so important to to find that in a, in a like a savage group? Mm -hmm. That's what's so hard, hard, so hard about savage. Honestly, that's the hardest part about savage raiding is is finding a group that you mesh with that well. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been um, I've been raiding with the same group since Stormblood release. <laughs> oh wait, how long have you been playing the game? I've been playing for six years now. Oh gosh, yeah. I've been playing. I started a little bit before Heaven's Ward came out, so. I was playing. I finished a Realm of Born you. before a Heaven's Ward release, I must say. and then I played mm. through Heaven's Ward. The Crimson um, Field is meant to signify the blood of fallen I, I took breaks on and off. Like I was starting college around that time, 
and my college internet was awful, so I really Empire only played Heaven's Word during um, the my summer and winter breaks and off of school. Was mm -hmm. And it wasn't until All after I graduated where I kind of like of played a little bit more consistently um, with Stormblood, and that's also where I like kind of uh, found of some more friends to play with. We kind of started that together on Excalibur, started our C, um, decided to do Limsa, Savage raiding together, and we pretty much been the same raid group, you know plus or minus a couple of members courage, throughout the years. Yet many of um, ours did not survive. But yeah, we've been clearing uh, endgame raids Join me now since in remembering then. Those who fought in the oh. name of freedom. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Having like a lot of people that you can just play with on a consistent basis. Mm -hmm. Wait, can, can you do story content with people? Freedom. Um, yes, they have always technically been yes and no. Dungeons freedom. are technically story content. <laughs> Much as the beast yeah. tribes mm. have. A small wonder. For like solo duties, you can't do that with people. Solo duties, like, you can't. For, oh. For a lot of a Rome Reborn, it's like you can definitely it have, it's, it's good to have people with you. Since the calamity struck. Yeah, I'm actually to do the alliance raids on stream. Uh, if... I think you have to. Yes. I think you have to do Crystal Towers. I think Crystal Towers is now a requirement in MSQ. But when I stand or else, the you know, Shadowbringers would not make any sense. Out upon our battered yeah. and broken vessel, I see an hello, hello. Did we not build all this the wreck of the Galadian all those Were years to get ago? Some rest, hello? Shall we not do so again? Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. I guess that's a good way to like tangent into what I was trying to say earlier when I cut myself off because I was studying the tangent. Um, <laughs> but I was gonna say like uh, I think community is like the other like really good draw of this game, um, and not just like you know the IRL friends that you play with, um, which is definitely valid. It's like I, I think honestly I wouldn't be as into this game if I didn't have, like, a community to go through uh, Realm Reborn. Because as good as a Realm Reborn is still, uh, it is long, and parts of it are very, very, like, I don't want to say boring, <laughs> but there's there's a lot of slog where it's just like, I just, I'll say it for you. Yeah. I think the best way I've heard uh, uh, Realm Reborn uh, described is outdated. Or I, I guess not outdated, but dated. Um, it, it's a very, like, compared to newer expansions, it's not as, like, gripping, you know. Uh, but having people, like, to, to talk to and, like, a reason to, like, kind of log in and, like, have interaction and stuff really, like, kept me going through this game or else I would have dropped before you even got to Praetorium. Um, so, like, I think, I, you know, for new players that might not have people to play the game with, I think the best thing to do is like find a good free company to join. Boy, maybe I should have done. I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I started the game, I with, on my first day, I got invited to a free company, just because like there's people that sometimes sit in the, the starting cities and will just invite people in, and you know, a lot of a lot of people tend to join free companies and kind of just lurk in there, which is totally valid. Um, one of my friends is still in that free company, even though he, he barely logs in, but he's in there for the buffs, and that's that's all he's in there for. Um, but I, I think what's nice is that they're they're actually, uh, as of the most recent live letter they were talking about it, they really want to make it so that this game is, like, good to play on your own, too. And that's why they're expanding, like, the trust system uh, to Realm Reborn. Oh, is that, like, whenever you get... Um, bots basically to play with you yeah so in the in shadowbringers and endwalker they had the tr they introduced the trust system which was like ais would get into or like not ais but like oh yeah they are ais but they're they're story characters so like you know the scions would fight with you in the if dungeons me, uh as like ai know. bots and they're much more like because there's there's a there's a system like that already in the in the Alize, grand companies uh there's a squadron you have of like npcs that will like fight I with you, but it's not as sophisticated as the traveler. the trust system. Uh, like you have to give them commands to fight and everything, mm -hmm. uh, and they they are not very good at fighting. <laughs> but like the the trust system is very well like built out to where like there's they do a very specific thing, uh, and they're very good at it. Um, oh. 
but yeah, they're they're adding that to a Rummy Born, uh, mm -hmm. and and eventually all of the expansions, uh, mm -hmm. like all three of the new, the uh, last expansions. Um, so that's that's gonna be really cool mm -hmm. to look at. Mm -hmm. You should definitely definitely try a Una. Oh dang it! I was gonna say if the redeem was there, but you took it off for now. Which one? <laughs> you know the the you know that redeem. scripture. Uh, well, yes, the scripture. I was actually um, when no one was finished with their piece, I was gonna thank uh, Catfire for donating five dollars, and oh. that means I do have to say it. Perfect. Uh, it's perfect. Luna, if you weren't aware, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen, the game I'm playing right now, uh, it has a free trial. You can play uh, up to level 60 Ape. with no restriction on playtime. It also includes Ape. the award-winning Heavensward expansion. Yeah. You need to get, like, getting close to the screen. Like, you need to chore her. Chore the... The hoodie. The hoodie? <laughs> yeah, chore the hoodie. Get <laughs> there in there. Go. Right there. Gotta go now. Need to get your IRL task done before you can join, Abe. Thank you so much for stopping by, Zwar. The thing I'm is, sorry. I've never played an MMO, and I think you really need friends to play it with. You have so many friends to play it with. Everyone that's showed Luna. up in this stream. Oh my god, you and I would play, play with you. That's another thing, too. I, I think um, a lot of people kind of get uh, turned off of playing this game because it's like, oh, it's an MMO. Um, I think I think even one of the devs described it as, as oh, this, too. Okay. Is like, it's This game, I think, is an RPG first. And an MMO mm -hmm. second, because like it, it's like it definitely feels mm -hmm. like that in in other expansions, um, where it's like this this game is very very story heavy, and for the most part mm -hmm. the story is like a single player experience. Um, yeah. And then like eventually when you finish all the story, that's when it's like okay now it's, now it's an MMO now there's dailies to do now there's things to do with my friends there's raiding all that kind of stuff that's that's when it like becomes an MMO. But for the 200 so hours you're gonna spend in the story, probably, it is definitely like a an RPG first. Yes, it feels like everything's made around that. I, like every every mechanic, everything in the game is made around the RPG that does for, you know, yeah. an actual MMO like WoW. Mm -hmm. Yeah, WoW definitely feels like an MMO. Uh, the, the story of WoW is is much less. Uh, like intriguing. <laughs> I guess more lore than anything proper story. Kind of like a lot. That's it's a lot of lore because I played WoW for like a good year or so. Mm -hmm. Um, and and I I admit I, ta I touched on this earlier how fourteen has a different kind of experience that keeps me invested because I'm not really a huge MMO person after like especially after WoW. Um, but like, uh, in fourteen your character is like much more interesting to like develop whereas in wow you're just kind Hello, of like Dicka. a guy <laughs> like you're just a person like there's just uh, in, in the you world you have to take a call yes and uh we don't know where he's like eventually i think as of uh, in like a month or so right well i, I know ave would know this but uh they're adding cross data center travel so even if you play in one of the eu okay. servers you can come to the, the North American servers and play. You hear that, Yuna? <laughs> Not to mention, you can you can create a character on these data centers. You're oh, not you can! The, yeah, 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 yeah. I can make one. On, I, I have one, a character on the Oceana server. I had to start over, but I think that we worked it either way. But oh, that's awesome! I didn't I didn't actually know that was coming so soon. Yeah, it's uh, I think six point one eight, which is like I, within the next month, I think, because six point one or no no my bad sorry that's gonna come like probably like in like summer because mm -hmm. we're in 6.0 right now uh 6.1 is coming in the next month or so and then 6.18 i think is when they're doing the cross data center travel which is gonna be very exciting because i have friends that play on the different na data centers that i've been wanting to play with like irl friends but they play on like Cactar and I'm on Leviathan, which is like a completely different data center. Yeah, I mean, ping is ping is definitely relevant, but it's like, it's it's not a huge deal until, like, you get into like super high end content. Because if you're doing like savage raids and stuff, um, that's when ping really matters, because lagging really that is. Hard. 
Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> until at least until you're like over leveled for it. Uh, sometimes like, I mean, Ava, Ava's streamed it a mm. lot, but some of the like the DPS checks on that. So like, if you don't do enough damage, you just won't pass the fight. Some of those checks get to like oh the God. last like. It, there's a thing called enrage, which is like an insta kill mechanic that they they cast, and oh. you'll see the cast bar going. And it'll get to like the last like five percent of the health of the cast bar before you're able to kill it. That's how close some of the DPS checks are. Ah, uh, they're worse than ultimate, <laughs> but like oh no, I mean uh, this tier at least when it opened up, that's when it was there. But like by the time you're at the final fight of this tier, generally most teams have like a gear, like enough gear to like kind of not be that close. But it's still like if you're having ping issues or connection issues, uh, it can really mess up a fight. Yeah, that's right. Babe. Oh gosh. Yeah, high end content in this game is completely optional though. There's there's mm -hmm. not really a super huge reason to do it unless you really want right. to. Like there's right. no there's no like they won't either. force you to at all. Mm -hmm. Um and if you if you just want to experience the fight without doing the high end content, there's always a normal version of it and a savage version of it. It's so, like you can still do the fights and they're not as difficult and it's experience the story of them. The savage fights are just the same fight, except they make them harder. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Like, um, so I haven't really done a lot of that content because I, I finished, I was struggling to the post game of Brown Reborn because mm -hmm. that content, like I like the crystal, the crystal tower, I think it was called. That quest yeah. line was really cool. I really like that one. But everything after that, it was just like, Oh my gosh. It just dragged on. I think it took me like a year to finish a Realm Reborn. Yeah, Proper. yeah. The the second half of a Realm Reborn is really, really rough. <laughs> it got really good by the end, though. Yeah, the end, the last like five or six quests completely redeemed the entire expansion so for me. Good. They're so uh, good. But yeah, like that, like from, from the midpoint to that point, it's like, it's, it's a lot of, that's what people call the slog. Because it's just mm -hmm. like so much stuff that's just fluff. None of it really mm -hmm. matters. Yeah, you could cut a lot of the stuff out and it wouldn't matter. They actually did, too. Like, they, they it used to be longer. <laughs> Wait, how uh, much did they cut out? So, I think they cut out, I think it was like 15% of the story stuff, or like the quests. It I, I want to say lot. it was like, I, I don't know the exact number, but it was a lot of quests they cut out. Mm -hmm. Something around like 50. Oh, wow, that's so much. Yeah, there was they cut out like an extra like, you know, good double digit double digits amount of like hours from the story because it was just like so much, and all of it was like fluff too. It was just like go here, talk to this guy, and do this, and it doesn't really matter. And I wouldn't ex I wouldn't be surprised if they if they did that again for future expansions, um, because like I don't know, there's there's some stuff at this point in Realm Reborn feels like it's like pretty, uh well encapsulated i guess mm -hmm. it's it's its own good thing but there's still some stuff they could probably cut out the question is does it need to be i mean unless like is the is uh is the post game for every other expansion like bad or, as well or is it like is it better no no then? Uh, pretty much everything from Heavensward onward is like just gets better and better. Oh well, that's exciting. Yeah, I mean, by yep. the time you get to you know Shadowbringers and and Walker, uh, it, it's insanely different and just like amazing story. I mean, mm -hmm. Shadowbringers was like the best expansion, in my opinion, uh, and Walker is like just behind that. It's it's fantastic. They cut amount of ether currents from like yeah yeah. They did that too. So like in, in uh Shadowbring or not Shadowbringers, from Heavensward onwards, in order to unlock flying, you had to get Aether Currents, which are these little like uh wind currents that are like actually in the map. Mm -hmm. Uh you had to go around and collect those. And it used to be uh as Bip said, there used to be like sixteen per zone or something. What are those for? I think it was more like it was more like eight or nine. Uh, you, when you collect all of them, you can unlock flying in that area. Oh, so that's why I couldn't fly. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Because when you beat a Realm Reborn, you just unlock flying for everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, they just give it to you. But in every area after that, for Heavensward onwards, you have to get Aether Currents. Uh, and that's that's ma mainly so that, like, I, I actually don't really know why they do that, because they could oh, just no. do the Realm Reborn thing, but then, I don't know. I kind of like Aether Currents. It lets you, like, explore, and it gives you a reason to do some of the side content there. Mm -hmm. Um... But I definitely, I'm glad they reduced the amount of Aether Currents per area. Hi, Kali. Thank you for the hydrate and posture check. Make sure to hydrate and posture check, everybody. No shrimping. I just stop. I can't actually gotta shrimping. get my water. I'll be right back. Oh, no. And now there was one. <laughs> Hello, chat. How's everyone join the Donaton? A will return. That he had to take a very important phone call. I don't know if it was important, but he he had left in a hurry, so probably gonna say so. Also, I kind of love his turtle, Gitto. Look at it, so cute. Hold on, I need to look at it very closely. Oh, your oh, this turtle is so cute. Look at it. What are your thoughts on Alalafell? I mean, I am Alalafell, as you can see. As you can see me on Aved stream right now. I'm currently just roaming around. <laughs> so you can probably see my thoughts on Alalafell. <laughs> <laughs> and also had Nanamo, as you see on my head. Because she's the best, she's the best companion pet doll. And you, no one can change my mind. <laughs> I am a potato and proud. <laughs> I considered uh, Fantasia, like using a Fantasia to go to Lalafell for a bit. They're so cute. Like, and. Ah, I like potatoes. Oh. So, what is your race, actually? Mine? Hmm? Uh, I'm an Aura. I'm the same as Ave. Oh, okay, okay. I just have different horns. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, I was confused for a second. Wait, isn't he a. Uh, isn't he a Viera? And then I just realized, okay, right, this is out. Yeah, <laughs> his, his, normal, uh -huh. his normal race is a Viera. Or not Viera, uh, uh, Arug. So why do people hate Lelafell? I never quite understood that meme. I don't really fully understand it. I, I, I honestly don't. I think they're a really cute race, but, like, I don't think it's any, like, particularly bad reason mm -hmm. i think it's just at some point somebody was like i don't like lalas they're weird or something and then uh it just kind of caught on as like a community meme i don't think a lot of people like really hate them oh. that much there he Ape is. has returned hello hello welcome back what did i miss anything important uh yep, they're just talking about, about... Oh, we were talking the game about... yeah we're talking about the game. <laughs> the game. let me catch up on chat believe it or not <laughs> Y'all are NA, I'm EU. So? Wait, you're EU? What? Well, no, what he's Una's talking about you. Oh, okay, okay. EU. That doesn't change anything. I mean, like, maybe there's some latency, but that doesn't really change much. This game is, like, not so intense that latency makes a big deal, honestly. Um, like, my friends played with Australians. And they did perfectly fine in endgame raids. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you sound like you had to try hard though. <laughs> I yeah. I I I, uh, I mentioned this anecdote last night where um, one of my friends had. Uh, got oh my a god! Job. Oh my god! Wait. <laughs> What's up? What happened? You okay? No. Someone just randomly giving me a lot of. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have a turtle now. Hold on. I need to join you in the turtle. <laughs> in the turtle lane. Sorry, please continue. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Uh, right. So one of my friends uh, ended up getting a job as a nurse's assistant, but that required him to work nights and overnights. Uh, and if he wanted to raid, he had to raid in the morning. And the only people that would raid in the morning were Australians. Oh yeah, you know our our uh, our free company has a lot of people from like uh, Southeast Asia as well. Like mm -hmm. we have some Indonesian uh, people on our raid team. Well, not our raid team, but 
on the FC's raid team. raid team. Yeah, RFC has two like main raid teams, mm -hmm. um, and we have people that raid from like uh, Indonesia. Uh, what's it called? Philippines, stuff like that. So like uh, all over yeah, the place. Yeah. yeah, and and they don't have major connection issues. Okay. In fact, most of them are are more consistently connected than some people from like the same area as me. So. Thank you, Sky. I love it. Look at them. Are we uh, are we gonna be Guido gang now? Guido gang. Guido gang. Guido gang. Did you guys see? Uh, you guys probably didn't see. Um, uh... <laughs> Someone asked her uh, Ember to doodle herself as a turtle. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> Is it in her channel? No, I. I like it's, her, on, it's, on the, it's on the. It's on the stream right now. Yeah, that was awesome. Can you get on my head, Gito? Oh. oh, I love no, that. We, we were just saying, is this dog? Is this dog? <laughs> is this dog? <laughs> Behold, dog. Behold, dog. Behold, dog. Oh, I In love awe, that drawing so much. I know. <laughs> we are now Gito gang. Mm -hmm. So, upon seeing this, Bip decides to give everyone a Gito. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes. Oh, like I love this game like, so much. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Do they look at each other? Uh, uh, yeah, they I do. think they did. I didn't even know that. <laughs> they yep. can do that. Yep. Certainly. Yeah. Like look at me and Aves. Bring yours over here. See it's, if they. It's uh, oh. client. It's client side, so it might not show. Oh. But uh, yes, yeah, certain minions will interact with one another. Oh, I, know, like, I the, didn't know that. I know the brides moogles will like do the little dance. Yeah. You look, get... I'm a, on my screen. Ours is looking at each other. Mm -hmm. If you oh, get a cute. troop of the uh, Eternal Bond Moogles together, they'll start dancing. Mm -hmm. And like throwing roses. Actually, oh my god! That is the the Moogle dancing is the only. I'm gonna say it's the only minion that is client uh, that is not mm. client side. It's server side, so everyone uh, sees. Well, oh wait, what about the cheerleader? Do you have the cheerleader? Not on this character. <laughs> you okay. have to get it, oh, you wait. get it through PVP, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I don't have the cheerleader. Uh, Eternal Bond model, like Moogle. Yeah, so uh, if, you, yeah, if you're a guest of uh, someone's Whoa. wedding, you get the, the Bride's Moogle minion. Looks like that. Yep. And if you have a group of them, they start dancing with each other. They like go into a little ring and start like throwing flowers oh. down. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that, is that the day you have to marry? Uh, yes, you can be a guest at a marriage. That's what I yeah. do. Everybody gets a roof bag with one of these, and they get the where little is box the, minion, right? Little demon box, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one. Oh, I had an idea. Wow. Yeah, let's, let's see if they start dancing. Hold on. Dang. I need. I clearly need. To, I need to get married so I can get one of those. <laughs> or just <laughs> attend a, a marriage. You can. Yeah, you can just attend one. Oh, you just there get you one go. like that. There you go. Yep. There you go. Oh, are they dancing? Yes. Yeah, they're dancing. Yeah, oh, that's cute. You can get like I think I don't know if there's like a a limit on how many can do it, but like the last wedding I went to, we had like. 25 people and all of them oh. pulled their moves out and were just dancing around in a huge oh circle. Oh my god, it's so yeah. cute. I think, I think they'll split up into like uh, a few different circles. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like the. I think there's like a. There's all the Moogles actually will do that together. So any of the Moogle minions will dance. Um, I don't know if the. I have the Taoist Moogle. I don't know if he'll do that with the Bride's Moogle. Yeah, groups of eight dip things. Groups of eight? Yeah, that sounds oh. about right. Yeah, look. Uh, oh, wait, you're not here. But the <laughs> any any Moogle minions will dance together. Cool. So, like, the, the Taoist one I have is dancing with the Bride Moogle right now. <clears throat> okay, Chamber of Earl. Here I come. Just that cutscene, so you guys can just chill and chat. Like, okay, then. there's a lot of these like small details that make it into Final Fantasy that just people adore it. Yeah. Behold, oh, that one's a really cute one. How do you get that one? Is that just a? Oh, that's just a regular wind up moogle. I don't even think I have that. Hey, Kali. Did you guys uh hydrate and foster check when Kali redeemed it? Where the fire burns I drank something. I actually went and got more water. That's good. <laughs> Hurrah! Braubon! Where since antiquity, 
Under the sage and judicious Is that Moogle from a special event? Dynasty, we have I don't know like, how you just get the regular winded Moogle. Where by the grace and glory of Naldor have our brave sons and daughters from Mogmail, I think he purchased. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, like, I really, okay. really want the uh, the Carbuncle plushie minion, but uh, you have to buy the Carbuncle plushie from, from Square Enix, and it's like, I think, $36 or something. And I already, oh, have, I already have a plushie of a Carbuncle, so like... <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. But I got it from, like, uh, a Secret Santa. Like, somebody got it to me, like, like, through, like, eBay or something, so... It's like a second hand. One of the members of my statics uh, bought, like, the $200 Shiva statue. Mm, oh, yeah. I only used the emote. He gave away the statue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an emote that comes with a statue. <laughs> Oh man, that's a Chad move right there. I think one of our friends has the Omega, like uh, one. I don't know if she sold it yet, but she has the the emote. He has the emote too. He also has the um, the not the Estor, the uh, what's her name? If the fates were fair, um, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Hmm. Alas, they are not. <laughs> and now. But five years into this name? seventh umbral era, describe the character. The it's the um, which granted us our strength. Villainess from uh, Scum Blood. Look oh, Yugiri? You. Uh, no, Yugiri is not a villainess. Not you take Nigeria. that yeah, back. Yeah, you'll see. You'll yes. see. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, take yeah. that back. She is a queen. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, can he say that? Wait, what? No, I'm talking about uh, Yotsu. Yotsu oh, okay, yeah, guys, we're in. I was reading Chad. There's a Yotsu figurine. I don't think it's a figurine. I think you have to get like a an, an album. Oh, you mean the the, the minion? Yeah, the minion. Yep. yeah, yeah. It comes from the art book. I actually have that oh, art book. Okay. I have that minion. Uh, you get it from the one of the Stormblood art books, oh. which I also got for a secret Santa. Strangling the lifelines of trade. Meanwhile. So, Abe, I wanted to ask actually. Of of um, so what made you, what what compelled you like to want to do this specifically? We like, what what was the thing that really convinced you like to go for this? Do like doing the Donatan? Mm -hmm. Oh, trader or soldier, I I, or must I definitely had in mind to do a charity. Um, I wanted I wanted specifically to do a charity just because like. Um, it sure is amazing. Thank you, Rudis Monster. <laughs> Good morning. Or I guess Welcome. it's technically afternoon, but good after morning. Um, it's always morning. It's morning somewhere. Oh my god. I wanted, so I definitely wanted to do a charity because um, I think people's money are better well spent on those who need it more, uh, more than I do. Uh, I, uh, I live sort of comfortably. Seek not to prosper from Ulda, but enough, to I'd say. I'm not. I'm not in in need of anything. I'd say. How's that? Um, so I feel like I wouldn't benefit uh, in doing like a personal donathon or subathon. So I wanted people to instead help me bring more awareness to those in need, and I feel like. Uh, uh, particularly vulnerable people right now are trans youths. Um, I've been following the sort of information and news for people a while now. Um, I, I try to keep myself up to date, even if it does make me a little sad addressing. hearing what they have to go through on a daily Much basis. Been made of the wealth of um, but this gave me sort of like an opportunity to that uh, use my small platform uh, to do some good. For the true wealth of Uldar lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. Oh. Beloved subjects, I bid you raise aloft the torch oh. of Uldar, Hello? Hello? that her flames oh, might sorry, serve I it as a beacon for all Eosia to see. I don't know, because suddenly there was full silence. No, 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 at the end. Oh, well, okay, I stop know, talking. I know, you got to finish. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> stop talking. Um, oh. 
Oh, well, that's yeah, awesome of you. Like, seriously, I really appreciate that you go ahead and do something like this. Yeah. You're, you're so modest, but I really do appreciate it. <laughs> Forsooth! The time is now! I believe I believe. meeting you again. Twins are oh, following man. me. They're stalking you. Alize doesn't, like, say a single word at all about Realm Reborn until maybe <laughs> Coils. I just realized I haven't seen her in ages. Yeah, but that's why. <laughs> I don't think she has very many lines until Coils. And like a lot of people miss Coils because if you didn't start in A Realm Reborn, um, it's completely optional content. You never really have to do it. I literally just did. I just finished Coils like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She just. Like... I never knew that there was a. There's a continuation to the opening cutscene mm -hmm. in Coils. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Like, Alizé just exists as a character, but like she has no lines for a majority of 2.0. Oh. Do I hear synced Coils soon? No. Sync Coils is not part of the uh, this this marathon. Maybe as a future collab? Question mark. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, don't look now, Avery, but you got a little bit of a scuff at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> I, I hope I was hoping no one uh, would notice. Sorry, guys. Well, now I'm looking. Hold on. Yeah, and I'm looking for her as well. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh wait, you mean me? Yes. Fuck. You know, so, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes scuff just rolls in, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh. God damn it! I just realized he means me. God damn it! I, I can't believe I fell for that. God damn it! it took me a moment. Don't worry. Shut up! Don't worry. I got it. The moment you said it, I understood. Oh no! That makes it worse. <laughs> As always. Oh. oh my god. You know that I would I wouldn't think you would bully me in AF stream as well. The the mod and streamer relationship uh never it, it transcends one's channel. It it never goes away. You know, it's kinda of funny. I think I get bullied in every other stream that I go to. Mm -hmm. For the friends that that I know. I think I always get bullied even when it's not my stream. <laughs> This is BS. Mm -hmm. Where am I headed to? Uh, I'm, I'm lagging so behind on my job quest. I'm probably I need to do it so I can get my crystal. <laughs> I'm almost yeah, level three already. Oh right, you don't want to. Oh, you really don't want to not do that, right? <laughs> Someone's advertising their Discord server in Limbo. <laughs> yeah, because of course yep. they are. Una also wants to bully Miku. Wow. I'm glad to have such good friends. <laughs> There's a Graha over here in Old Odd named Crystal Sandwich. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's great. I, I, kept, I keep forgetting there's a Moogle Tom event going on right now. Me do. Hello! 3D Abe, yes! I can move now. Good morning, good after morning, Maydu. Did you have a good night's rest? Thanks again for the radius today. Where am I going? Uh, Solid? Vitra, hello, welcome back. How was lunch? Hope it was extra tasty. I gotta go to the like, culinarians. Chocobo soon, yes. The whole model is awesome, but you notice uh, the <laughs> shirt at first? Yeah. Don't look now, but there are a few kitties on the stream. Just a few. Good morning, Sora. Hi, Sora. Hello, Sora. You did? You got some chores to do? Well, I'm glad you're here know. while you're doing your chores. 
Let I me know when we do a dungeon. I'm going to do leveling really quick. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I think I have a lot of cutscenes and solo duties to do. Yeah. But I want to catch up on, uh, yeah. on my job quest. <laughs> Don't worry. All good, Chief. I'm going to try to get my saw the Twitter post. 90. Everything okay? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was... So, like, we're, we're definitely behind schedule. Uh, significantly behind schedule. Let me see if I can upgrade the MSQ tracker. It says, Hero in the Making. Uh, 29% of the way there. It took us seven and a half hours to finish the first dungeon of this game. <laughs> it was, uh, pretty ridiculous. Um... And then after a couple hours after we finished a couple more dungeons, the surface crashed. <laughs> so we, we were forced to stop there. Um, we spent some time, uh, you know, just chatting, having fun. Um, great. Do I even have this? No, wait. Where have you tried off? Is that so far away? What's the quickest place? Uh... Lower Lanosia. Okay, let's go to Lower Lanosia. Alright, where'd I leave off? Uh, yeah, so we were just chatting for after the servers crashed. Um, we did a little bit of reflection. Um, is Bunny Boy wearing a made outfit? Yes, Bunny Boy is wearing a made outfit. Look at this picture. Not that one. This one. Fina took this one. Very handsome. Very beautiful. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so we kind of did, like, a reflection of the past year, um, the past couple of years for those who've been playing Battle Fantasy a longer. Uh, Virtue stopped by at about, like, 3 in the morning, because Virtue also doesn't know how to sleep. Hey, nice tank. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um... And so Virtue was kind of telling us about how, uh, they met oasis for the first time and it was be so not oasis sorry uh autumn they met autumn for the first time so uh i believe virtue was kind of like they kind of like played final fantasy alone um they've been playing since a realm reborn actually about the same time that i started as well uh and they had a house and apparently there was this fc that was constantly stalking virtue's house because uh, oh. they wanted to take it. <laughs> they wanted it to, uh. to take the house for their FC. Um, and uh, one day, oh, Virtue gets uh, an invite to that FC, right? And eventually meets um, Autumn, who was the one who was trying to get the FC. And Autumn's reaction was like, I can't believe you invited the enemy into our FC. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Alex, welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello. What were you doing? You're playing Final Fantasy 15. Nice. We we're talking about how much I liked uh, Aranea a little bit ago. It was one of the reasons why I ended up playing a uh, Dragoon. Suzu, hello. Thank you so much for the follow. You had a... I think you had an anniversary stream the other day, right? I think it was for 12 hours? How did that go? I hope it was uh, successful. Trunks, SK, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, this is not the quest I'm going to do. Over here. How's everyone doing this fine after morning? My name is Ave Your Red, but you can call me Ave. I am a, a support coach. Thank you for That's the thousand bits. I think <laughs> I'm taking a beating. Oh my gosh! Are you okay? It looks like you're being tenderized. <laughs> that is really funny. Just keep going. <laughs> Thank you. Even so oh my gosh, that's a lot. Oh gosh, damn. Garfield fanfic? Oh, the one that I sent you? Oh my gosh. That's so... What a coincidence. Yeah, were you okay after that? Zushu, are you okay after that? 
What the heck? I just woke up to Yeah, that was that was a lot of noise. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> good morning. Good after morning, Hika. Thousand bits is a thousand things pelted at your face. That is a lot of stuff to be pelted at your face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hope you're okay. Um let's see. Hello all, welcome. Well, of all the clips it shows the one where you swear like a sailor. Excellent. That's the best ones. That's the ones we like to see when Sora gets uh, clipped. Damn, um, cousin Sora. Yeah, cussing Sora. If you tell me to wake, if you tell me to wake up, you can hear Sora cussing me. Hey yo, wake the fuck up, Red. <laughs> I'm awake. Yesterday it wasn't an anniversary, but just for fun, we had a great time. I'm so glad to hear that. Let's see. That looks painful. What the heck? Uh, actually. ARR? Yes, Zippo. We're playing through all of our Realm we're born today. We're trying to complete it uh, before 9 o'clock tomorrow for the sake of this charity. Um, although even if I fail, the charity succeeded. We managed to reach our uh, $1,000 goal, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> you managed to fail. So you successfully failed. I, yes, I failed successfully. <laughs> no, I failed successfully. <laughs> there you go, that's the one. Axe Yard? Is that it? Did I say it correctly? Welcome to the street. Eve is too powerful? No. My strength no. comes from all of my friends. You're like, oh, you're, you're, oh, I see you're a Kingdom Hearts fan. <laughs> or a Fire Emblem, uh, what's it called? Radiant Fire, Dawn fan. Fire Emblem Lord, yeah. <laughs> Eve is too I powerful. When did Fina go to bed? Fina went to bed, uh, when I took my nap. Dina was here the entire time, basically. Just skip all I the dialogue and it takes like five hours. I am not allowed to skip uh, the, the, <laughs> the cutscenes. Wait, what was the fail part? Ernie showed you there. You're gonna get that lower. Mm. Abe benches his friends, only the bad ones. <laughs> Will gets benched all the time. Imagine being benched by Abe. Needs more like Darkness Heart for Kingdom Hearts. Uh, let's see. I think that comes like later. Right? <laughs> uh, Trunks, thank you so much for the twenty dollar donation. Let me uh, add your name to the wall of warriors. What color should I choose? What are we lacking? Uh, we're lacking some greens. Are you gonna post a picture of that wall? <laughs> yes, it'll be my wall nice. of warriors of lights. Oh wait, are you like actually writing on your wall? Uh, sticky, notes. sticky notes. Sticky notes. <laughs> oh! Let's see. Can't wait to see the wall. It's getting pretty crowded. I actually need to add... Did I add Solus yet? I didn't add Solus yet. Start there. You're a melon. I don't, I don't think I asked for your uh, pronouns, I guess. I don't even know what they would be. Oh, uh, he's there. Okay, okay. I have to make sure. Uh, what else? I guess as a reminder, we actually, ha so I'm doing raffles every six hours or so. Uh, the current prize is a complete edition of Final Fantasy XIV. So if you're looking to get into the game, here's your chance of getting uh, Final Fantasy XIV and all of its expansions. It also comes with a 30-day uh, subscription when you, uh, when you uh, redeem it. Um, but if you are starting for the very first time, I still highly recommend that you uh, start by playing the free trial um, of Final Fantasy XIV, which includes A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heaven's Word expansion for free. Uh, you can play up to level 60 with no restriction on playtime. You wouldn't have to pay a cent. Still can't get rid of over the V-Roid model moving still. It seems unreal. Oh. I as well like your Beerwind model. It's it's a female Beerwind model. Yes, it is. I I uh made it fairly androgynous on purpose. Mm. Mm -mm. But I still wanted to make uh it look cute. Back. Oh and uh, Miku, I forgot to ask yours as well. <laughs> oh, it's your okay. Friend. I and you. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, two more names. Let's get more pinks on the wall. Catfire. 
But yes, if you want to enter the um, raffle, you just have to donate at least $5 before I pull the prize. Which is, uh, I don't know, maybe another three or four hours. And then I'll rotate to a different prize. What's up? What is the prize this time? The prize is uh, the complete edition of Final Fantasy XIV, which includes uh, the base game and all of its expansions, including Ooh. a 30 day subscription. Yeah, the one want. that comes with like the uh, pre order bonuses, too? Uh, it's a good question. I'm not sure. And you get four expansions and a run reward. Damn. Yeah. That's a good prize for, a fight for at least $5, everyone. Mm hmm. You should totally donate. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get read to, able to read to the fan fiction. I don't know which fan fiction, but wait, hold on, okay, hold on. So, so a thousand at a, at the thousand dollar goal was that I have to write uh, fan fiction of my. Oh, it's happening now. Let's uh, go. And at twelve fifty, I have to read it on stream. Which we made it. <laughs> well, we're not at twelve fifty yet. We're almost there. Yeah. Wait, no. Wait. Oh, I thought we were. Okay, okay, no, okay. We're not at twelve fifty yet. Um, Hold on, give me a second. And at oh, <laughs> uh oh, um, at fifteen hundred, uh, I have to do a karaoke stream. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. I have to make you guys work for it because it's it's not something. Is I... the right Garfield fan? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Um, I I have an idea in mind. Uh, maybe I'll keep it a secret. And surprise everyone. Does it involve bad boy Dr. Phil? It does not. <laughs> Catfire. Here, there you go. Beep. Even a Garfield hoodie. <laughs> no. Oh, that'd be epic. There we go. And let's do orange. If it does incorporate Garfield, you'll have to add a Garfield hoodie to your model. <laughs> okay, Solus, that's what we needed. Solus Galvis? Solus uh, Leon. There we go. Uh... Solus Leon is actually one of my friends from grade school. Oh, cool. Oh. oh. Uh, we, we recently reconnected through Final Fantasy, which is, like, incredibly wholesome, honestly. Um, <laughs> yeah. After, so, we we met in grade school. Uh, we were friends in grade school and middle school. When high school happened, we kind of grew distant. Um, we had different classes. Um, and then, like, I basically had no contact with him throughout all of college and, like, the next, like, couple of years afterwards. Um, but one day... Uh, he, I, I saw the same phone number from, from high school and, uh, he sent me a text, which was, Hey, you got an Amazon delivery. And he was delivering my Amazon packages to my house. And I was like, Oh, Hey, what's up? It's been wow. a while. Um, and, uh, he was like, you know, not bad doing pretty well. Uh, I started playing final fantasy recently and now I'm addicted and and then that's kind of how we rekindled that friendship. Very cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. What a coincidence. I'm streaming it. <laughs> <laughs> read Sir Read uh Ursur fanfic? What's Ursur fanfic? It said it says read as your fanfic. Oh, read us your fanfic. Sorry. I'm I I'm illiterate now, so I don't think I can read fanfic. <laughs> but is that you, Miku? Yeah, perhaps. 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 <laughs> Are you? You're already on the wall, right? Yes. Maybe. I, I think I am. Yes, I see you. I remember putting it in orange because it reminds me of your clothes. <laughs> oh, yes. Welcome back, Solus. Yeah. yeah, we were both like, uh, we were both, uh, really excited for, uh, and Walker to come out, and we've been talking about it for a couple of weeks. And when mm -hmm. it finally happened, we were just like, "This is amazing," but we can't talk about it because we're at different paces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I was I I had to do it slowly because I had to work, um, and obviously the the queue issues. 
Solus was doing it slowly because he wanted to do it uh, at the same pace as his fiance. Um, mm -hmm. But like we were still at different stages, so we could, it was like hard to talk about it because we didn't want to spoil it. It was just like such a good experience. Yeah, um, <laughs> I had the same experience with my yeah. friend. Actually, I did the entire expansion like with my some of my friends from IFC. Mm -hmm. uh, like we did like a light party thing. Mm -hmm. We're like, oh, like we're all gonna team up as like a little light party and go through all this stuff together. So we would play for like we think we played the entire like release weekend, and then like when it, it came time to do like work mm. stuff throughout the week, I was like, I have to wait like three days now <laughs> to keep doing this story. <laughs> mm. That's yeah. Wait, so. Can you do light parties while you're doing quests in other instances? Uh, we we basically did light party for. We eventually just said like, okay, we'll do the dungeons together. So we'd kind of just do a thing where we we did all the story content up to the dungeon, mm. and then uh, when we got to the dungeon, we'd sit there and, and wait. Oh, okay. But it basically involved us just hopping in a in a uh, four person mount together and just walking around Long the areas. Winter melon, Sarah. Oh, I was uh, yeah. I was like, oh wait, tee hee. It, it's funny because I was looking for for their channel, but I don't, didn't even know how to type it. <laughs> the fake winter melon. Did you know there's actually on Primal there's a Kataribe Yuki. Oh. And they're actually they're actually on Leviathan. Oh, that's <laughs> like, funny. <laughs> I've seen them in uh, Yulemore, like crafting. They're also a crafter like me, mm -hmm. so like <laughs> I see them in Yulemore every, every now and then. I just walk up to them like, which one of us yeah. is real? Who's the imposter? Yes. <laughs> Sus. Oh, there we go. Oh, I actually yeah. like constantly makes fun of it because <laughs> they see them every now and then, and then they'll send me a picture like, "Who is this?" <laughs> All right. Is that Poinex Prog? Poinex Prog. Yes. Poinex we're almost oh, there too. You should be we're almost there. Uh, we're on Flames of Avarice, I think. Oh. Or, sorry, Flame Flames of Asphodel. Oh, Oh no! Did she mess up? <laughs> what happened? Was that the one where I said like goodbye, guys? Yeah. Yeah. So during that, uh, <laughs> I went left, uh -huh. and I was like, I saw my entire team going right, and I was like, they're going the wrong way. So I was like. Like, just like to be a little jerk, I was like, bye guys. And then I got hit with the, the thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. There we go. Hopefully, that doesn't appear on stream. Did Mikusagi get shouted out? I didn't see the clip. It's the real Winter Moon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I have to I have to leave no. the party real quick. Okay. I know, I'm always scared when people like that have the shout out and then they have a video as well. Because mm -hmm. I was worried, like, oh god, where's the clip that's gonna pop up? <laughs> well, the real Winter Melon, please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Wait, what video came up? Actually, I know. Yeah, I, I didn't see one either. I wonder if it was just like too short for me to notice. Maydu, thank you so much for the hydrate and posture check. Everyone, please take a sip of water. Also, this you kid know, just got wrecked. You know, you're you're right. I need to go get some water, actually. Mountain Blade, hello! Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Oh, wow, this kid got destroyed. Ooh, what <laughs> is that beautiful monster boy? It's just about to be eaten you by a hyena. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. Thank you for the lurk, Kali. Animals Eating are just hungry. Point. Be nice to them. Yeah, PETA wouldn't enjoy this. Did you guys see the uh, the uh, Elden Ring video that PETA? Yes. It is <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Wait, what video? So uh, PETA released a video about Elden oh. Ring 
about like not harming the animals there and like people were like so impressed by they the fact that they have to be self aware like <laughs> they have to be cuz like remember oh. the animal crossing one yes like <laughs> people were like really come on <laughs> wasn't that the video in which they parried a horse and a like horse like rider and they horse it yes yeah that's exactly like, what happened free the horse from the rider I didn't even know that. That no was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, I can't believe I learned that you could carry horsemen from a PETA video. Thanks, PETA. Very cool. Thank you, PETA. Um, Anonymous, thank you so much for that $35 uh, donation. I will. I, I don't know your name, but I'll just I'll put Anonymous on the on the on the wall. Um, I mean. Also, like, technically you could make a tweet for me, but if you want to remain anonymous, I guess you can't, huh? The fanfic rating grows closer. I have a tweet for you, by the way, Ave. Yes, please. <laughs> you just tweet, oh, worm, question mark. Oh, worm? Oh, worm? In, what? Uh, do you want to DM me? Just, just to make sure that I... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gave you a worm last night, and then uh, in the party chat we were in, Fina just went, oh, yeah, oh that's worm? that's right. Like, I caught, like, so much fishing bait. It was like, what? Why I, I meant to give you a rat bait? tail. I was trying to give you a rat tail, but I gave you a pinwheel on accident because they look the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my saddlebag is just full of fishing bait, so that's a, it's just like, I have things to give you, I guess. I could have given you food, but everybody gave you eggs. You always have more eggs. Just give you some some level ninety raid to, raid food. I got like three eggs and and I'm, I'm super ready. I have uh, bird of Elpis eggs. Oh, you want from those? A or yeah. do you actually use them for? Yeah, I, I get them. All I actually use them for cra for crafting, but let's see. Uh... I don't think Monster Hunter monsters are real, so I don't think they'll do that. No way, but they did for Pokemon, so they probably would. Peta is all about the attention. They're not really good at actually fighting for the whole being of animals. They're like yeah. a chain of charities. Like, are they memeing at this point though? Mm, no, it's it's that's the crazy part. It's like that Animal Crossing video was like genuinely intentional. Oh crap! I just used my raging strikes. Oh no! Not the raging strikes. I used it, but like some while somebody was in cutscene. So <laughs> maybe when Sunbreak comes out, they will. Oh yeah, they did slap. Damn. Um, Sora is preparing a tweet for me. Slap says that PETA is a smelly bad organization. <laughs> uh, have PETA made a Monster Hunter video? I feel like that'd be hilarious. If it gets enough attention, they will. They like tortured animals to get forward of so tortured animals. That's I mean, there's like little deer creatures in Monster Hunter, so like... Oh yeah. And we killed those fairly easily too. Yeah. In Monster Hunter. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you're right. Oh, 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 you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> and there's there's palicos and um, hello Palmutes. hello you deserve head pads. oh thank you i'll give you the little dance now as uh that i bought for 12 bucks or something <laughs> <laughs> the song I did this dance for, yeah yeah i did this for a meme and like i'm gonna buy this for a meme mm -hmm. song I don't know, I think it's gonna, one, yeah it's very cute I wish you actually sang, but oh well. Damn it. Let's see, where do we go from here? Uh, uh, Rooster's dead. We killed the cave, Kelvis, and once a monster hunter. Deer monsters, they just got stunned, you carved them, and then they got back and disappeared. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's the interesting one, because, I mean, you cut off their antlers. Ah. Oh. Mm. But, I mean, you could make a case that that's, like, poaching for, like, ivory or whatever. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, it. I guess you could also make the case that, like, maybe you're, uh, like, what if, like, overgrowth of antlers is actually harmful to them? 
So you could be yeah. like, I mean, you could be like pruning them, you know, as long as you're not like okay. eliminating their way of survival. I feel like they'd have a case for that, or you know, if if they were in captivity, but they are like little wild creatures. Because mm. I mean, there's like domesticated Kelpie in the game, I think, like oh. in 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 some of the. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. villages and stuff in past past games, but. What about the little pigs? Oh, poogies? Poogies. Poogies oh. are just little friends. They don't, they don't, oh. them. <laughs> they don't eat poogies. They're just pets. Oh, from World, yeah. right? It's the first time uh, they're they from all the games. Yeah, I thought they were oh. from all the games. Oh, uh, at least not in World. I don't remember seeing them in, like, Ultimate. Oh, I got out of my dungeon. You're just right here. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. Oh. I was yeah, standing I... here when I went in the dungeon, and I came out right as you're walking up to it. Yeah, I just... <laughs> I'm ready to fumble to a dungeon if you get the wine at some point. Uh, I think oh. the only case they would have for Monster Hunter, it, like, I mean, not the only case, but the most prominent one is probably like the Aptonoth, but like, like the big dinosaur creatures that are just kind of like cows. <laughs> mm. But I don't know. It's still like a, a nothing argument. <laughs> My family is out kayaking right now, and they're sending me pictures of manatees. Like, just wild manatees that they, they've seen out on the kayaks. Well, to be fair, a lot of the big monsters in Monster Hunter are just minding their own business. Yeah, that part is what makes you sad. Also, a giant monster that could probably kill you in one false swoop, so... I see why people would be scared of it. Dude. <laughs> I don't know how to actually play any game this. So. <laughs> if you guys ever want to play music in Final Fantasy, uh, be a bard. You can actually like play an instrument. Various different instruments. You can actually play a real instrument for it, right? Uh, I mean, Melon's playing an electric guitar right now. Wait, what? Yeah. Hold on, where are you? I want to see this! <laughs> I wouldn't call it playing, but I'm hitting notes on it. <laughs> oh shoot, where are you at? We are at, uh... I can't position, because I'm not in the party. <laughs> no! Okay. Oh, I guess I can just, I can just, like, join your gun. Uh... uh... Let's see, where do we go? Oh, yeah, back to the Marauder's Guild. Oh no, you had the same invite. Okay, never mind. Here, I'll meet you at the Marauder's Guild and I'll pull out the... The, the guitar. I don't know, I mean like, I'm about to leave the Marauder's Guild because I'm only gonna pick up the class. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I think you have to just be like, bar level 30, right? Like, as soon as you get barred, you're... Oh no, you know what it is? It's it's a side quest that you get from being a bard. Yes, that's right. At the, uh, uh, Miketo's Amphitheater. Mm-hmm. In Verdania. Oh. Sorry. Wait, so what, what class are you playing, by the way? I don't think I know. My main class- you mean me? What about you, actually? Like, what are you playing right now? Uh, my main class is- is usually Summoner and Monk. Mm -hmm. Uh, right now I'm leveling Bard. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's weird. I, I had to just, like, do a double take, because I saw somebody in this Limso with the same name as one of my alt characters. <laughs> somebody named Milk and Cookie, that's the name of one of my alt, you know, my cat boys. <laughs> oh. That's a good name. Yeah. <laughs> I've played him for all of, like, four minutes, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of, oh yeah, and I play Gunbreaker, too. Um. I have a Thankred outfit on Gunbreaker, obviously. Right now I'm playing Marauder because uh, playing a tank for this run would be the quickest. Uh, faster queues, um, 
And I another reason is because I kind of oh. wanted to be a little bit more um, thematic to the game. That's kind of like the the mascot character, the mascot uh, warrior of light in a realm of form plays a warrior. Um, and if I ever continue this series to kind of do a you know heaven's word run, uh, I, my intention was to go from a warrior to a dragoon, much like uh, oh. the the mascot character does in the opening cutscene of Heaven's Ward. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. if I ever go over to you know, like Stormblood, then I would play either a samurai or a monk, and then continue on to you know switch over to Dark Knight, and so on and so forth. I wish the mascot was actually a, a bunny boy in a made outfit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the funniest story is Mizu Tsutsune. Uh, they are very docile, but the males start rampaging when it's mating season. Thus, you must hunt them to keep them from hurting anyone. I wish the mascot was actually a bunny boy in a made outfit. It would be more accurate than the Derp Lander. Would it be more accurate? Because technically, like, Vieras. Male Vieras shouldn't be out of the forest. Yeah. The fact that they exist at all as a character is, like, outside of canon. Wait, is there a lot of reason why they exist now? Because if I remember correctly, there are no Melviera. There are Melviera. That's it's it's they're like very rare, but they well, are... they're very rare to see outside of Viera society. Yes, it, like so, oh. Viera society in general is is like incredibly rare. Uh, they're they keep to uh, their forests. They're essentially like forest protectors, and they're pretty fairly xenophobic as well. I mean, like you saw it oh. in um, you saw it more common in. Uh, the the first, actually no, you, you haven't done uh, Shadowbringers yet. No, I have not. All right, um, but typically they're they're forest dwellers. If you've ever played uh, Final Fantasy, uh, I played twelve. Is that what you mean, or, or do you mean like uh, twelve? Twelve, yes. And you kind of like you know, Fran's family is like very protective of their forest and stuff like that. And that's basically what their society is generally like. Uh, unless you meet like the exiles, who are people who have left their forests to pursue their own lives, like Brandon. There are a couple of those, uh, but like uh, the the male Vieras are even far more protective than the female Vieras because they're so rare that when one is born, uh, basically the male Vieras live in their own sort of like uh, society even more. Hidden in the female Vieras. And as soon as one is born, they're, they're essentially taken away uh, in, deeper into the forest by the male Vieras to kind of uh, for protection because they're so rare and they're needed to, you know, uh, continue the, the life of the tribe until it's, they, they are old enough to uh, reproduce. Yeah, there's there's been a lot of really interesting lore about Viera society that they, they've talked about in Endwalker. Um, cause like, I think there was, there was that one thing about how there's like a, seems like something about like gender neutrality, uh, to a certain point with like developing Vieras. There's something about that I read. And then there was like, what was it? Uh, I think that's, they had an explanation as to why there were so many Viera in, in Charlion, and it's because like the same sort of xenophobic, like, uh, Oh, that uh, like the the same sort of reason that their society is so like uh, mm -hmm. xenophobic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They had some sort of explanation for it. I thought mm -hmm. I'll probably find out when I'll get there in like the next five years. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you're past the realm reborn, uh, the content becomes a lot easier to get through, like because mm -hmm. it's not so much of a slog and like. It's much more interesting to go through, but yeah, I, I there's it's like it's a good time sink, anyways. That's not our uh, that's not our boy, Curious George, is it? No, it's not. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's Soul Quibs, uh, brother. George has grown and seen some things.
he's uh he's testing us to make sure that we're training properly. Warren Zoen, that's his name. You go back and Ah oh, yes. Him. Which <laughs> which company are you gonna go for this time around? Uh so I'm actually in love with the Maelstrom Commander's Coat. That is one of my favorite pieces of land. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I just chose the uh, the, the, the the twin adder. I think it's called, mm -hmm. which is in Grid in Gridania, I wanna say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause I just love the forest so much. Like that, I was so cozy. Have like, you seen the like the serpent elites outfit? I be, I feel like you'd like that one. Wait, who me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be honest, it wasn't much about the outfits as much as it was for the. The, just the cozy vibes of the area, like, I like, I love, I love, you know, the, the Black Shroud. It's just like, it's just a nice forest to walk around in. The, the yeah. small, the, the town itself is just very nice to look at. Yeah, there's a lot of cool areas of, of the Black Shroud. Yeah. I like roaming the forest, just kind of walking around with my character, Hello. just because it's like, Hello. so calm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's nice to fish in. <laughs> I do a lot of fishing in this game. Uh, Grab that one. I, I've been trying to catch every fish in the game nice. for a while. Oh, goodness. Uh, uh, doing a lot of the, the black trout areas were really cool. I like my I've actually, I, I'm pretty sure I've <laughs> caught every normal fish in oh, oh, thank you, sorry. A Realm Reborn oh. and <laughs> in uh, oh, Heaven's World. Oh, Almost done with Stormblood. If not, almost already. Boy, am so I far, excited I to. Uh, it's just all the rare fish, fish that are the hardest ones uh, to get. Let me say that again real quick. I was wondering, Melon, you're Juki, right? Yes, that's me. Okay, okay, okay. I was kind of confused for a little bit. <laughs> I love your outfits. All the outfits that you've you shown are really good. Yeah, I have, I have a different outfit. I literally don't level a class unless I have an outfit for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfectly that's like, valid. Yes, that's. That's again. That's a Chad move right there. <laughs> I think my favorites are probably my Gunbreaker outfit. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I like the I the shiny. I want to get the the. You, Abe, you know the Bajan uh, gun uh, gun Gunblade, right? Mm -hmm. Like the super huge one. <laughs> I want that one so bad. But I have just the uh, the recollection Gunblade. I like my Scholar Glam. I have I have a very let me slow claim his life. I have a soft spot for that. I got the uh, a Remy Born relic for that one. Were once I went all the way to the uh, the what's it called? Fearful of the green what is this thing called again? They hid themselves Last Resort Zeta. Of the earth. I did that Yet entire process because I was like, I'm gonna do at least one of the Remy Born, Born relics all the way to the, the end. Forest. And I'll never do that again. <laughs> I don't think. Effort. Okay, um, I'm gonna ask you guys a very, um... And were a place okay, it might be a bit of a touchy question, but... So it was that How many was hours do you guys have in the game? Some five touchy. centuries ago. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I know, I uh, Steam has recorded 2,540 for me. Ooh. Ave is much a lot, like, more than me. <laughs> Ave has played this game for 7,000 hours, 7,200 hours. According to oh my Steve. goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, follow-up question, Abe. How much of that is AFK? Yeah, um, I was actually curious about that. <laughs> That's a very good question. I'm not sure the answer to it. <laughs> yeah, me neither, but I know it's a lot. Because mm. now they have a timer on AFK. Yeah. They used to not, so you could just sit there. Oh, so they actually don't time you when you're AFK? Uh, they do now. now they do. There's a 30 minute timeout. So like they oh. implemented that because people will log in for in Endwalker and then just the like stay online for like days straight to get peace. to avoid the queues. That's a good idea. So they okay. they added a timer so oh. that you can do that. I think people like figured out a way around it though for for a while. Like if you um remember there was people using like uh, drifts to like continuously run into corners. When in Walker first came out, so that they would never get like logged the out. Uh, they had what was it? Um, I think somebody figured out that if you're in your player house, the game won't kick you out of your like uh, due to AFK. But they patched they patched that. Okay. 
and it was we who prepared the ground for the oh why about your skull are so good yeah i you do not want to know how many times i had to run the alliance raid for this top wait isn't that that ppp mm -mm. oh what is the alliance raid i don't think I this don't is so much from one of the heavensward ones it's from uh weeping city of mock oh my god i okay. ran that raid i think like 60 or 70 times just to get this top, because I kept seeing- I, I did, only saw it three times during that, but it kept getting stolen from me. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. Oh no! Oh, it's- oh, it's a- uh, oh, it's a drop! Yeah, it's a drop. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I wanted, are there any good Lalafell outfits? Because in, in A Realm Reborn, they're all kind of butt. Yeah, there's, there's tons of them. I mean, as you go into like later expansions, the outfits get better. Um, I personally, on Lalafell, I like part of the reason I wanted to use Lalafell for a bit was because I really like the cryo outfit uh, on Lalafell. It's really adorable. It's like a little cat hood. Oh, I want that. I like my botany outfit too. Bunny outfit. My botany outfit, like my oh, but, oh okay, oh it's the gatherer's it's outfit. Yeah, I got oh, all the wow, shiny you, weapons. Oh, you level up to ninety as well. Yeah, I have all my gatherers at ninety. Well, except for Fisher, but and then I have some crafters at a uh, at ninety. Like Damn, broken that tie. Yeah, this is this is just like the standard outfit. I haven't even changed it. I just like it that much. Damn. So beleaguered from within. Yeah, my Fisher outfit is actually the one I based my, my VTuber off of. Oh, I see it. Oh, that's cute. I think because the original reason I did that was because I had plans to catch all the fish in the game on stream. And then I think, I don't know why, I don't think I ever actually did that. might <laughs> behold another dawn. But yeah, like I planned to to use the the VTuber when I was using when I was doing like fishing fourteen streams, and then it kind of just stuck. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those? No, no, is talking. I, I I was gonna say like Abe, like is Abe, is Abe falling asleep to the cutscene? No, I'm I'm just vibing, I'm letting uh, Ellen. Speak. The destruction wrought by the calamity. Was indiscriminate. Have you heard about it the RPG Final Fantasy XIV? Fourteen? I, I, I hear it has a free trial that includes an expand, an award-winning expansion, and that you can play up to level sixty for free with no restriction on playtime. Raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The false <laughs> speeches, to be fair. I'm not even listening to the speeches. To I was just survival. listening to uh, no one's speech to voice. Against them, <laughs> we must remember what if I'm ever talking too much, now, feel free to and tell me to be quiet. Fighting our a big tortoise. Blind us to the woes of our uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, ones like right out, the it's ones right outside of town, lost. right? Yeah. Those, I remember those in the other killing me too. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Let them be honored, not only you know, it's kind of funny, like, I wrote down, like, this whole spiel in a notepad. I was like, okay, okay. Because I was nervous when I was going to come into the stream. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh no, i got to write everything down so I don't mess it around. Turned out that I didn't have to do that. We're just here to vibe. That's fun. Purity. And sanctity. Oh, Man, I'm sad that like Dragoon. It's up to us to protect the I'm not really sad, I guess, but like I really love the Dragoon, like uh, level 50 class armor, mm -hmm. the the Worms Mail and everything. Mm -hmm. But I don't think there's a diable version of it, or at least if there is, it doesn't look the same. Mm. I feel like there is. Because, yeah, I mean, usually there is, like, a, a diable version of it and a non-diable version of it, but I think the diable version of this one doesn't look the same. Or maybe I just haven't unlocked it yet. Let me see if it's, like, augmented worm's mail or something. I don't believe that. I know that if you do uh, the dub quest now, they give you a coffer. Fancy meeting you yes. again. Containing all of the gear. But if you've already completed it, then you'll get that coffer back. Which one? Uh, the level 50 
Dragoon armor, the one with the giant uh, belly hole. I guess the look at, I guess the look at your outfit is really cute. Your made outfit on the bunny. <laughs> yes. The best. Mm -hmm. It's a good decision by chat. Well, actually not. The made outfit was my decision, uh, but to be a bunny boy was chat's decision. It doesn't As die very well, but it's upgraded in Mordona with some crafted junk. Yeah. So you get the crafted junk um, from level 50 dungeons, I think? Is it like the an antiquated pieces? Oh, you get that's from, like, how you do it. Dungeons? Yeah, and you okay. you exchange I'm... it in Mordona for the uh, upgraded I, I think that's that. the case. No? Okay. I mean, I like how it looks like the I, standard. I, I, I am wrong. No, you're. I think you're right. I, I remember doing that for Bard. Um, there is... Uh, no, I, I remember like some sort of box that you have to exchange. GC seal nets. Okay. Maybe it is current company. Maybe I, I think I'm mixing it up with something else. But I do remember there there is some sort of gear that you get from low 50 dungeons that you exchange for actual gear, but it might not be the artifact gear that we're talking about. It might be some sort of like level 50 hero set. It's not it's just like a slight upgrade or something. Ray return to the Waking Sands again. I need to walk. No, they give us uh Vesper Bay tickets. It teleports us straight to Waking Stance. What? Yeah. Wait, that's what they were for? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> God damn it. I, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh my god, I can't believe this. Hmm. So, um, I was wondering if you'll be okay with it, uh, Ave. But, uh, uh, actually one of the reasons why I also wanted to help out of it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was with the whole thing regarding what was happening here in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you mind, like, kind of me talking a little bit about that. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But, so, yeah, uh, I don't know if most people heard, like, there was, a uh, basically one of those bills introducing in Texas, but... It's probably not gonna happen anything with it, which is a good thing. It was basically so people could out trans shit, and you know it would basically be deemed illegal or be deemed something that'd be harmful to kids, and they you know, basically could take your child away. You could it would be could be treated as um, you you mistreating your child, and that's you know an awful thing. Like I said, most people are not gonna enforce it, which is good. But what grand company. Um, there are still parents who really want to, you know, don't want the, don't like the kids with trans. And um, I specifically want to share something from a friend of mine who, who is a trans dude. I, I guess just to kind of point it out that it's such a horrible thing to happen. So I actually messaged them about it and they sent me. Obviously, I won't mention names because they told me to keep their names a secret. Mm -hmm. So there's someone from the Midwestern USA where uh, it basically conversion therapy exists and it's legal and all things like that. That's also legal here in Texas, which is actually where I live as well. And they were basically, they, they basically accidentally outed themselves. And since then they were sent to this conversion therapy. And it's this process that just makes them feel bad for just being trans. It's this awful thing where they made you read stuff where <clears throat> sorry i was trying to go to the thing okay. why it's wrong being time. trans how they're basically disgusting for not wanting to be who they for wanting to be something else 
Like they they actually gave gave this person a book just to read about that. So there's states that will actually do this to trench you because it's actually something that that will make you do. Again, because your parents will force you to it. So And this is just like oh, I guess sorry, like I am trying to kind of gather my dust as a reader as well. It's just this one thing that may not sound like a lot to a lot of people, but this is just like the star. People that want to convert you back and they will force you to read stuff that will make you feel horrible about yourself. That's not even counting the fact that people will get thrown out of their homes for being trans. And when I saw you were doing this charity, it's basically why I wanted to help out even if a little bit. Share it around. Because kids don't deserve this. I... <laughs> no, like, I know I'm just fumbling a lot. Um, but having kids that have to deal with that stuff, having kids that have to still be that name despite not wanting that. Kids that just have to live with that because they still live at their parents' homes. They had to be kicked, they could be kicked out of age without any help. It's just awful, awful. And I guess I just really, I'm just really thankful that you do something like this to help out even if a little bit. I know it was a fumbling of words, but hopefully my thoughts came across all right. Yeah, they did, did, definitely. I think we all understand. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't share everything that I didn't share because, like, I feel uh, they went a little too personal and I want to dox them on stream. Mm -hmm. But I shared out the best I could. Oh. There you go. So I like to kind of down there to move. Just no, no, like definitely. To... Thank you for sharing. That's the, that's the whole point of why we're here, so. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm an adult, so I don't have to worry about that. But kids, kids can help that. But yeah, I will not all the help they can get. They still yes, they're not old enough to take care of themselves, mm -hmm. so they need uh, support groups, and ideally, it's from their friends and family. But you know, not that's not always the case. They don't always have access to parents who understand or friends or classmates who understand mentors or a lot of that stuff we had um were you we had fina on last night i don't know if you were around for that miku but she was um uh sharing her experiences with gender dysphoria growing up and um she grew up first in vietnam which is uh very very conservative values um mm -hmm. Where it's like illegal to be trans uh and then she decided to get a scholarship to you know kind of leave that sort of environment and she went to a high school in the in the united states uh it was a high school in georgia so uh ended up oh. in the bible belt where it's you know not too much better um mm -hmm. so she kind of had to grow up in this sort of situation where uh isolated uh from her peers from people who would understand her um isolated from people she could relate to and that's not a good environment when it comes to dealing with gender dysphoria but um you know uh sharing these stories is kind of what we are encouraging here um, because it is what I want to use my platform for um, as a form of you know uh, exposure and education mm -hmm. because I feel like that is one of the that is a good way to um, learn more about how to deal with one's gender dysphoria if you can find people you can relate with the only way you can find people to relate with is if you hear what their perspectives and their stories are if mm -hmm. you're in an environment where sharing these stories or letting these things come out, having everyone keep it to themselves, no one's going to know. If no one knows, then other people don't know what they're dealing with. They won't understand. Uh, they're going to be feeling these you know, negative or awful feelings, and they don't know how to deal with it. Especially when you're young, and you're just like constantly being told that this is bad, or this you shouldn't be feeling this way, or you shouldn't be acting this way. Um scares you it puts you in a vulnerable state and 
it also isolates you if you're not hearing uh, that other people are dealing with the same issues. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you a lot of like it helps to find an explanation, it helps to find mm -hmm. someone relatable, just so you can kind of figure out what exactly, and you know you can kind of diagnose what you're feeling, you know. And that's that's significant. If we can eventually come into a time where talking about it is more normal, um, mm -hmm. a lot more people can find out and explain the feelings that they're having. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's such a scary prospect. Okay, like for example, and I just kind of will be quick about it. I haven't come out, you know, in in my real life, in real life. IRL and <laughs> it's always a scary prospect because uh, I have very conservative family they're, they're like a lot of my family specifically they're just beliefs that are from obviously you know in Mexico there's those kinds of beliefs they they came from those beliefs and they always have they're always awkward with let's say gay people so I don't know their reaction to trans people and it's always a fear and if that's a fear just for me alone i can't even imagine what younger people have to deal with especially when they're living with those people where like those people are essentially their lifelines in a lot of cases they're too yes. young to take care of themselves don't forget this affects teachers too because I, I i don't know if it was the texas or the florida one that they're trying to do it's where probably oh are don't say fine. gay yeah i think that's the that, that's, that one is specifically that's the florida one. yes yeah, uh, where if if a student comes out to a teacher, they have to the teacher is like legally obligated to report that to the parents mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and basically forcibly out the student, which is like just wrong on so many levels. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And it's just it's just another w way that you know mm -hmm. they're trying to you know just eradicate trans youth. It's just like sad. So yeah, thank you very much, Ave. This is. Something I think we can all get behind, and it's it's nice to see such a huge yes. community like movement to to support this. Mm -hmm. Right, like yeah, seriously, thank you so much. It's it's literally what I saw, and I I reached out to you because like okay, now I want to do what I can to share this around, and like I don't know, get it spread out. I'm really happy for all the help you uh, contributed, Minky. Earlier, um, it made me so happy that you reached out. I, it's it's a very ambitious project um i've had my doubts at some points about whether like i guess whether i was like worthy of doing something like this um it's kind of hard to uh i wanted to use my platform but i was i always had doubts as to whether or not i was the right person for it um like I I don't I've never had experiences like the ones that trans youth have to go through. I, I was born cis male. I still identify as cis male. Um, but even so, even if I haven't had those experiences, I still have empathy. Um, I wanted to help how I could, even if people didn't think that uh, I should. Um, but I'm glad people are supporting this. Right. It really makes me feel uh, like I've done a good thing. Oh man. <laughs> uh, like, 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 I was so nervous trying to bring it up because, like, oh gosh, I don't know when it'll be a good time to bring it up because I wanted to talk about it. <laughs> but yes, I guess just thank you. <laughs> That's the only thing I could do. You're welcome. Say. And thank you for, again, for all the help that you've done promoting this, bringing your friends, um, bringing Muna, <laughs> and bringing Ness. I'm glad I was able to meet them. They're very friendly. They always say hi to me when I show up. And this time, it's really important that trans people get to support. Yes. Oh my gosh. We did it. You were so oh, yeah. happy when you announced the stream? Oh no! 
Let's go! 58. I have to read the bit. Uh, okay. It's okay. I have to write it and I have to read it. Alright. Oh, next. Thank you so much for that dono. That's really awesome of you. Mm -hmm. And hey, B, thanks again for the $20 dono. What's the next sub goal? Uh, the last stretch goal I Dunno had call. is at 1500 and it's the karaoke stream. I think we're, I think we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a day left to go in six hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's gonna happen. Yeah, yes, yes, fellow. It's it's a it's a. Where are we at? We are at uh twelve fifty eight. So we need another two fifty. They're about two forty to uh. To uh. Karaoke mm. stream. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's for a good cause. It's for <laughs> them kids. What is it loading? Hold on, where are we at? Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah, I I wanted to I wanted to make you guys work for it. I I, I don't I don't think it'll be that interesting to listen, but I'll do it. It's people... okay. That'll be fun. What do you mean you're a virtuoso? I'm not a virtuoso. I've never sang on stream. <laughs> Wait, have you sang off stream a lot? I, I like sing in my car, I sing in the shower. <laughs> I... There, night, night. Just pretend you're in the shower when you're singing. <laughs> what song do you want to hear Abe sing the most? Ooh, um, that's a good question. Sing one of the Yakuza songs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like Friday night. night. Oh, that too, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Abe, are you going to let us request songs? The scripture button song. You're gonna karaoke stream. It's inevitable. Oh my god! Uh, I feel like Abe would have a good voice for uh, for Dame Dane, actually. No, my voice isn't that deep. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would do more it. bass than my voice though. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I. I don't. The scripture is a rap. Scripture is a rap. Oh my god! Oh, that'd be amazing. I, I am so excited about that string, because let's be honest, this is going to happen. <laughs> sorry, Abe, oh, in advance. That's you better get ready. No need to say sorry. Uh, rudeness, thank you for the $30 donation. Uh, <laughs> because you donated 25 that means you can write a tweet for me. Oh, that's right. Let me, let me, uh... Oh. Let me DM you this very important, oh, intricate no. tweet, Oh, yes. no. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, wait, $25 people can um, write a tweet. Write yes. a tweet? Yes. Oh, no. There you go. There's the very important, intricate tweet. Um, hey, I, I, I feel a... like you've, you've donated way more than 20. I think you've donated like 60 at this point, so you can definitely make me tweet something to you. I am worried for what Ness is going to make you tweet. Huh. Is that what the hamster was? Uh yes, uh my okay. my friend my friend Holly who is also a VTuber, uh that plays Final Fantasy, she was like, uh can you just like tweet a cute animal? And I asked what if you had a specific Aww. one, and she's like, oh just do a hamster. She's a uh, <laughs> Holly is a, a a Harvest Mouse Witch VTuber and she is adorable. Oh I love this hamster, it's really cute. <laughs> Look at her. She's so cute. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's a cute. Oh, that's a cute Benji. Oh, oh, it's a model. It, it's, a, it's a model. She she um, rigged it herself. She drew it and rigged it. Oh, herself. that's adorable. Mm -hmm. I love that. A worm. Hated <laughs> carrier. Yeah, um, Ollie has a redeem where if you spend like, I think if you spend like five thousand points, she stops whatever she do is doing and to play Sonic Adventures. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an awesome redeem. So she's been like trying to finish uh, a, like a group commission for like weeks now, and people are just like, "No, you're gonna play Sonic Adventures right now." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How long does she have to play? <laughs> uh, she, whenever, like for the rest of the stream, usually or whatever, she gets tired. Oh, of that's kind of crazy for five thousand. <laughs> yeah, five thousand points. Yeah. It's almost like she she wants to just play Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Holly Holly is fun. Holly I met through um All Deco. Uh Chan. And it's it's kind of so like one of the things we did last night when we were reminiscing about the past year is kind of like I would go drawing lines between I will follow her. Um drawing lines between uh the people we met through streaming. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, my my journey began with uh meeting solarium on twitter um and then that's where i had met ember and uh basil um eventually Habi. i think Habi was like the last one to start streaming out of that group well now thank you so much for the ten dollar donation are you on the board yet i feel I feel like you are uh not board the wall see your name so i'm gonna put it on right now i'm gonna write your name in pink oh that's an interesting question which emojis do you associate the most with final fantasy 14. like the uh, default emojis i think she's trying to incorporate it into your tweet um good question uh hundos uh exclamation points <laughs> um uh i think triumphant um like the dagger uh i'm trying to think of like specifically meme like Thank final God. fantasy 14 memes <laughs> Potatoes. Potatoes, yeah. Um, like the the fist up. Does it have dragons? Yeah, there are just dragons in Final Fantasy fourteen. You weird to warn. I just saw you I just saw the tweet that you made for for a melon. A worm. A worm. <laughs> a worm? <laughs> Are there any crystals? Like crystal emojis? Hopefully not geo crystals. Oh my god. Geo <laughs> <laughs> crystals? Oh. You don't want to know. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I, think I just noticed this. Is Suzaku wearing a maid outfit? Where? Okay. Like the 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 uh the trial Suzaku. Um, kind of. It yes. sure looks like one. <laughs> it's like the it's like cleaning clothes, not really a maid outfit, but it's okay. like it's like the apron that would you would put on like a traditional kimono, so you wouldn't get it dirty. Ah, uh, I see. I, I yeah, it has like armor. Yeah. On it. So you kind of like associate that with maid outfits simply because it's like an apron for cleaning, but there were no like. No. French maids oh. in Japan. <laughs> Wait. So, question: What do you uh, get that maid outfit? I want to wear it. Uh. A mog station. Mog station for like fifteen bucks. Uh, you can wear it on both male and female characters. There's also a butler suit that you can wear on both male and female characters. I wanted the maid. Friend. I didn't know it was money. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got it specifically for this event. I was wondering really how you got such an outfit so quickly. Yeah. Um, the the first iteration uh, of this the butler suit and the maid outfit was actually through I think it was like an Amazon promotional event. You had to spend like twenty five dollars on Amazon and then they'd send you a code. Wait for what outfit? The maid and butler outfit. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh. They they used to do that um, a few years ago, like the. The what is it like the Eastern Traveler set, the one that comes with the cloud mount, mm -hmm. like the Nimbus mount? That was also on a similar event 
where you'd spend like $25 and you get a code. I remember getting the code by accident because I bought like uh, Fire Emblem Fates and, it, and they gave me the code because that qualifies as like over $25. Um, what else? Uh, the Butterfinger Mount? Butterfinger Mount was not, obviously not uh, Amazon. It was Butterfinger. Right. Um, but yeah, that was another promotional event where you had to pay like ten dollars in Butterfingers to get uh, a chocolate co uh, choco cooper mount. A co cooper, yeah. Choco cooper um, mount. Yeah. And what was it? Oh, there was the uh, the 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 big the big fat chocobo. Oh yeah, that was also hey. an Amazon event. Oh okay, I, I was confused with the other one that I think you needed to buy. It was some brand. I forgot what it was. Or oh, so that was the Black Fat Chocobo. Uh, damn it! Should was... I make this joke? Oh, <laughs> when, the, the, when that when that Chocobo was revealed, everyone called it the BBC. My it's God, the, the big black Chocobo. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh my God, the same, like... <laughs> Letters, right? Letters. Oh no. Letters. Oh no. I didn't think about <laughs> yeah. that. So everyone's like, you want to see my BBC? <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, pay 25 bucks and you can get a BBC. Oh my god. <laughs> Deal for a BBC. Yeah. Or, eight, or 18 bucks, depending according to the official store. Mm hmm. <sighs> Someday. Bro. <laughs> Let's see. I'll get that made out of it. What exactly is a Roma born in the Heavens War expansion? Uh you, you, you know how you can find out, Sora? If you if you try out if you <laughs> if you try the free trial of Final Fantasy fourteen, you get to experience all of a Roma born and the award winning Heavens War expansion for free. <laughs> Up to level sixty. With no restriction on playtime. You try it, and all your answers get- your, all your questions get answered. Do it, Sora. Don't be like me and pay from the get-go. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, whoever wins this uh, raffle prize, like, if you're a brand new player, I still recommend you uh, do the trial. Save yourself some money. And also, kind of- it's better to get an idea of whether or not you'll enjoy the game, because MMOs aren't for everyone, for sure. Um, I think Final Fantasy does a good <laughs> job of keeping people, but, uh, you know. If you're not uh, someone who... Uh, $12.99, I think? It is... I think it's $12.99 for the entry subscription, which means that you can only have one character per server. Um... But, uh, the standard subscription is $15 a month. I think you really need more than one character per server. I think the US at $12.99, which should be good. Yeah, I mean, I, I played on the entry sub for quite a long time, and then it wasn't until I met, uh, Mia that I decided to make an alt character. Um, I guess not everyone knows this story, but, uh, Mia is my girlfriend, and I met her through Final Fantasy. Aww. Um, uh, she, she was in my FC at the time. She got invited by one of her friends who had been there much longer. Um, mm -hmm. and uh, we used to raid together. Um, but I had, like, my main raid group, and the way the loot rules work in raids is that, um, you're only allowed to essentially complete it once, and uh, if you complete it, then you can't get the treasure, but also other people can't get the treasure. It's it's a little convoluted to explain, but basically, if you want to raid with other people, uh, you it's better to get an alt character. So, um, I uh, one day I just decided that, you know, let's spend even more time on Final Fantasy and raid <laughs> twice so you know, with two groups every week. Um, so I was helping out Mia and her friends 
to uh, Omega Skate back in Stormborn. And in order to get my alts ready to raid with them, I had to do the Stormblood MSQ. I, I did the story skip and I did the level jump, but you still have to do the story. Um, so, you know, that's what I did. You know, I, I jumped the characters, story skipped, and then started making my way through Stormblood. But um, it's kind of like a, a slow process. Uh, you know, brand new expansion, you still have to go through the story and all. And you also don't have access to flight, which makes things a lot easier. Um, but while I was doing it, like I believe I just landed in like uh, I just landed in Kugane, um, and I went to uh, it was like the, the Merchant's Guild, where you meet um, your kind of contact in Kugane. I forget what his name is, uh, but. Basically, in a cutscene where you're talking, like, hey, welcome to Kugane, uh, uh, you've met my benefactor, uh, Lova Rito, etc. Um, and when I finish that cutscene inside the building, uh, I see Mia waiting on a bench uh, for me. And she was like, hey, do you need a lift through, um, <laughs> through MSQ? And I was like, yeah, sure. That would be a lot very helpful. Where is this guy going? Where, where is he going? Hello? Um, don't run. Don't and back. anyways, so she's she had already unlocked flying, obviously. And there's uh, two person mounts that will allow you to kind of, you know, be a taxi cab for <laughs> people mm -hmm. without it. Uh, so she helped me get through uh, MSQ a lot faster because it's faster to fly. And during it, we kind of just got started talking to each other. Um, more eight floor. floor. Yeah, I guess it's eight <laughs> floor. Um, and you know, we started talking and raiding and talking offline and uh, through Discord, and eventually started calling each other. And then, uh, yeah, it uh, developed from there. Oh, mm -hmm. really sweet. <laughs> Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Go to bed. You're free to return to the Maelstrom Command. <laughs> Leave us and go to bed. Thank you, Miku. Thank you, Sora. Hey, I'm focusing Rika. on a tr trial right now. What is it? <laughs> I'm focusing on Suzaku right now. Oh, okay. No worries. I love this fight so much. Oh. Hi Rika, how you doing? I'm almost a member of the Maelstrom. That little guy's head is a walnut? It is. A, a, my very first character playing Final Fantasy uh, was a Lollafell, and I had that same walnut. Uh, or chestnut. Chestnut, not walnut. Chestnut haircut. Oh, hi, welcome back. Is that Pot Friend? What? What is that? It's a Twitch global emote now? What the hell? Really? They made Alexander what? They made Alexander the, the, the War Jar a global Twitch emote. That's wonderful. Let's go! That's awesome. I love I love Alexander. Can we get the Pope Turtle next? Yo, oh, yeah, no, you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> we can remove Alexander and get Pope <laughs> Turtle in there. <laughs> Look, we have to make sacrifices. <laughs> uh, you're gonna ask Cassie. Uh, wait, Abe, hey, what is your message on your character? Where? Oh, you know how you can put a message on your character whenever you, like, 
Someone checked your profile? Your search info oh, message? Oh, your search info message? Yeah, there you go. I don't have one right at the moment. I, I never made one. Oh, it's dying. Doing good was a bit busy yesterday, so I couldn't chat, but you lurked for a bit. I appreciate you that you lurked, that you stopped by. That's more than I can ask for, honestly. Okay. Oh boy, I get to be a member of the Maelstrom. It's a Maelstrom. Yeah, Maelstrom. The thing is, I can't even get the coat that I want until I max out my rank. Maelstorm. Maelstorm. <laughs> no, you don't open the map. I've been, I've been thinking too much of Elden Ring. Uh. Uh. You have my sword to sweet sea souls all. Rika, thank you so much for the coffee donation. Wow. Incredible. Happy one year, thank you so much. It's been a wonderful year. Moo. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we get Moo. Moo. We look for a Rika clip and it's just Caro's voice going Moo. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> Pray return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience. Oh. So it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Just me and I'm moving. Oh. Me. Me. Ooh. Show Sora this guy's weapon out here. He's right behind you. This is the weapon I was talking about when we were trying to get Sora interested in the game. <laughs> like the big club. Oh, this one? Wait, is, wait, this, is Sora this like Dark Knight's out for, He's got uh, the Pompadour no. too! Yeah, literally, it's just like... <laughs> he has a, he has like a big, like... One of those, like, bully Yo, clubs. Yo! Look at that! <laughs> I believe there's a smaller version of that too you can get. This guy's Yakuza. He's also looking at you. He's looking. Oh, yeah. He's found you looking at him. Is that Sora lore that she loves baseball bats? Sora's a gang leader. Sora's a oh, gang leader. you won me over. Let's go. <laughs> Ao Dark, love to Dark see Knight it. Sora. Big stick of diplomacy. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a there's also a gunbreaker version of that too. It's like a, it's when you go, it goes like over your shoulder. Mm. Like here, I'll, I'll show, I'll show you the pose that Gunbreaker does with their, with their sword. So like imagine that sword, but like it looks like that over your shoulder. Oh goodness, why is that? Okay. All right. right. So, right. oh gosh. So I now unfortunately have to go. Have a good one. That's okay. Have a good one. Really Thank appreciate you, it was, it was... you stopping by and sharing your stories with us. No, of course. Uh, it was nice just kind of be here chatting with y'all. And great to meet you as well. You as well, of course. Nice to meet you also talking with everyone in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm scared what? what's gonna come up. <laughs> what happened? Okay, what what, what clip is gonna pop up? What happened? Looks like he got oh. scared and disappeared. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Okay, so the context of that clip is that... It's someone was doing like, oh, I can do the... I can do the... What's it called? Critical? Thing where he disappears. And you mean, you mean when he screams like, what? And I just disappear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it's popping up for some reason. Oh, I know the one. <laughs> <laughs> That's I just what I'm talking about, it. baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, yo. Thanks for having me. I hope have you a have one. a good rest of the stream, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much good for stopping luck, by. Good luck, Abe.
Who is it? Hi. Is it no, duty nice. time? Uh, yeah. I need to do a leveling roulette because I don't have the seals to get a chocobo. Gotcha. Let me do... I've already done my leveling for today, but... Does it still give you good XP if you've already done it for the day? I'm guessing not. No, it gives you... <laughs> okay, no I'm just going to do your Dragoon then. I like the outfit. Have a good one, Hika. Going to head out uh, for work. Stay strong. You got it. I'll... Probably for a couple more hours, and then I think it's worth it to take a nap until... Um, more people wake up and then when it's a little bit more active i'll show up again mm -hmm. uh when do i when should i do the raffle this is kind of a bigger prize so maybe i should extend it for a little bit longer. you have this and then two more right i actually have eight prizes oh um, i saw five <laughs> but multiple quantities so i had two time cards oh, okay. uh two uh Costumes in like three Fantasias. Last How night was done so far. Uh, only the time card. Last night there, uh, I had put up the Fantasia, but uh, there weren't any. Um, or no one wanted to enter the raffle for that. Mm, okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do the raffle for the time card. Or yeah, because I was just like, eh, I pay my subscription in like in like very long. I think I do it like by year. I'm like, I, I don't need that. <laughs> Let somebody else get it that would use it better. And I obviously don't need the complete edition. <laughs> so... <laughs> well, you can always give it to a friend. You can give any of these things to a friend, honestly. Yeah. I'll probably enter the Fantasia one whenever it comes back up. I was considering doing Lala Fell until like 6.1 drops, but <laughs> I would need a Fantasia to get back to Yuki. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I think 6.1 is in like a couple weeks. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Or maybe when I beat 6.1, then I'll do Lala Fell until 6.2. <laughs> maybe I'll race change after I wake up for my nap. Um, hmm. Maybe after getting my chocobo and naming it will be a good place to take like a maybe a four hour nap yeah it'll be evening and then more people will be up and free so we'll probably get a little bit more activity i'm sure Kali and i will raid you with whatever we've got too. all right you're doing um a risk of rain risk too. of rain as like it's not should actually put out a tweet right? for that <laughs> <laughs> do you have a name for the chocobo i i think it was like brazzle fresh but it was um want me to join leveling sure But I, I don't remember how to spell it, honestly. I, I forgot to write it down when you guys were talking about it. A lot of stuff were happening, was happening at the same time. I think Stora might remember how to spell it. It kicked you one sec. Okay. I can go healer for this just so we get an insta Uh, mm. Dip can only play healer. Oh, never mind. Let me go back to... Alright, do you mind if you use the restroom real quick? Go for it. Okay. Dang, you barely missed it? Missed what? I'm like really close to where ID is. I'm in this gear right now.
Hey, yo, wake the fuck up, Red. You got... Alright, I'll try. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. That's okay. Welcome back. <laughs> Razzle fresh. Okay. You found wow, you must have scrolled up very far. <laughs> Let me type this in a chat somewhere. Yeah. Oh man, what a surprise. I didn't expect to get Sasasha. Uh -huh. You mean like the one of three dungeons that we could have chosen? Yeah. Only one okay, wait. unlocked. Do you know the way to look for like the the secret? Is it this big like giant like ethereal flow that we're supposed to look at for the color that we're supposed to pick no it's it's literally like a piece of paper on the floor oh yeah clear i'll show you dq wants pride and joy you got it oh is it the bloody memo yeah it's the bloody memo like, oh. i'm gonna go read it jumps yet so I can't get back quickly but uh oh it's blue I guess okay. B-L-O-O -O? is that how it's yes. supposed to be have to have watch to the live. Adria Red Sestasha guide to know yeah almost 3,000 hours and I haven't <laughs> I've never figured that out it's okay is like it there's still pe people have played this game for six years and they still don't know how to do Karn, uh, the Karn puzzle. Yeah. You need fire and fruit, <laughs> but no, but no one knows how to do it. Every time I get back, to, I I know I need the fire and fruit, but I always forget what order they're in. Yeah. And yet I can tell you like exactly what kind of legendary fish are at which locations. <laughs> Everyone's got their own niche. Yeah. It's faster well, just like to skip exactly the puzzle what I need TPH. to create, like... I guess so. I can remember. But I'm you sorry. do get less experience, because if you want to do, like, uh, a dungeon... Well, I guess it, it doesn't matter. Dungeon clears don't matter anymore, huh? What? Dungeon clears don't matter anymore. Because or, you get like experience... Levels? You get experience through, um... Oh, I wish I had my AoEs. Do I have an AoE? That's a nope. Dragoon doesn't get them until like... Oh, that's right. Dragoons suck. Dragoon doesn't get until level 40. Probably should remember that. <laughs> if I was barred, I'd just be like mowing them down right now where our machine is. Yeah. But... There's still a clam. What are you doing, sir? We're already at the boss. Oh, me? Yes. <laughs> I was killing the clam. It well, keeps spawning the things that keep wanting to kill us. Well, if we're out of range, then it won't kill us. Well, <laughs> that's we not actually, fun, isn't it? We were actually discussing speedrun strats for early dungeons with Pita. <laughs> All right, go ahead and touch your blue coral. Yeah. My blue coral. It <laughs> seems personal, let him be. <laughs> now it has a personal vendetta against this clam here. And I love having two buttons to press. Yeah. Every now and then I press a third one too. Wow. You get three buttons? I get disembowel. Oh, that's right. I think Monk only has like their first two abilities at this point. You really need to improve the low level experience for some of the classes. It feels terrible to press like three buttons as a DPS in dungeon. I, I guess it's kind of hard to gauge like what is too much um, exposure for a casual player because the way they design these dungeons is always what is the easiest, like what is the base level experience we can expect. Yeah. Because some classes, I mean, there's there's a lot that goes into them. Like, I mean. Monk is just insane. Like, that's part of why I like the class so much, is just there's so much to do with it. That's why, like, I was like, I was honestly kind of like, oh man, they took away all the positionals, because it's what I liked playing about Monk. 
That's just how many times you had to move around. Mm -hmm. It's a one track way to get a uh, carpal tunnel, but it's fun. Isn't there a way to start off that scenes you've already seen? Yes. Uh, I believe it's. Let's see. Is it other in, in system config? No. I think it's it's got to be character. Yeah. Uh, on the first screen for control settings, there's uh, cuts and skipping. That's like the third option. Why are you running Sasha again? So I need to do leveling roulette so I can get the company seals necessary to get my chocobo. Also, good morning, Fina. Hi, Fina. Good morning. Also, we're out of Archer. Meow, 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 meow. Is there room for me? Let me get up. Yeah. Yeah, hop in. Uh, you have plenty of time. I was planning on taking like a, a quick break after this dungeon. See if there's like more suitable sustenance upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have a real meal. Yeah, not like a protein shake and trail mix in a granola yeah. bar. <laughs> I think y'all got this, but yeah, you should probably eat a lot. Yep. I'm making sure that I have uh, something to eat. So at least my stomach isn't like totally full or totally empty. Like a little desk snack. I have like I went to Costco and I bought a, like a lot of those like uh, serving size snacks. So like a trail mix. I have um like bags of jerky. Uh, I have uh like granola bars to eat. So it's the N Walker release weekend diet all over <laughs> again. <laughs> Oh, that implies that I actually ate during a Walker release. Oh, scurvy <laughs> dogs! Hello? Okay, but we need to order you a pizza. You don't have to order me a pizza. I'm more than capable of ordering my own pizza. <laughs> I, think, I just feel like a pizza would put me to sleep, which is why yeah. I kind of want to avoid heavy carbs. But I, I, I appreciate the sentiment. I really do. If you could find a place that like delivers a salad, I would I would accept that. <laughs> <laughs> delivers a salad. Are there scrolls in FF? Um not No, not really. But what do you mean by scrolls? I would assume like consumable magic items, kind of like in Divinity. No. What about books? Uh, scholars and summoners use books as a weapon. They use like tomes and grimoires. Grimoires. A salad from a pizza place sounds suspicious. That sounds suspicious. <laughs> I'm not about to get like a whole cabbage. And like pressing on the side. In a single jalapeno. <laughs> but you can also have a Facebook. There is an enemy that, that you could technically call a Facebook. Mm. The, what's it called? The thing from Great Gooball Library? Yeah. Good 
favorite summoner scholar in Lamar. Proper Italian pizzeria lot makes some good salads. Creepy tone face. Hey, I leveled up. I think I'm level 30 now. I could probably become a warrior. Nice. Da 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 Look at that happy face. You look sad for a second. <laughs> I have like three different summoner ska uh, glams. Hey, I got the comms. Nice. Side. They appreciated the long pulls. Uh, okay. I'll take a quick break here. Uh, Fina, are you waiting in the waiting room? You are. You think? Yes, I'll pull you in. Uh, I'm gonna take a small break. You guys can go ahead and keep chatting. Okay, take your time. Okay. Hi, Fina. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Back. I guess it is. Well, no, it's not morning for you. <laughs> I was gonna say. I guess it could. Not be. morning. It's like noon. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hello, Haby. Hello, Sora. Hmm. Hello, hello, friends. I'm gonna fish until he's back. Mm. What are you fishing for? Are you just leveling your fisher? Uh, I'm leveling to 90 and I'm trying to catch every fish in the game, so... I'm just trying to get to 90 right now, so I'm gonna probably go to, like, Charlian. Uh, Sounds fun. It's the gamer morning. <laughs> hey, morning. I stayed up until like, I don't know, like five or something, okay? It's okay. MP, yeah, I saw you tweeting when, when the servers went yeah, down. We that's went to I, bed because the server just exploded. That's and I was when like, I woke up. <laughs> I was like, I, well, I can't like really do bed. anything about this. <laughs> oh, hey, Red, are you here? Nah, Red. Hi, Virtue. Yeah, I, I just saw you were up playing Power Washing Simulator. <laughs> Virtue, did you went to bed or what did you? Were you just playing? <laughs> were you just playing Power Washing the entire time? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you did sleep. Did you? You told you told did everyone you were gonna go to bed at ten a.m. So did you sleep for two hours? <laughs> Ooh, finally a new fish. up at 9 30 a.m so that was like six hours ago from me i don't know if that means you're 9 30 a.m <laughs> virtue i got the i finally got the pro washer <laughs> i've been very much enjoying it est okay that's that's good enough sleep I did that, and I did the. I finished the treehouse last night, and now I'm on the, uh, the fire helicopter. I don't know how many levels there are in the game, but considering you have like quadruple my hours in it, I would imagine there's a lot. <laughs> Can someone? Does it? <sighs> this is such bad timing. What? <clears throat> Red, I need red to be here. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'll, 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 I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Oh yeah. Hi <laughs> chat, I hope you got sleep, slip, snip, snop, sneep, count sheep, all that. Avier with no red. 
Okay, okay. It's okay. He responded. He responded. Okay. Oh my god, we finally got it to happen. Hi. Uh, we're, we gave him pizza. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to coordinate with everyone. I came in here because I was like, oh, the order is almost there. <laughs> and Wait, he so immediately took it him knowing? since I came in here and I was like, hey, what the hell? Is he just like, like in his house, all of a sudden the doorbell rings like, hey, a pizza. Hey, pizza's here for you. I was like, what? <laughs> pizza time. There you go, and Sora. Who's a... Yeah, since you were asleep, you know, we reached... Well, he reached. <laughs> Where uh, are we? Yeah. 12.50. 12.50. I think he has to update the goal again, but... We're at the last stretch goal now. Wait, oh my god, we're at 12.50? <gasps> yeah. Oh, oh, you guys are hecking amazing. <laughs> you guys are hecking amazing. Wow. <laughs> I was, like, really ready to just, like... I, like, I was mentally getting ready because I was like, okay, well, he's gonna need a healer and there's gonna be, like, no healers at, like, 5am in the morning. I I can be the healer for those situations. So I was ready to just, like, fuck up my sleep schedule to be, to be his healer for, like, when everyone's going to bed so we can just, like, get some progress in. <laughs> yeah. But, holy moly. I mean, I still have to be. <laughs> Hello, Tofu. Oh, actually... Uh, I'm sorry, I forget who November Sky is in chat, but uh, they can only play healer, so... Okay, that's fine. I can I mean, I have all three roles. I can play something else, yeah, so don't worry. I can worry. flex as well, so... <laughs> wait, wait, I get to be DPS? Oh my god. Yeah. This is a rare opportunity. <laughs> <sighs> hello, hello. Um, This host of the stream is currently taking... An enforced break because <laughs> the, the, the host of the stream is right now taking a break right now because they need to go find food and need to go stretch. And on that note, if you are sitting like a shrimp, straight it up. I can see you. You look like a walnut. Not you fun. look like a walnut. You used her against me. <laughs> You were the one who told me, you were like, yeah, you can get me a pizza if you can find my address. And I was like, oh, bet? <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> I was like, yeah, bet? Okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, hey, eat carefully. Don't eat too much of it. Yeah. Uh, I know it's a pizza. It's a lot of carbs. <laughs> Yeah, see, I even got your favorite pizza out of you yesterday, so I we know, can make I sure that we got it. you your favorite one. I know, I know <laughs> yeah. you did. I, sh I should have known. I I'm too naive. <laughs> what kind of pizza, though? It's a pepperoni mushroom pizza. Nice. Mushrooms are an amazing topping on yes, pizza. Yes, they are. I like, I, mean, yeah. I, I used to hate, like, veggie pizzas, and now it's like, I would probably say my, like, second favorite. Did you get any sauce to dip it in? Uh, no sauce. No sauce? No sauce. No ranch? No, no, no garlic sauce? I actually like the garlic sauce, but that's okay. It was, it was a surprise. And they, <laughs> they got the, they got the important piece, piece of information from it. <laughs> Dina and Mia worked together, uh, cause Mia actually knows where I live. And Fina High got five, the- Mia. <laughs> Fina got the information out of me. Um, about what toppings I like, and Mia did the deed, because she knows where did I the live. Deed. <laughs> she knows where I live. Yeah. yeah. And I, I gave her a Domino's gift card. 
we were like, how do we do this? <laughs> and we were like, okay, okay, we can give me a, we can give me a, a Domino's gift card, and we used the gift card to give you the pizza. It's like such a roundabout way of doing it. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I couldn't use my card. Because uh, because the, if that was the case, then I'd have to give my card information to Mia, right? Mm -hmm. But Mia has to be the one to make the order. So. <laughs> A carefully executed plan. Yes. Yeah. Masterfully done. Mm -hmm. Good job, Mia. Good job. Good job, team. <laughs> you did it. You you ordered Mia pizza. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel so miserable about it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you drinking enough water? Oh, I'm yeah. just checking in on you. Okay, yeah, I, good. I, I, I bought uh, a gallon of water from the grocery store. Um, okay. I have seven more puddles of spicy water as well. Spicy, spicy water? water. <laughs> spicy water? Uh, oh, like... Like seltzer water. Bubble water, yeah. yeah. Except yeah. today the pizza is, was inevitable. <laughs> He's pounding white claws. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, Ava is pounding white claw during the 48 hour charity stream. That's some shit. Alcohol makes me sleepy. I would not be able to drink alcohol if I'm trying to do an endurance run. I would- I'd be passed out on my chair if I had to drink any amount of alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here. I will snoring. say, probably the most fun raid experience I've had is I got- I don't remember the circumstances, but I got like really drunk one night when I was playing 14. And I did eat 12s for the first time, <laughs> and I actually got like halfway through the fight, mm -hmm. like on my first pull when I was drunk. Mm -hmm. My FC members like to tease me about that story all the time. They're like, you, you literally got farther than like half of PF, and like you couldn't see what your icons were. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, playing Monk too. Sometimes so you like, just YOLO it, you know? It's, yeah. it's the feeling that matters. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I don't get kicked out of the game. Yes, please move. Uh, still feel a bit shitty from the tequila you had on Thursday, right? You were doing like your near replicate stream with tequila that night. With tequila? That oh awful. my god, that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot stand tequila. Are you okay? Okay, are you guys like good with alcohol? Can you guys do oh, alcohol? Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, not, not really. I, can drink like a <laughs> really. I very rarely nothing. drink alcohol. Uh -huh. Do you guys have like a? F it's a. Do you guys have like a favorite? Um. Ooh. Usually hard ciders. Uh, I've been hard warming cider. up to uh, like hard seltzers as well. Um, uh, I used okay, to. Okay. I used to like Long Island iced teas, but that's because mm, they taste I love good. But they mm, also have. It's so like, scary. It's like that is so scary. It's like twenty to forty percent alcohol, so that's why it's scary. You, dude, you drink a Long Island iced tea, and the next thing you know, you're like on the street, on the floor somewhere outside. I, 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 not I remember. Do not do it. So my work likes to bring us out for drinks once in a while, and I remember ordering a Long Island iced tea and like surprising everyone because they're like. He doesn't drink. Why are you? Why are you ordering that? It's like I, I it's because it tastes good. Yeah. And then it I remember just really like good. sitting down and just like dissociating afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like so nauseated. I, 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 I almost had like an out of body experience where I just like couldn't, like I was like squeezing my face so hard, I, I like couldn't think, I couldn't feel, and then eventually it just like passed through me, and I was like, okay. I if you want to, if you want an <laughs> idea of my tolerance, uh. I believe it was like the the week before, like when COVID started getting kind of crazy. Uh, I was driving home from work and there's like a bar like next to my house. I went to the bar and I got, I think it was one or two Long Island iced teas. And then I oh, drove no, home. No, 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 was, no, no. It was perfectly fine. I do not, do not home. drive home when you're drunk. Well, I, also, the bar is like two minutes from my house. Still, like, yeah. do there. not, do not do follow this example. Do not no, drive. No, don't follow this example. Do disclaimer. not drive but I drive. also that I, d I didn't feel anything because my tolerance is so high. Oh my god, insane. Like, it, takes, it takes a lot to get me drunk. Uh, unless I am just like chugging alcohol. Like, mm -hmm. I drink it really, really fast, then I'll get drunk, but that's why I don't do shots. <laughs> but I'd probably say my favorite is vodka. I just like vodka and like everything. I cannot drink. <laughs> I, I remember your story about that, like, Huh. Speakeasy behind the pizza shop. 
I yeah, mean, it was really cool. Yeah, I wanted to take really people cool. there. Yeah. Yeah. But you ordered like a single old fashioned and you died. Shut up. <laughs> you like had half of that old fashioned and you died. It was. <laughs> I don't even want to say it was strong. It wasn't even that strong. But yeah, I, I was gone. <laughs> I was gone. Yeah, so. I, my, my recent thing that I've been doing is that I like to go to like speakeasies uh, in the cities. And yeah, it's been fun. That's That place is still my favorite so far. Yeah, really I need nice to like, find time to go. Yeah, the pizza was really good. Highly recommend the pizza there. Mm -hmm. What exactly is a speakeasy again? Um, so a speakeasy is... Um, so during Pro Prohibition era, um, alcohol was not allowed, right? Mm -hmm. And so people would run illegal bars, essentially. And oh, speakeasies so like, are basically yeah. like it looks like something else in front, like the front play, like the front shop or whatever. It looks different, and behind it, it's but if you go through like a secret entrance, it's a bar inside. Oh, okay, yeah, we do have one of these. Those yeah, uh, I mean these days, like they're legal, right? Obviously, you still you have a license, you have to have a license to run them these days, but like the hidden aspect of it is still there so for me the fun part is like going and trying to find where they are and going yeah. and finding the secret right because that's my whole thing is to like find and explore new things that kind of stuff yeah there's there's one in in uh i mean i don't I think it's like I, I, I live in florida like uh in orlando they use i don't know if it's still around i don't know if they shut down but there was one where there was like an arcade in the front and uh -huh. if you pushed back a bookshelf in the back yes, of the yes. place it would it would open up to an entire bar exactly and it's like you have to know to do that right yeah. like you have to see someone do it or maybe it, i think spin. there was another one where there was like a little it was like uh designed after like a nuclear bunker or something mm -hmm. and there was like somewhere <gasps> like behind something there was a keypad on the wall and that you knew the code you could get into the secret bar oh my gosh yeah, the one I went to, um, it was Sunset in Vino, and it, it's like a pizza place, but then you go upstairs, you go behind a door, and it's a bar up, up there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's this place I want to go that it's like, it's supposed to be like an arcade, but then you go all the way behind and it's also a bar. Yeah. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah, I like those kind of places. I don't, I don't like clubs. Like, I hate clubs. <laughs> I, I can't deal with the people. I, I can't do it. So I Why? like to chill bars. Too loud. Yeah, I get like sense. Mm. I, I've noticed this like over the past few years. I don't know what it is. I get sensory overload like really easy. Like nowadays. It's uh, probably COVID. <laughs> not even that. It's just like, I, like, if there's a lot of loud people. Like I used to get it in the restaurant when I was working. Mm. I would just like get like. Kind of yeah, but like people restaurant loud is like restaurant loud even during like peak time is like it's not a clubbing sit like no, situation. No, 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 no. But like it's I, not even I would be stressed out from like doing stuff on the front end, and then there would be like a bunch mm -hmm. of just like noise, and it'd start like making my head foggy. <laughs> like it would it would freak me out. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's like I I just don't like clubs because it's so congested all the time too. Okay, I get you. Yeah, my club. A five dollar donation. Mm. Yeah, uh, my clubbing days are over. <laughs> I mean, do you want to tell us more about your uh, Shrek raid? Hmm. Hmm? Oh, I, want to, I want to hear more about the Shrek raid. What happened to that? <laughs> oh, yeah, so I went to a Shrek raid very recently. Uh, it is too much and makes me want to shut in. <laughs> it makes me feel like you want to feel air and it's scary. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly yeah, what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I understand the claustrophobic feeling that you guys are feeling. It's okay. Like, that is a valid feeling to be feeling. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> I, want to, I want to know... I the found <laughs> out through a friend of a friend that someone was running a Shrek grave. Um, and I was like, a Shrek grave? Hold on, okay, I need to go. <laughs> that was my reaction, I was like, I need to go. I don't care if I have to go alone, I'm, I'm oh, going, God. I need to go. It literally, the advertisement was just like... I think I posted it on Twitter, but the advertisement was literally just like, Yes, 
we are doing a Shrek rave. Come for Shrek remixes and Shrek team drinks. And I was like, yo, okay, I'll have, show up. What the fuck? Can I post, <laughs> can I post uh, links to your Twitter feed? Yeah, you can post it. You can post it. No worries. Did How do you find this drink? post so fast? It's, That's in my your, it's in your photos. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I went, I went with a friend. It was just me and a friend. We went to the Shrek rave. Um, I mean, like, I have to make sure that lo the location was fine. It's a location that we've been to before, and we don't know, we didn't know the DJ, but like, everything else seems to check out. So we're like, okay, it's probably an indie DJ who just wants to do this. So it's like, oh, you know what? Okay, let's show up. Did I wear green? Yes, I did wear green. <laughs> I did wear green. <laughs> um, and yeah, we came in. There was green decorations everywhere. There was a Shrek cutout. It was very unreal. <laughs> that was like the VIP section, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was the the VIP section had a Shrek cutout that you can take pictures with. Um. <laughs> they were playing Shrek remixes. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, the crowd was amazing. No, there was only one Shrek cutout, so I I don't think I could have got it by the security guard. It would have been really funny to try, but I don't think I, I could have got it through the security guard. Imagine going to prison for stealing a Shrek. <laughs> like cut out. Okay, I probably could have like thrown it over the door, over, over over the wall, and just like run out or something. But no, we're not gonna no. <laughs> I was green blending with Shrek. There was only like one entrance. I'm not gonna. I was not gonna try it. Anyway, yeah, the crowd was amazing. There were so many people who dressed up as like Shrek or like characters from Shrek. I saw there was like a three blind mice. Oh my there was God. a group who was doing the three blind mice. There was this girl who was doing like a sexy Lord Farquaad. I saw that uh, one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was like wearing like Lord, For Lord Farquaad's outfit, except she was wearing like a leotard instead. <laughs> oh um, there was a lot of Shrek cosplayers. Um, yeah, it was... The crowd was... Very good. The crowd was A++. I gotta give it to the crowd. It was great. <laughs> um, yeah, the location was good. It was nice. It was clean. Um, unfortunately, I... Okay, it might just be a meeting. I don't know. I wasn't super vibing with the music. Like, the... <sighs> it was okay. Like, the remix was just okay. But it wasn't my kind of stuff, you know? Yeah. So, I we kind of left after like two hours of sitting of sitting there. Or like, well, not sitting there, but like, vibing there, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a good experience. For 10 bucks, I would do it again. Yeah, that sounds like a steal. <laughs> For 10 bucks to get to see people dress up as Shrek, like, bad dude doing headbangs? <laughs> Hell yeah, sign me up again, dude. <laughs> sign me up again. <laughs> Ape guys, Chocobo. Yes, I named it Breezel <gasps> Fresh. Now you gotta make him blue. <laughs> Do I do I have enough? Uh, all right, Ina, give me give me Hi. the link. How do how do I turn my chocobo blue? Oh my let's, use the, let's use the calculator. Hold on. <laughs> yes, I have the calculator. I. Oh wait, wait Melon wasn't you... here. You should tell. Oh, you should tell them the story. Of what? Well, what with Ember trying to make? Wait, with Ember, yeah. Ember was trying to make a white chocobo, and then like we're just talking, and eventually Ember is like. Shit. <laughs> 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 it's because she thinks she messed up. The, the, the berries. The berries you're supposed to feed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what color did it come out as? We don't know yet. Uh, once she oh, right, can't they, tell what We'll find yeah. out once she wakes up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's gonna wake up and be like, hmm, my chocolate balls like even weird gray. Do you have like a stable you could use? That's a good question. <laughs> I need to be invited like, to an like FC. A, like, I used to have an apartment. Do you need an FC? <laughs> <laughs> a temporary FC while we do this, and then you can kick me out after. Okay, give us a Let's color select the exact blue. Well, I think the one I have is. What's your chocobo color? color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I have a blue chocobo, and it looks like basil okay. color. Where is a gear? Hello. I'm in uh, Limsa Markets. Okay, I need. Well, get your get what you need first. I'm 
double check it to make sure that I don't know what I need. Yeah, I gave it later. Oh, you gave me the link? Okay. What's your chocobo's hex color? <laughs> dog ahead? No! Not everything's a dog! This is not Dark Souls! I think the funniest part is that like every time you get to like a part where there is an actual dog, you, the message should change to like, yeah, horse ahead. Horse, yeah. Horse ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, did I tell you about the time one of my friend's characters got hacked? In like in fourteen. In fourteen, yeah. So someone hacked his account. He was a he was a a FC sub leader, so an FC officer. Oh. Um, he he used his character to invite uh, a bot or not a bot like a but like a. You know, what are you invite to an FC? What's that? How, no, sorry. I'm sorry. Keep going. I'm trying to figure out how to invite you. Oh. Um, so they, they invited like a, a throwaway character to the FC, um, gave them permission to access the company chest and just like stole their gil. Oh my god. Yeah. By the way, you know, he's already in one. Oh. I'm, I'm in T4. Oh, is T4C not your FC? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Oops. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I, oh, that's I, why. I, I, I was just, like, like why can I not invite you? I wasn't. I just like I got sent an invitation. And I was like, oh, is this it? Okay, just hit accept. Okay, it. you're still. It's still marking you as T4C. Right yeah. Now. Well, how do I how do I get out? You want to go to I think info and then. Leave. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> invite the company. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What the it's dog's doing? I literally was not paying attention because yeah. I was in the middle of explaining that story and it just like, oh, FC invite, except. I was like, <laughs> that's the one. Wait. <laughs> it's like we were just talking about it and it's just like, oh, I hear the invite noise. That's probably this one. Or like, like, what if one of your friends was inviting me? So, like, of course I wouldn't recognize the name. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm here to use the stables for science. Uh, what color should I pick? Do a poll. Uh, like a light blue, right? It, it, his color is a little bit more teal, but there isn't exactly a teal. There's like celeste green, or uh, oh. cele yeah, celeste green, or uh. Uh, Have you tried sky blue? Yeah, either one of those. I'm not sure which one's more basic. Yeah, I have the sky blue one, and it it looks pretty close to basic colors. <sighs> I wanna say sky blue. Either yeah. ice blue or sky blue. I think you can show it. You can show it to the chat and ask for opinions. I mean, if you want to see my my choke with color, he's sky yeah. blue. I can show it I to can, you. I can show you mine too. Mine is also a blue color. I don't think my color is like basal color. Hmm. Do it for the vibe. But of course, they only sell them in 20s. Do you need money? I have money. It's just this is okay. more than I need. No. Just release it to the wild later. <laughs> or give it to me and I can put it in the FC chest. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Who is this person on my friend list? Hmm. I don't know who this is. Yeah, when like people change their names and you just like have no idea who they are in your friends list anymore. 
Yeah, I tend to just. Who unfriend. are you, Zerifalia from Lamia? <laughs> How do I know someone from Lamia? Oh my god. Maybe they server transferred. Ew, gross. Gross. <laughs> is this but, is this server but, server is? I don't know what the word is. But like Miku's from Lamia. Who? Miku, Miku Sagi. Uh, she oh. was here uh, this morning. <clears throat> oh, I think honestly, I think my experience is that Behemoth people are the most like toxic people to meet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Behemoth are Hyperion. That's my experience. Okay, half of Hyperion is a like fucking role player, so it's like kind of whatever. <laughs> So they're just RPing as toxic players? They're not actually toxic? No, they're just really- Okay, some of them are really fucking funny, okay? <laughs> what now, boss? Uh, like, 95% of my friends list is Leviathan, so I don't know, like- Leviathan, Leviathan. I got so sick and tired of hearing Leviathan and Leviathan. Yeah, what? that's my, like, uh, least favorite. Like, what? Friend, that was like honest. my favorite fight of that tier. Oh my god, yo. The fight's fine. I don't. The fight I, is I, so fun. I don't like the music. <laughs> the song is what makes it so good. Like, you get to head bang as you get, like, as, as like, like, the floor disappears under you. Yeah, then you what die. What else can you ask for? <laughs> and you just straight up die. My funniest Hello. memory from Leviathan was. It's behind. It's behind. Oh, Red. Way in the back. Yeah, the funniest uh, memory from Leviathan is watching uh, our warrior uh, gap close into the hole in the ground. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have a clip that I treasure, and it's it's something like our monk going like, "Yeah, check this out," and then he immediately <laughs> he did his gap close, and he just went him sent him straight in. Um, I I need Hi, to be level I need to be level thirty because. Okay. I need to. I need to. Um, you are level thirty. I need to learn how to uh, summon the, summon the uh, Joker Ball with the Gishul Greens. And okay. Okay. Only if I once I learn how to do that, then I can stable. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, more MSQ it is. More MSQ it is. Where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go back to the Waking Sands. What a surprise! Wow. <laughs> Bye, Gina. Bye. Yeah, when you come back here, make sure to go to the rooftop. Ooh, rooftop. <laughs> yeah, oh, I forgot to mention. Yeah, I I designed this F, this F series outside. Um, and then true Fina fashion, there's criming bulbs. <laughs> I think I remember you working. Was that on your personal house or something? You were working uh, on like no, a... the, the the large house, the large one I decorated is um, my F C. <laughs> No, I remember you like you editing a specific room so you can get like uh, outside the bounds of like a small house. <laughs> I, I didn't say it was your house. I mean, I, I couldn't have. I could have not been you editing. Man, <laughs> imagine I can make a living just like being like a mercenary who helps people go out of bounds in their own house. Mm -hmm. That actually sounds kind of fun. I would not mind doing that. Huh? <laughs> you have to like code it. <laughs> It has to be up to code. Just like design, like um, design like an illegal room for people. It's like a hideaway. That's what room. you were trying to do. <laughs> like, I remember it. You're trying to make like a club, a clubhouse on like the, the out of bounds in your house or something. Yeah. I mean, it's it's coming together. <laughs> <laughs> the most we've ever experimented with was like the the butt rocket for the Kugane walls. We had a house like that. I missed the void. It was a vibe. Yeah, the void is definitely a vibe. I agree. Cran gets it. <laughs> right now, uh, we used to have a secret room underneath our stairs. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's still in use. We have a secret room um, in the FC house that only the um, officers know about. So we use it for meetings. <laughs> Is it one of those like hidden wall tricks? Yeah, you have to know where to go in. Yeah. It's not You guys like Biggs and Wedge? I love I love uh, Wedge. Oh, I'm okay cute. with Biggs. 
I loved your involvement um, when you do the Crystal Tower 2.0 part. Mm -hmm. That was very cool to see. <laughs> so I finally finished the tweet. All right. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> that's an essay, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's, no. It's got a lot of emojis in it. That's what I remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> is this one of those? Yeah. The, yes, the let's go. Insane. Send this to seven mischievous moogles, or you won't get any kisses. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Send this to seven mischievous moogles, or you won't get any coupon nuts we have a favor for to Christmas ask this year. Uh, attention oh, yeah, all gamers, picture. did you know <laughs> that the yeah. critically acclaimed oh God, RPG so Final well. Fantasy XIV has a free trial and includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60 with no <laughs> restrictions on playtime. Sign up and enjoy yours yet today. Oh, you could have asked one of us! Oh my god. This is perfect. Also, like... Is there a way to copy-paste this? Or do I ask you want me to type it in? Uh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> you I think you have to type it in. <laughs> you have to type it in. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, just copy the image. Okay, that's fair enough. Oh, that's true. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to what a disappointment. learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the Primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it Messenger would be the emoji. to assume that <laughs> the threat go. posed by the Primal has passed. Posted just for you. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying mm. about. Messenger ruins the emojis. Discord isn't perfect either. Bless. In that regard, they are hardly alone. Those are such good emoji choices. What we can say this is with really, absolute is... certainty is yes. that Gridania okay, yeah. has its hands full oh, I messed up. Clean up, 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 and enjoy your skits today. I need hardly remind you. This was good, sir. Thank you. Savage and terrible of all known primals. Did you know thinking emoji that? <laughs> in short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the echo. God, Cran, I completely forgot when they changed the, the voice actors well after ARR. I feel the like they changed the voice actors after every expansion. Will you help us? They... changed them? Mm. I think the most recent change was Sid. Lovely. Well, which I mean, as much as I'd like to help, <laughs> Sid has been voiced be like twice, <laughs> so <laughs> doesn't really matter. A but babe in the woods. yeah, I think like Either after a Rummy born, they they switched it, to see the for the trees. and then I, I think it's been the same Is since. That not so, Minfilia? Indeed, you are willing. Leave it to me. Us, Ida, us. Yeah, it was like after Stormblood, they started hiring like Australian actors to do these British accents. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss Ida's voice, man. Mela Lee was such a good voice actress for her. Nest. Oh, is this what I have to do? Um... Is that poison filled dungeon again? Uh, Thousand Maws. Oh, yeah, Thousand Maws. The wor the easily like the worst dungeon in A Realm Reborn, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really I remember someone telling me that Thousand Maws was a legacy dungeon back in 1.0. But it wasn't like an instanced dungeon or anything, it was like an open world dungeon. Hmm. It had a very similar structure where it's just like you enter a cave and it's just a bunch of different hallways and stuff. 
like an Elden Ring ass dungeon. Kind of like that, yeah. And people hated it just as much as they did now. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't they say they were changing it though? I think. Like for. I, I remember somebody saying, like, no more Toto Rack or something. I feel like that's pretty good. I mean, I figure that's just like another way you can introduce the Sylphs. Yeah. Isn't this also where they introduce, like, La Habrea, like, formally? He summons the big old scorpion boy at the end. Maybe. I, I mean, uh, like he's been introduced. So long, yeah. This is where we meet him for the first time. I thought. Good morning, Mama Catherine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to finish this pizza. Good morning, Mama Catherine. Yeah, I'll probably head out for now. Just uh, gotta get a couple things done before. Yep, get going. Treat, but I will be back later. Maybe not in Discord, but definitely in chat. So <laughs> thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you, Ave. Thank you, Fina. Thanks Thank for you, taking chat. the time to hang out. I'll catch y'all later. See ya. Good luck to the lab. Okay. You. Me. Have your pizza. <clears throat> I do. I will go for to passing out. <laughs> Alright, cool. And you also have an FC now to do stuff if, if you need help. Mm -hmm. And if you really super need anything desperate, ask Alpha um, and tell him to just. Do it on my, it's put it on my, on my tab. <laughs> sure thing. But yes, I will be back. I will be back for the late night oh, runs one. again if you need help. Mm -hmm. Thank you so All right, much. Take care. Yeah, of course. Middle. I like my name too. <laughs> you should be proud of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 I will save you. No, no, come with me. <laughs> Dude, someone's getting, gonna get a button in the diagram. clip <clears throat> i know that um which twitch clips are really weird because when you click on the clip button um and you know it shows up that second window where it's like now you can kind of uh lengthen or shorten or choose a specific portion of the last couple of minutes to clip it also makes a 30 second clip exactly when you press the button so you end up making two clips every single time you use the clip button and it's really weird and i don't think that should be the case they need to fix that it's really weird bro i mean like so everything else with twitch right
what did you do? Why did you get shut out? Uh, for being a good friend and for, uh, buying me pizza. It's a text that you can't post all of it. Oh no! Um, I can I can split it into two tweets if you want, Bella. Appraisals? What's appraisals? <clears throat> so nice. Yeah. Fire. What's the like result? It works, oh no. Trunks. Trunks isn't here. Trunks SK. First, yes. Nipsit, hello! Welcome to the stream. Good after morning. You're welcome. Thank you for appreciating your hard work. It's wonderful. How am I holding up? I am uh, barely holding up. Uh, feel pretty tired, for sure. Let's peer. Hope your PS4 data transfer to the PS5. I hope so too. Yeah, I, I ate two slices of the pizza. I didn't want to eat more because I feel like it would completely knock me out. Uh, I think I am due for a nap soon-ish. Well, we'll see. You don't want to have to finish Elden Ring on PS4 when you got a PS5 sitting there next to it? Ayo, Red? Go to fuck to bed. That's starting to sound pretty good. 
but we'll see. <laughs> hey, yo, wake the fuck up, Red. Oh my god. Inflicting suggestions. <laughs> what do I do? Emotional damage. I think it's like one more dungeon than sleep. That sounds pretty accurate. I just know there's a lot of quests to do at this point. I'd probably nap for like Couple hours, maybe four hours. See how far I can go from there. Need to eat to the AFK for a bit? Sure thing, no problem. I think uh, four hours is pretty good because it'll be around eight o'clock my time, and a lot of more people will be uh, more available, I'd say. Take the fairy skipper to the Hawthorn. But... Oh wait, I didn't attune to the uh, Etherite. Oopsie. Also, I ha I can use my mount now. I can't fly though. I think if I go at it seriously, I might be able to do it. But at this pace, I probably won't be able to complete it in time. Chala and Chala. Dragon Ball Cloud Energy, yes. Why they call it the Nimbus? Can it go upward? Uh, only if I have unlocked flying. I haven't unlocked flying yet. North. Shala, head shala. I'm tired. You okay, Nepsit? Are you tired too? as tired as you, but you're always tired. That's fair. This guy was just doing a little dance. Probably tuned to this. Sounds like a good idea. Speak with Rosa Hawthorne. You need a healer stream, Tina. <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that leg cross. I would like to announce to chat that you have banana chips and they are delicious. Nice. Are you going to share? I'll help you out in dungeon if you need. Uh, I don't know how close I am to Tamtaro. Not Temtara, uh, Totoroth. 
put some on the metaphorical party table for sharing, of course. Is that Behemoth? Yeah, that's Behemoth. The Nana chips are S tier, yet people who agree with these lot. You know what's better? Dried mangoes. I don't... They're kind of different experiences. Dried mangoes are very good, though. But the Nana chips you kind of get for the crunchy. It's been Totoro mauled. Ah. Are dried mangoes kind of chewy? Yeah. I really put this mount on, uh, on my hot bar so it's easier to pick up. You got your UI and everything done, but all your combat classes besides Ninja are worked. That's too bad. I think Hilder is. St oh my god. Yeah. I think Hilder is still working on getting all of those things back together. So, turns out Sylph likes to get high, uh, and the gift that you're giving them produces- they smoke it and it produces uh, very wild hallucinations. And Sylphs puff this stuff like 24-7. What server am I on? I'm on Exodus. Stopping before job to wish you good luck again. You can do it. Thank you so much, Mikasagi. Good luck with work today. I didn't realize how much I would miss the Hudleo change class thing. It's so nice. Hey, cat. Thank you so much for the follow. I'll follow you while you wait for your PS4 to transfer to PS5. Sure thing. You forgot to follow last time. Sorry. No worries. Welcome. Good after morning. Hey, still going strong? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to weaken, but uh, still going at least. Did you guys have a nice rest? Welcome to the stream, Autumn. What zone am I in? Uh, what is it? The um, Hawthorne Hut. Aw, oh, Autumn, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Here, take that and I'll help you keep going. Oh. Alright. I can I can do this. I can I get some coffee? Alright, I'll go pour myself some more coffee. Mommy Autumn for the win. Alright, I just refilled my coffee. Um What was I saying? Uh, Autumn, thank you so much for the five gift subs again. You're wonderful. I will keep chugging you along uh, for a bit longer, help you go into bed, you mean. <laughs> Hello, Varsh. Welcome.
Hi. God, he's so tiny. This guy is so tiny. If you're enjoying, oh, no. I'm I'm so out of it. I'm reading my own bots messages aloud. This is this is not <laughs> not a good sign. Welcome back, Mama Catherine. You do it all the time. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Everyone, please take a sip of water. I'm about to give these sylphs their dank grass. Also, if you hear things, Abe is sussy, why am I sussy? Thank you for the posture check, Simba. Ayo, wake the fuck up, Red. I'm gonna purchase a story skip and boom, AR completed and you can sleep. You won't snitch. That's not the same! I have to dance for this sylph? Sylphs are so cute, though. Yeah, but they like smoking that dank kush. And I wish they were playboys. I mean, they're literally just like balls of cabbage. I want to play a vegetable, but play Lala. Respect all tribes. Reason why Sussy is because cutie. Milk root. Letter to the elder. Um, you play a Viera, you need a giant cabbage sylph. You did not just say that about sylphs. Max rep was like the first thing you did every time you meet them. So the raffle prize at the moment is a copy of uh, the Final Fantasy XIV Complete Edition. Um, this is a digital code for Final Fantasy XIV, A Roman Born, and all existing uh, expansions. A complete set. It also comes with a 30-day uh, subscription to the game. So if you're someone who's looking to get in, or if you have a friend who's looking to get in, uh, now's a good chance to uh, pick it up. All you have to do is donate at least $5. To uh, through Tiltify. And you're into it. Uh, drawing is probably gonna be maybe in an hour. Probably whenever, probably before I, t I decide to take a nap. He was hoping to win and then force the player to play for another 30 days. Apparently they didn't like my dance. They don't want to be my friend. Oh, thank you, Mama Catherine. Oh my god, why is there a... Oh, right, that's the four seater. I listen to them there being pee pee poo poo. Miku, don't you need to go to work? I don't want you to be late. When you come back, I'll still be streaming. You can be sure of it. Alright, let's go talk to all these people. Okay, it is okay, so go to work. I have to dance for all of them. I'm not a huge fan of the uh Viera dance. Unless my internet goes out. 
Well, maybe that flick at the very end is, is very tasteful. But the, the footwork could use a little work. Good morning. Hey yo, wake the fuck up, Red. I, I'll try. Hey, Velo. Good morning. Ember, are you gonna go check up on your chocobo? See if it turned white? Let us know. Let us know if you have succeeded. Did you miss out on outfit prizes? Uh, nope. Right now, it is the uh, complete edition. Outfit prize will be... Uh, after this one. Why not? Forgot about the chocobo? Friend. 33.7% of the way there. Uh, let's see. Are there any email prizes? There's not. So the prizes are um, Fantasia's, um, Emmerich's attire, uh, Yastola's modish attire. The copy of Final Fantasy XIV's Complete Edition, and uh, one of two time cards. Mama Catherine just wants to say, uh, anyone who is questioning their gender or personality here, just remember that you all, you are all valid. Just be careful and be patient, because otherwise you'll have stress for years. You have to think about it. If, uh, just think about it when you find out something new about yourself or a new term that might help describe you. It's good to uh, find exposure and gain perspective. Those are things that might uh, be able to help you out. Thank you for those kind words. You should just do like five more extra dollars a month and just let you have access to all the emotes you pay them or that. Do I really have to talk to this many people? Oh, no, I have to go. I have to start slaying. stress for years just be patient if someone told me that it would all be okay wouldn't have had so much stress the last few years so just be patient Epsit uh, has been finding themselves uh, has been a real struggle very kind of be my workout.
Is it? Oh no, that's just a bait. That guy's feet on fire. He's using um these flame wheels. Is that Mama Cap and you like feet? Feet's the fav your favorite thing in the world? Cool. to do so much just to make these stupid fairy sylphs happy. It's so tedious. Eh, uh, give me your toes. <laughs> no, don't. Don't do that. That's, that's not very cash money. Once again, find myself gathering fish sand. Congrats. I hope you get more fish sand. It's best not to make people feel uncomfortable. Not usually a very pog thing to do. Yes, thank you. To make the fake MMO money, so you buy the fake MMO house. Do you have the house? Or uh, what? Where do you uh, want to get that house? I'll do that with what you're driving. I'm driving the Falcon. Are you trying to get uh, into Ishgard housing, Cran? We have a medium share of pot, but. Reminds me of those amusement park rides, yeah. I'd love to get a large-ish plot when it comes out. Oh, nice. It's gonna be by um, lottery though, so are you worried? Disneyland. Or when people move out of share of the card. Oh. Arsh, you're being extremely helpful. Gills go up in the day. Snag a large at this time around, you can wait for another opportunity. That is true. Level 31 Marauder! Am I getting close? I feel like, okay, so I spent like half of my time limit 
to only do 33%. Uh, we're not at a great pace, but maybe things will improve. <laughs> Maybe I can, like, speed through the rest of it soon. We really only have the two chances, but we don't exactly have exact details on how the water will work. You say blame the servers? Well, the, the server ending only set me back, like, two hours. Do another wordle? Alright. Yeah, but imagine that's two hours of cutscenes. Uh, like, the reason why I'm set back is mostly because... Uh, I got so distracted. It took us like seven and a half hours just to, um... Just to get to Sustasha. Like, we wasted so much time doing absolutely nothing. Remember, we're at the Hawthorne Hut. Did I enjoy what? The journey to Sustasha? Uh, most of it was spent uh, sitting in Fina's apartment taking pictures with Ember. Yep, yeah, this is the one. Also, more turtle ember, just for you. Not oh, what the wrong way. It's white! You didn't mess up at all, Ember. Congrats. Oh, I can't fly. That's a nice color. Creating the single most important guide to Sasasha. I think that was worth it. Yeah. I mean, the most important part is that we hit our, our charity goal. Uh, and we're on our way to getting our last stretch goal of doing a karaoke stream. But congrats, Ember. A really nice color. What is your car? It's called the Falcon. I think you get it if you pre-ordered, um, Heavensward? Yeah. This was, I believe this was a Heaven's Ward pre-order. Okay. Uh, am I close to the next dungeon? Oh, Varsh is using the, um, the Eternal Bond Chocobo. It's the one you get for, uh, buying the Platinum Wedding. Yep. If you purchase the Platinum Wedding Package, you get the, uh, the two-seater White Chocobo. I have to do a solo duty. Elder Ring at 43%. Almost there. Oh boy, we get to murder sylphs now. They're all like, there's no chance of talking to them, just kill them instead.
Viable peace method. Welcome back, Elder. This one is stinky. Going. Oh, he's running away. Easy. Oh my god, I'm starting to feel so tired. Oh. Oh. Where's that wordle? I haven't even done the real wordle yet. Oh, okay. Uh wait, is that right? Wait, I know all the letters, but what does it spell? Opera? Thank you. So you've been streaming for like 20 hours, but how long have you been up for it? Uh, I've been up for 18 and a half hours. I took like an hour and a half nap when the servers went down. Um, yeah. Hey, we found a Hilden. I can't use my braid right now, I'm so tired. Ah! Keep going, here. Let's wait for the hallucinations. Let's push through the tired. Garlic? That's so mean. I think I'll uh, take a break after Tantara. Stay up for 30 hours to try to see. That's not healthy! <laughs> I don't want to see clowns! Let me see. Uh, Spirited Away is 35% of the way there. Hmm. 
You're already seeing clowns. <laughs> it's chat. I'm sorry, but what part of 48 hour stream was ever considered healthy? I mean, true. Uh, I had every intention of taking a break in between, but 30 hours straight is not something that I intend to do. But yes, you have a very good point, Farce. This is not something I intend to do very often. Uh, what the four hours is it? I have to go back to the tent. Tent, branch, bent, branch, meadows. You're going for 48 hours straight, no rest, no sleep breaks? I'm gonna have a couple of sleep, sleep breaks, I mean. But welcome to the stream. Kia. Hi, Kia. Yeah, it's it. I it would definitely be far too much if I tried to do it straight without sleeping. It was more that I have a forty-eight hour time limit uh, rather than uh, I have to be up for forty-eight hours. And unfortunately, we're not on pace. But maybe I'll be able to pick up my pace um, once I... I mean, like, now that I have a mount, it's going to be a, lo a little bit faster. Welcome back, Sora. How's your... You're making food, right? How's your lunch? Oh, you're also a bunny boy. Mascaran's Brothers. What happens if you don't make it? What punishment will happen? We didn't establish punishments. Uh, I don't think I deserve to be punished for this. You eat a very spicy chicken, now you're drinking water. I ended up eating the spicy noodles last night and I was struggling to talk for a little bit. Everyone was so concerned about like the sound that my voice was uh, making. Marsh carry me through P1 through 4. I sleep for 48 hours. Isn't that like a minor coma? Oh, we're so close to the dungeon. He runs with he runs mapped with bips. Well being asleep for 48 hours is legally dead. Is it? That doesn't sound right. You gotta go, you're going to stream on your own. Probably be back later tonight though, if you take a break soon. Get some rest and I'm really proud of you for doing this. Thank you, Nepsit. 48 hours of maps, that sounds awful too. Imagine doing 48 hours of, map of maps and never getting a portal. Have a good stream, Nepsit. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon. Do you have any idea how rich we'll be? Imagine the cost it would take to buy all those maps. Excellent. We are like 36% of the way there, guys. We craft... What do you mean? You can't craft maps. Why buy when we can farm AV for the first four hours for Moogle Tones? Is Arm Veil actually the fastest way to get Moogle Tones? Assuming you're uh, Blue Mage, I assume. Everything's faster with Blue Mage? Yeah. I love how the whole party of Blue just melts Arm Veil, I see.
splash of water. Since Pry is going to go away, may as well get them exclusively through pay runs, right? I go away by changing with the orbs. Uh, oh, I thought it was binding coils with the orbs. Four tomes for six minutes versus Pray tomes 40, uh, 40 minutes. So, A, for anyone just joining in, what is the charity for? Uh, the charity is for, uh, we're raising money for found a non-profit organization called uh, Equality Texas Foundation. They provide support to uh, trans youths and their families who are currently living in Texas. <laughs> Thank you, Lookroot. <laughs> Thank you, Biff. I don't know why I just called you Lookroot. I'm fading! Velo, I'm fading. This guy just gave me a single egg. It's not even cooked. Can't believe it. Hey, we gained another percent. Walker's Alley. Lanasia? Yeah. What the hell am I doing all the way back in Lanasia? Oh, sorry, I forgot about my cherry now, I guess. Oh, yeah, it is. Thank you for reminding me. Talking about Elden Ring in the chat right now. No, because I already had burned down the earth tree. Because there's no NPC to tell me resting at this grace of burn down the earth tree. Yeah, I. Uh, Marsh keeps telling us about what happened to his Ur tree, and it's just like seeing what the volcano made for you. Sometimes you just gotta roll with whatever ending you end up with. I don't have to get back to Elden Ring at some point, but let's focus on. We can do this. We have 200 M more MSQs to go. I think if I if I take a quick nap. And refresh myself, I might be able to pump through the rest. I can I essentially have to double my pace. And with no more reveals to be had, I think we could do it. Wait, where do I need to go? Wine burn. Uh closer to the shoes. Wait, this is this is the long way, isn't it? I, I don't like this. I need to go down there. Our elder ring chat isn't affecting your MSQ. It is now I am madness. No, it was more I'm trying to I'm talking to myself. Uh trying not to talk too much about Elden Ring. I'm surprised how far away Tentar is. Like, the last three dungeons were right next to each other, and then Tentar was like 15 MSQs after uh, Copper Bell. Oh, yeah, dude. When I was doing New Game Plus of this, I uh, want to rip my hair out. <laughs> Hello, Hilder. 
Everyone, welcome to oh, there. I was always here. You were always here? I'm level is your MST quest. Uh, 23, and I'm currently level 31. At least it fixed the level scaling. Uh, I think it's a little over tuned, if anything. Sora says hello. Hey. Oh, hello, Sora. Wait, where'd you go? Uh, I, I went to Elport. Now we need to go to Upper Lanosia. Still can't fly here. Dip says, say divide divide for the chat. Ooh, you don't have enough switch points for that, Dip. <laughs> Maybe I'll wake up. Am I gonna become a warrior? Yes, Varsh, I'll become a warrior. A true warrior of light. Probably for the best, so you don't have to rely on the sprout healers. I mean, warriors don't have access to healing until like level 60. Well, you get there by the end of I won't be able to use it in like Praetorium or any of the dungeons. Don't worry about it. Listen. I'll show you my special skill. I'm listening. It's called sprinting past everything and letting the healer take aggro. <laughs> That's what we were doing with Fina earlier. It's the best. Yeah, we were doing, um. We were essentially doing, like, speedrun strats. Slay coral pups and collect coral pup whiskers. That sounds very cruel. Why am I killing kitties for their whiskers? Elder, maybe we are the criminals. Are you like gonna do min eye level prey? Uh, probably not. I have to use duty finder. And I don't think you can duty find your minimum eye level, can you? Oh, that's the wrong one. Is it the wrong way? You can get behind there again. Uh, no, I think you're right. I have to go up. Uh... Is yeah, it... just go up and jump, dude. Oh, You'll no. Be fine. There's, there's a way behind it. No, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, I tried to the cold bolts. You only need 8, I guess, depends on how it all shakes out. That would be interesting. I've never done Praetorium at a middle of Idaho. You've never done it either. I believe in you. Sure, I'll be fine. If you had extra time at the start, it might be fun and enough people were aligned, yeah. Why is this aggroing me? Oh, rude. Thank you for TPN. And Cape Westwind. <laughs> you good with that pizza or you want a supper sandwich? More curry? I think I'm good. Appreciate it. Um So Fina managed to order me a pizza and I didn't tell her my address. Are we doing Cape Westwind strats? I don't bomb. have my markers for that. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the June Bob video. Yeah, we need to get raid food, Minai level, all that good stuff. Gosh. 
a weapon. The yeah, F-straps equals no job stone, only weapon and accessories on. Final destination, no items, box only. Oh no! That's awkward. I just realized that it never um. You never attuned? I never attuned to the quarry mill. What a guy. Yeah, I. I have to go through, um... The, Why don't we the just fly branch, you there? The bent branch meadows. You want me to fly you to quarry mill? Sure. When can you unlock Chocobo Companion? I think it's level 30 MSQ, but I don't know off the top of my head. Am I going to? Uh, maybe if I have time. To the skies. That's not the way. Hey, if you're gonna nap soon, you said you're retired. Yeah, I was gonna try and do it after I unlock the dungeon. Or maybe after I finish the dungeon. You need Basil to join you on your adventure. Basil's in Nebraska. He won't be able to join us for this journey. Unlock it and sleep. Wake up and finish the dungeon. Sorry, I meant the Chocobo Basil. Our Chocobo is named uh, Brazel Fresh. Brazel Fresh. Brazel Fresh with a PH. How long of a nap? And will you require an elbow drop to wake up? I don't think I'll require an elbow drop. Thank you for the community hydrate. Everyone, please take a sip of water. It's so hard to see about these trees. Oh, wait. Semi, thank you so much for the $20 donation. And Alcor, thank you so much for the $20 donation. Hey, yo, wake the fuck up, Red. Alcor didn't even say anything in chat. Grand, come to Brazen. <laughs> Good morning, Alcor. <laughs> Tell Hildur I miss his butt on your lap. What? What was this? Oh, well? You have some explaining to do, Hildur. I, uh, mm, must have been a wind. Must have been a wind. Alright, let's get Semi on the board, too. Let's do orange for Semi. If you guys got ramen? Did Unfortunately, that does not narrow it down at all. <laughs> How are you doing, Alcor? Did you have a good night's sleep, Alcor? the baby cousin? Aren't you older than I am? You have for three days old. Yeah, Varsh is a three day old father. A 
this dungeon talk? What are you guys saying in my own chat right now? Speaking riddles. Hello? More investigations. I think I'll end up with like 40% by the end of this, and that's not too bad, honestly. I still have to do my level 30 uh, job quest and unlock uh, Warrior. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me! No! You monster! Going down. You're going down too, along with your friend. For any Garlean spies, we can root them out. You would not believe your eyes. If you saw some Garlean Scott. <laughs> if you found Garlean Spies, yeah. That was close. How do I get up there? Uh, I still make them though. Hey Ember! Look what I have! I have a pet turtle Ember. Nice dog. <laughs> nice dog. Bark, bark. <laughs> um, Good boy ahead. Yeah, <laughs> so Bip saw the drawing that you did and she was like, I gotta go get everyone Gitas now. <laughs> so it was all thanks to you. What's the dog doing? Wait, your hoodie is so good? Yes! Alcor, have you heard that Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial and it lets you play through all, all of Our the Born and the award winning Heaven Sword expansion for free? Up to level 60 with no uh, restriction on playtime? Wow, you had no idea! Yeah, you should get started on it! What a steal! Yeah, you get to explore the wonderful world of Final Fantasy XIV. Alcor, would you like to use my referral code? You don't use referral codes for free trials. Oh, don't worry. She'll get hooked. <laughs> I don't know about Alcor getting hooked, but maybe Doni. Or, you know, maybe whoever wins the current raffle prize, which is a complete edition of Final Fantasy XIV, which includes the full game and all existing uh, expansions, plus a 30, uh, free 30 days of subscription. Bunny boys are so cute, yes. But guess what? In order to play a bunny boy, you have to have the Endwalker expansion. Now's your chance. 
you too could be a bunny boy. The low price of a five dollar donation. <laughs> to the low price. Yeah, Cran's right. Laurentius? I remember this guy. You remember Laurentius? He is a stain in the wood whaler's name. Looks like a tool. Oh! Uh, hi, Ember. Do you, do you need some help? <laughs> you say, I don't know. Ember stuck on the top shelf. Ember's floating, yeah. Ember looks like she's having fun, so I guess we won't bother her. Wow, we're the bunny crew right now. Look at us, we're like a boy band. I think I'm the shortest one of the group. Why does it have claws to protect its face? Look at us. Oh, I really am the shortest one. Dave, what do you do in the boy band? Uh, are you the rapper? I'm probably the dancer. Dave is on vocals. Dave is on vocals? Yeah. If anyone wants the lead, it's probably Ember. Ember can be our center. Ember's playing the uh, triangle, dude. <laughs> the electric the triangle. Game. When did Hildur Fantasia... Who knows? Biff. I was always a bunny boy. Oh. There he goes. He says he was always a bunny boy. Yeah, don't take me off the triangle roll. <laughs> oh, here's Laurentis, the shady fella. Good at the hill there, it is your summer gotcha outfit. Oh no, it's an ambush. I like how he just like goes back to counting. He's like, help, friend, I'm under attack. And like, he's just counting his boxes again. How did you, <laughs> how did you win? After him. Boy, another solo duty. Are you serious? I'm gonna fight these guys. Let's 
do this. sold food and maps to the Garleans for money. All these villains here are just doing it for money. For greed. He disbanded our Elden Ring chat. I used to AFK in for days for divide divide points. Who did? Hilder, did you do something? That wasn't a leader. I remade the party of Ember just now. Oh, I I, I, I disbanded? Oops. Whoa, I thought this I, guy. I thought I just Blaming left. Me. I thought I just left. I didn't realize I disbanded. Oops. Damn. F. Oh shit, Varsh is an AFK. <laughs> He's still here. Bring you in? To my solo duty? How am I supposed to bring you into the solo duty? You play Dunwalker, you know how. Oh, right. Ember's not a mod in your Discord. Uh, you can, right? Can I bring her in? Uh, let me see. There we are. Hello? Hello. Hello. What you eat? Ember, yeah. It is Ember. Hello, em hello, Flora. Ember the dog. Bark, bark! <laughs> There's a lot of Embers in Elden Ring, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. How many outfits do you have, Hilder? Not a lot anymore, since my PC died. They're gonna expand it. They're gonna have more than 400 slots now. Nice. Also, this, this Lancer just healed himself. Oh, he is casting cure. Garlean technology, dude. Alright. Rest in peace, your PC. You heard about that? You had to, you had to redo your UI when your laptop died last week? I didn't realize that Turtle Ember was blocking the text. I'm sorry, chat. Eat the turtle. Yeet. Just kidding. Eat turtle ember. We're just letting him go? Man, the warrior light's a chump. Really only level the other 90s for the lamb in world quest. I'm 
level 23 in this key. Dark is useful for NSQ roulette. Is it? We found our missing green friend. Rixio. He's the elf among sylphs. Finally. I feel like that's true. We, uh, so are you gonna run it or are you gonna nap first? I think I'm just gonna nap first. I mean, I don't need a lot of brain power for uh, Todorok. But I. I think it's best to take a nap now. Alright, fair enough. So I'll probably be back in like maybe four hours. All right. Well, uh, you want me to disband or just give you a leader? Uh, you can disband. Speak with Loy... Loiserant? Her name is Loiserant. Hey! Alright, let's update the MSQ track one more time. Thirty-seven percent. Uh, I won't even say almost there because we still have a bit to go. Is it time to go to bed? Yeah, I'd say so. Ao red, go to fuck to bed. Thank you, Amber. I'll take a short nap and we'll be back for more. All right. See you later. See you later. Bye. Thanks for stopping by, you two. Oh boy. Marsh TM'd me some art. Is it any go? <laughs> I'm not gonna show this. It's a nice picture, Ember. What time should we expect you to be back? What's the raffle cooldown? Uh, I guess I could technically do the raffle now before going to bed. And then we'll do the, um, the, one of the costumes. Ayo Red, go to fuck to bed. Probably the, uh, maybe we can do Yashtola's costume. Let's pull out the wheel. Oh, I don't have the wheel on this one. Hold up. source video capture here we go the wheel the page real quick. Okay, mm so a solace. Cats. 
fire. Uh, I believe this one was Mikusagi. We had Anonymous. We had uh, Miyaru. Let's see, Rudeness. Ayo Red, go to fuck to bed. Soon. Uh, Wuna. Wuna wants to play too. Cran. Ayo, wake the fuck up, Red. <laughs> I'm still awake. Cran, please. Semi did not want to. Alcor did was interested in the complete edition. I see. All right, here are our contestants for today. Wake the f up, samurai! You got a job to do. Let it be known that it was patient while waiting for the cooldown and did not at all react to a wild manner. Go to bed is out of stock. Two people just redeemed it. Is there is there a cap for it per stream, or just a uh, cooldown? I thought I only set it to have a one minute cooldown. Is there a cap? Just a timer. Okay, just wanted to make sure. All right, I don't think I missed any names. Ayo Red, go to fuck to bed. S after this. Um, yeah, I didn't see anyone else with this. Five more minutes on. All right. Let us spin the wheel. Is everyone ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want me to spin the wheel now? Spin. All right, it's time to spin. Who's gonna win the complete edition of Final Fantasy XIV? Is it gonna be Wuna, or is it gonna go right into Cran? Uh, Cran? Is Cran gonna get it? Oh my god! Cran gets it! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Congratulations, Cran. Flair gets it. Yes, Flair gets to join us in Final Fantasy XIV. Congratulations, Cran. I'll put that on the Excel sheet, and I'll get you guys your codes eventually. Cat, hello! Welcome to the stream. Where is that spreadsheet? Hildur made it for me. Back here it is. This is for Cran. Okay. Ember won Ayo our first. Go to fuck to bed. Uh, yeah, I'll go to bed soon. Uh, Ember won our first raffle, which was a 60 day time card. Um, our second raffle had no contestants in it, so I pulled it from the shelf for now. Uh, now we are. We just completed our third raffle for the complete edition of. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, which includes the base game and all existing um, expansions, plus a 30-day sub uh, free subscription. After this, what is it going to be? Da -da. It's still prime time, huh? We can do... Yishtola's modish attire. 
How's that? It comes with a, a hairstyle. As well as her costume. From... Uh, I believe this is the Stormblood costume, right? Yeah, this is the Stormblood costume. Very popular. I actually have this hairstyle on my alt. Girlfriend haircut, yes. So, uh, elect everyone who participates. Um, Alright, I guess I'll go get ready for my quick nap. I'll be back in like three or four hours. We'll see. Let's get myself set up for this. There we go. Sleep more if you need it? Gotcha. Yeah, I, I didn't have a way to... Oh, you did a voice routine? Okay. Cape Westwind is actually a very sophisticated trial. It involves teamwork, cohesion, and overall full focus for the duration of the fight. People meme on it all the time because they have no idea how important the trial is for the people of Eorzea and the Scions. A we puddles, cards, and intercards? It's a trial way ahead of its time. Alright, thanks guys. Um Let's see, is that it? See you later. Okay. Do you guys want me to play a a, a a VOD, I guess? While we're while while I'm sleeping. So, last night I was playing the uh, For the King VOD, so everyone was sleeping to Sora cussing non-stop. Uh, what can we play tonight, I wonder? It's not your fault. You guys, how awesome it is, and then give it away to the community. What is an old bod we can watch? Get started. Hell yeah, now. Maybe uh, the one where we're reading Alcor's visual novel. How's that? Okay, Kane, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you enjoy your time here. Uh, I'm about to take a small break. Uh, I've been dreaming for about 20 hours now. Um, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Stay tuned. Uh, feel free to 
keep donating if you'd like. Uh, Five dollar donations will edge you into the raffle for Mishtola's modish attire, which is very cute. Today we're going to be again. playing The Shape but, in Love, yeah, which is I, I appreciate you very right. much. a very punful um, visual novel made by smaller. Question mark. <laughs> best but, fish friend of war. I, I am showing my appreciation, but in a very roundabout way. Okay, we're going to the audio. category to just read too bad. Also, it's played that clip like three times in a row, Alcor. Let's see. Let's see if this command works. All right, yes, you can check out Alcor's visual Any novels using this checks? link. I think it works. Okay, it doesn't uh, work. Thank you, everyone, for being here and supporting. Um, this is. I heard this one was pretty short. Wonderful. So if we do finish um, this one, I have another I'm one. I'm going to definitely try my best to. Well. Well, let's get started. All right, right Grant, I see how it is. You don't want me to. Oh, you don't why want is me it to skipping say everything? Let's do that again. Answer, thank you so much for gifting Zwar a sub. I really appreciate All right, it. Uh, I'll be back. See you all later. We'll we'll get as far as through okay, MSQ as we can with our remaining time limit. For your help, yes. Oh no, I, no, I, I know, Grant. Button. I appreciate it. Um. Yes. Much hey, love. Sayla. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Uh. We are definitely behind it, pace, but I, I think it? we can still do it. I just need to speed things up. Um. Having a mount is going to help. Uh, uh, being a really high level is going to help as well. I, already I can kind of skip through a lot of things. I can, I know it. There it is. Found it. You're not escaping. My pace at the beginning, the first half of this is definitely not indi indicative of the remaining half for sure. Is it going to show on screen? There it uh, is. The only issue will probably be if the cutscenes get too long, but we'll I see. skip, right? Okay, cool. Okay. We're getting started. Uh, I can't remember what the music sounds like. I'm going to head off. See you guys in a little bit. I actually was digging the music. I had this playing in the background while I was watching Alcor. Oh, Lafty got hit by the Twitch surfer. Oh no! Alright. Let me Just watch how the big banana bread is what happened a lot. See you guys later. Thanks for stopping by. See you. Sailor made the main menu theme? Oh, let's do it. check it out. Alright, here it is. Let's play it for a little bit. Uh, welcome readers, my name is Avia Red, but you can call me Eve. Alright, I'll boost it. Uh, I'm a variety streamer, but I play a lot of Battle Fantasy XIV. Right after we get finished with this visual novel, I'll be reading um, the new Savage tier. We're currently progging uh, the fourth boss. It was a stupid vampire. Yes, P4S. Door boss. Yeah, I've been looking videos all day. <laughs> this menu theme is so cringe. Welcome, Melon. You used SpeedGM for reading streams too? I did you use this during the Alice? The Alice in Wonderland readings? I don't remember it. You know what? You're probably right. Alright, maybe that's why it sounded so familiar. I'm bored. You guys get to experience Alcor's writing. <laughs> Here I am, sitting in class on an otherwise lovely spring morning, listening as the professor's assistant attempts to explain how to calculate the derivatives of something. Wait, the screen has not changed? Why did it not change? It's late! Go to the Let me see... Windowed. Let's change it to windowed. <laughs> that was your attempt at getting your attention. I, I saw. There it is. Okay, good. Well, we'll bear with the... The guy seems to think that finding derivatives is a high art form. Fortunately for him, Everyone else just seems highly uninterested. 
Even the professor hasn't been in class for a week, claiming to be sick at home. Honestly, I think he just gave up on us. Lefty, no! Can you look at it on your phone? Or are you already on your phone and that's why it's not working? Oh, Corbett, do you tell Red to go to bed, boys? You're gonna send me a clip, Alcor? What? What? <laughs> but I have to admire the assistant for his dedication. Despite everyone looking as bored as possible, the guy is actually trying to teach us calculus. As for me, I can barely keep up, keep myself upright in my seat. My head feels extraordinarily heavy today, as do my eyelids. Oh, fish plumping at Eve. Sorry. I never know how to properly begin a story. I think it is the hardest part about telling a story because first impressions are so important. If you're lurking because you're still in class, have fun. Thank you, Mel. And we're going to have so much fun looking at Alcor's, Alcor's visual novel. Heavy head, it's brick brain time. Exactly. If I can't manage to sound somewhat sensible, you'll just close the game and play something else. No, we're, we're in it for the long haul. <laughs> You're gonna melt into a pile of fish face. Oops, I'm technically not allowed to break the fourth wall, but if you enjoy well-written visual novels with beautiful, thought-provoking plot, this game is probably not for you. In any case, I guess I should do the most cliche thing ever and introduce myself. My name is Mia. Mia Happen. I'm a freshman, my first year in college. I'm planning to study art and design. Oh boy, who else, <laughs> who else studied art and design? <laughs> yeah, I forgot you named her Mia. How expensive is it to repair walls, even if it's even the fourth wall as well? Are you only breaking the fourth wall? In that case, you're only breaking one, right? sheet wall doesn't cost too much. First, second, third, and fourth? You're breaking all the walls? I feel like you're gonna have to repair more than just the walls if that's the case. Honestly, I thought that being in the art school meant that I wouldn't have to take any math-related classes. I thought that I was done with math forever. How many people thought this was true? That if they took a non-STEM-related course, they would never have to take math again. <laughs> Which is funny, right? Because I majored in a STEM class and I never had to take English or writing. He did indeed not have to take math, but he took comp sci and had to math. Obviously, I was wrong. Thanks to the art school's general education requirements, I'm now stuck in a calculus class alongside 30 other students who don't want to be here. By now, I think everyone except for the professor's assistant has realized what a joke this class is. I'd say I feel kind of bad for the guy, but honestly, I just don't care about calculus at all. I should mention that I care for puns even less than I care for calculus. Why did you write this story then? Unfortunately, math is a subject in which terrible puns are common. Oh, look at that face. I am bored out of my mind. That's me and not me! <laughs> Somewhere near the front of the room, a self-proclaimed English major is arguing with another student about the wording of a proof. I question how the topic transitioned from derivatives to geometry groups, but I honestly don't care. I find my mind wandering. piece of graph paper on my desk. I'm an art student, so obviously the best course of action is to doodle. For no particular reason, I draw a circle. I even think it qualifies as a doodle, it's just a circle. Still, the simple act of drawing a circle felt unexpectedly refreshing. Why didn't I think of this earlier? I stare at the circle. It stares back soulless. Of course it's soulless. It's completely empty on the inside. When I was young and terrible at drawing, I liked to doodle geometric shapes on everything. I liked to draw using crayons because crayons are easy to color with, and I thought the shapes looked bored without the coloring. 
In honor of the memory, I take out my colored pencils and color in the circle. When I was young and terrible at storytelling, I also liked to pretend that my doodles, my terrible non-geometrical geometric shapes, were characters. I like to give them distinct personalities and names, creative names like circle and triangle, of course, but names nonetheless. Obviously, I'm still terrible at telling stories, so we'll name this circle, Circle. Circle looks awfully lonely, so I decided to draw some friends. I named the triangle, Triangle, and the square, Square. Three colors don't seem especially friendly to one another. Actually, they seem to clash. I find my, I find my mind wandering in even more bizarre directions. Circle says, you're sharp, Triangle. But you're not right. Neither are you. Your argument is completely pointless. <laughs> Did I read the rest of this no visual novel with a straight face? Oh, that's no fun. I'll be, s I'll be square with you. Where's Watt? I need Watt in chat with me. I need Watt in this phone call to read for me. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> you only made three points. And they're not even good. Oh. I decided to draw a purple star in my terrible comic. To represent me. I'll be... Huh? Dot, dot, dot. There's an awkward silence. I take in my surroundings and notice that the landscape is graph paper as far as my eyes can see. Not that geometric shapes have eyes, obviously. It was a figure of speech. I look back to my new companions, who, as far as I can tell, are staring at me with intense curiosity. I make my best attempt to stare back with equal intensity. The circle says, Are you admiring my red hot bod, sweetheart? I notice that Circle has a feminine voice. For some reason, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not at all surprised. Both Triangle and Square have masculine voices, although Triangle's voice is noticeably softer. Triangle says, are you flirting with her? Will these puns start beginning to shape up anytime soon? <laughs> Let's hope so. Circle says, sure I am. <laughs> Where says the circle, I didn't know you rolled that way. I'm a circle, sweetheart. I can roll anyway. And not at all straight. No straight edges, see? <laughs> Ah, uh, I attempt to read triangle and square's emotions, but that is impossible, as they show neither facial expressions nor body language. Oh, it's so bad! This is wonderful! I love the suffering. <laughs> I try to have no reaction to the puns. Square says, I'm completely straight, in case you were wondering. I'm... Why should I even tell you? At this point, I attempt to change the topic by introducing myself. I'm Star. Cute name. I'm Circle. My name is Square. Triangle doesn't say anything. Only in line should be straight. He's Triangle. We call him Tri. Nice to meet you all. Aw, oh, you're so adorable. I awkwardly survey the area and see that the four of us seem to be the only inhabitants of this piece of paper. Don't tell me you've seen enough already! Triangle is very impressive to the common folk. Seeing no excuse with which to gracefully escape my new companions, I turn back to them and attempt to start conversation. So, what were you all arguing about? Oh, I don't remember. Nothing important, you know? Now that you remind me, I wasn't done. But that depends on the angle you're looking at them from. Circle rolls towards me playfully and starts speaking in a very sugary voice. Try and I tend to argue over all sorts of small things. I'm just pointing out when you're wrong. Be quiet for a moment, try, will ya? Circle rolls even closer to me. How about we make you a deal sooner? If you go on a date with one of us, then we'll stop arguing. You can get a free tour around the area. And whoever you pick up will get the honor of your company. It's a win-win solution. Situation. But there isn't anything to tour around the area. 
I have to agree with Triangle on this one. Shush you two, don't ruin the mood. So, what do you think, Star? I think about it and find no reason not to take the deal. I can't think of anything better to do anyways. And it might be fun to spend some time with these geometric shapes. Most importantly, I could end their argument and therefore also relieve myself from the terrible puns they keep throwing at each other. Take your deal. Ooh. Wait, what? Obviously pleased, Circle rolls back to where Triangle and Square are standing. You're not serious, right? Tell me you're not serious. Star, you see before you two alluring bachelors and one bachelorette with whom you can go on a date. Tell us, who would you like to choose today? I think about it, and I choose... Oh boy, which one should we pick? There are 12 triangles in this place, one circle? Where do you see such triangles? Also, who should we go on a date with? You'll have to give Alcor some credit. Math puns are an amazing addition to the VN world. Maybe Watt is trying too hard. I'll give Alcor all the credit she deserves. Triangle seems to be the most sensible, but also the least <laughs> the one that doesn't want to go on a date anyways. Maybe they'll warm up to us. Choose your favorite egg. Bot is all fried up and ready. <laughs> ready eye to go with these puns. What if I subjected myself to <laughs> a hostage? We're talking math puns today. I choose triangle. Wait. What? I didn't agree to this. I'm not interested in dating at all. Aw, how cute. Square, let's have them let's let's let them have their alone time. Sure. But uh, no. Pride tends to act like a jerk, but he's actually a sweetheart. That's exactly what I expected. What's going on here? Alcor in her past life <laughs> made, <laughs> made visual novels. So we're playing a couple of hers right now. It's called Misshapen Love. <laughs> where you go on a date with various shapes. No need to be so concerned with your choices, Eve. Someone told me to make a vision novel and date shapes. That's exactly what we're doing. I may hate geometry, but... Circle says, Try tends to act like a jerk, but he's actually a sweetheart. This project really shapes me into the person I am today. <laughs> Just a cinder, you know? I don't know what to say about this misshapen identity here. I'm sure he'll warm up to you in no time. That's exactly what I expected. True to their words, circle and square sped off, leaving the two of us alone. Circle is kind of sexy. Circle is the bachelorette. This is really triggering novelty to me. Unfortunately, neither of us are very friendly and conversational by nature. I don't know, I don't think they fit together. I wonder if I made the wrong choice. Maybe I just need to make the right effort. Man, I went back to drawing and it feels nice to do it again. I still remember the fan art you uh, made for me, Austin. Really appreciate it. It's nice knowing you've gotten back to drawing again. Why are you standing so far away? Closer. No! Why should I? This is certainly going to be fun. I suddenly remember they told me games I played in the past. 
I have successfully romanced many secondary love interests. The triangle can't be too hard to deal with. It's time to speak like a cheesy Atome game protagonist. I begin moving towards him. I wanted to talk to you, Triangle. But I don't want to talk to you. I've been here for three minutes. What is this? This is exactly what you think it is. Sorry, this VN only has one choice. Cannot walk away. Simple flip pick circle. She looks to have great personality and perfect ellipses. <laughs> because I'd rather spend time with you than spend time with Circle. It's simple as that. Won't you give me a chance? Success! Please come a bit closer. Oh, they're doing it! Good enough! I've really succeeded. Thank you. Now, what do you think we should do? Alright, I have to head out. I'll spare you from the extra punishments. Good luck on your raid later, Abe. Thank you, Ames. Take care. I don't know. I don't care either. Triangle still sounds very cold towards me. I must try harder to capture his heart. Would you like to give me a tour, as Circle suggested? No. Trying to understand triangle angles, but I don't know. I just see 90, deg 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and 45 degrees. That's only if it's a right angle, a right triangle. This triangle is not right. Mentioning circle all the all at all seems to be a mistake. This is a cute triangle. That is correct. It is a cute triangle. That's why I picked it. I feel like all my success was suddenly reset. I have to start again from nothing. But he sure acts up to <laughs> uh, I try to start a conversation with the most generic conversation starter I can think of. Tell me about yourself, Try. Why should I? Well, I want to know you better. Did, did that work? Fine. I'm trying, Cole. Happy now? Not really. Good. I wasn't trying to make you happy anyways. I feel distinctly annoyed because Triangle's attitude is just rude. Look, I chose you so I can get to know you a little better. Will you at least make an effort and pretend to be interested? No. I never agreed to this. I'm being forced to talk to you. I'm not forcing you to talk to me. I would appreciate if you did. However, as I am stuck with you for the time being, I don't care what you appreciate. I don't want to talk to you. Why is Triangle so rude? I don't want to talk to you anymore either. Triangle and I stand silently. I don't know what to say next. Fortunately, Circle appears at just the right moment. How are you two getting along? Circle! You sound relieved to hear me. How are you, Star? Triangle is being a jerk. What? That's not cute at all, Tri. Aren't you supposed to be a cute triangle? If you won't treat Star right, I'll steal her from you. Triangle is being a Cinderay. She he really is. Don't come any closer. Welcome to the stream, Ninona X. Welcome, welcome. Triangle seems rather upset. I know that Circle wants the best for me, but I'm a bit concerned about Tri. That's the entirety of Triangle's design, TVH. Would you like me to make this a love triangle? <laughs> no! 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 Will that motivate you to be nicer to Star? I can even call on Square if they make, make this to a rectangle. <laughs> <laughs> Circle. Just be a bit friendlier, try, won't you? If I hear Star complaining about you again, I'll come back and rescue her from you. Have fun, you two. Circle leaves as quickly as she arrived. I look at Triangle, but he doesn't seem eager to approach me again. Sorry about that, try. 
please come towards me. He's doing it! He's doing it! Triangle doesn't seem to want to come any closer, so I drop the subject. This time, I ask him to pick our conversation topic. What do you want to talk about? Nothing. Still as cold as ever. Look, I'm sorry about Circle. It is. Okay, then let's talk about something else. I'm Triangle. I'm yellow. And I'm a jerk. Happy now? What? You told me to tell you about myself. Happy now? I vaguely remember attempting to start a conversation by asking him to tell me about himself. His attitude still annoys me, but I'm trying not to show it. Yeah, maybe. Anything else? Tell me more about yourself? Talking about circles just going about a roundabout way to converse with them? Uh, what? When I talk to people, I don't appreciate going in circles. I like going straight to the point. What do you want to know? I don't know. Tell me what you want to talk about. I don't know. You tell me. I feel myself losing my patience. Straight to the three points. The Pythagorean theorem. Hey, Kier. How you doing? Tip one, tip two, and tip three. Why do you keep speaking in Oh, they already did it! Why do you keep speaking in circles? I don't. I'm a triangle. Don't compare me with circle. Okay, do you even want to talk? Not particularly. Then why are you even here? Why don't you just walk away? Just because. I stumbled. It's late. Oh it's, good good man. Man. it's not even that late, although I'm a, I am a little sleepy. But no time. I have to read after this. Go to bed, never. Thank you for the inspo for the next installment of this VN one. I would love to see a sequel to the software. Mother Mion forces me to call her mom. Although for a remake. Would it be a graphical update or a remastered version of Alcor? Why are you so difficult? Circle said he'd warm up to me in time, but you're as still as rude as ever. <laughs> Misshapen Love Remastered Edition. <laughs> circle this, circle that. Why do you keep talking about Circle? Why didn't you just date her then? And I did warm up to you. I just... Ayo, devs in chat. devs. Triangle suddenly goes quiet. We both seem to finally realize what he said. Oh, devs in chat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alcor has other visual novels. If you don't get to them, you can check them out yourselves. I don't know if it's just my imagination, but he seems to be turning more orange. <laughs> can you say that again? No, I didn't say anything. I feel my anger dissipating, and I pretend that he said it again anyway. That's so sweet, Try. I, I wasn't trying her or anything. <laughs> Try goes just- he's turning orange! <laughs> hey, Glizzy, how you doing? Triangle seems to realize what he said, and he turns noticeably more orange. This whole thing was a setup where I wasn't trying or anything. <laughs> Is this the type of game where you like you come up with a singular line and start building up everything around that one line? Yes, yeah. Why do you keep saying mean things, Triangle? I don't know, I just do that. You drive me crazy, I don't know how to deal with you. He's turning red! <laughs> Even though Orange's words sound almost ridiculously cheesy, he still sounds adorable. That wasn't my angle or anything. You're actually really cute. What? It wasn't a compliment or anything. 
here. Let me try. Whoa. At the dramatic climax of my daydream, a scrunched up ball of paper hits my desk and bounces away. I looked up and realized it's the boy who was arguing with the self-proclaimed English major about geometric groups earlier. Did you throw that? Yeah. You seemed to be out of it. You didn't notice the end of class bell at all. Bitch, just, just try to get good. <laughs> it's okay, we got a new hottie. But... <laughs> I look around and true enough, the classroom is empty except for the two of us. I stare back at the boy and realize that he's kinda cute. Can you tell Alcorl he's red hair? Oh yeah? I didn't notice from your own maroon hair, Alcor. My tricendary moments. Ooh. Ooh. Red hair and hair clips, yeah. <laughs> So wait, if Mia wasn't the self-insert, is this your self-insert? I stare back at the boy and realize he's kind of cute. So who are you? Me? No comment? <laughs> Angel. Angel Chai. Who are you? Mia. Mia happened. Stare awkwardly at each other for a moment. Hey Rogu, Chai Angel is the closest I can get to triangle. Oh god damn it, you're right! <laughs> How did I miss it? Well, if that's it, goodbye. I have a class to go to. Wait! Why? Thanks for letting me know letting me know that class ended. It was sweet of you. He's turning red too! Whoa, what? I wasn't trying or anything. <laughs> I suddenly realized what I said and conveniently remembered that I have another class to run to. Okay, Angel, I have to run. Bye! Wh wait, what? After saying that, I bolted out of the classroom. As expected, Angel didn't say anything more. That was the story of how I daydreamed of dating a triangle. But the triangle's back on the screen. Alcor, is there only one ending? Yes? Aw. Oh. That's okay, triangle is cute. That only took us like 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, let's do another one. The only choice in the game is choosing the shape, but it doesn't matter because it just puts you a triangle anyways. Oh, it's one in Oh, it's one ending per shape! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's go back then. My mistake. I misunderstood you. I thought it always went to a uh, triangle. I thought you meant, is there a bad ending? No, 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 no. Is he gonna show up? Cool. Alright. Hello! Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a bit surprised that you came back. I thought that my terrible storytelling would have deterred you from playing again. Did it freeze again? No, it shouldn't. At least on my end it didn't. Has it frozen for anyone else? Okay, you fresh bitch. Okay. Hello. Welcome back. I'm a bit surprised that you came back. I thought that my terrible storytelling would have deterred you from playing again. Although, that is technically not my fault. I blame the game developer for the writing. That's you, Alcor! <laughs> You're the one writing it! I think the game developer secretly hates me, and she made me a character in this cringy game as punishment. 
And she's probably making me tell terrible puns because she knows I hate puns. I'm <laughs> sorry, Mia. Actually, I'm not supposed to talk about that. As I said, I'm not allowed to break the fourth wall. Well, I should introduce myself again. My name is Mia. Mia Happen. I'm a freshman, first year of college. I'm planning to study art and design. Honestly, I thought that being in the art school meant that I wouldn't have to take any math-related classes. I thought. Actually, never mind that. Let me summarize my situation briefly. I'm currently very poorly sitting in a calculus class, taught by professor's assistant. I am very bored. Did I mention how bored I am? I hope I did, because I'm going to jump to where the story actually begins. Somewhere near the front of the room, a self-proclaimed English major is arguing with another student about the wording of a proof. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Dang. Probably everyone. All the shapes. I don't know how you could possibly do that, Glizzy, but I guess you could try. Even circle. <laughs> I'd question how the topic trans transitioned from derivatives to geometry groups, but I honestly don't care. I imagine it hurt to try and stub your toe on a triangle. Yes, it'd be very pointy. I find my mind wandering. There's a piece of graph paper on my desk. I'm an art student. So obviously the best course of action is to doodle. For no particular reason, I draw a circle. I don't even think it qualifies as a doodle, it's just a circle. From here till the choice, it's all the same as the last time around as far as you remember. I'm gonna do it one more time because we had a lot of people join in midway. Um, but yes, probably for the third route if we have time I'll skip right to it. Still, the simple act of drawing a circle felt unexpectedly refreshing. Why didn't I think of this earlier? If only you gave this much love to the tomato game, I will never touch Mr. Tomatoes ever again. Tomato game? There is a cursed game called Mr. Tomato that I played on Tuesday. Or was it yesterday? It was Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday because yesterday we did the Nintendo Direct. It's A's favorite game? No, it's not. Not even close. Ah, uh, you missed the tomato game you're playing Noita with Twitch integration? It's- it, you can check out the VOD, it was like six minutes long. You didn't miss much. I stare at the circle. It stares back soullessly. Of course it's soulless, it's completely empty on the inside. My favorite six minutes. Just like the game's developer's part. Why else would someone write a pun hating protagonist into a visual novel like this? Best six minutes of his life? No. One of the worst six minutes of my life. When I was young and terrible at drawing, I liked to doodle geometric shapes and everything. I liked to draw using crayons because crayons are easy to color with and I thought that the shapes would look boring without the coloring. Okay, yeah, Cinderay. I am not a Cinderay. You're the Cinderay. In honor of the memory, I take out my colored pencils and color in the circle. Is it normal for art students to just carry colored pencils with them, especially in college? No? That sounds like something a Cinderay would say. I know I carried like different colored pens for note taking and uh, graph drawing. He mainly colored pencils before digital art though. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. In honor of the memory, I take out my colored pencils and color in the circle. When I was young and terrible at storytelling, I also liked to pretend that my doodles, my terrible non-geometrical geometric shapes, were characters. Your spells kept them, kept some in their bag. Do they still, or are they all digital now? It's a clown nose now. Put it on. I get a red dot on my nose? Ah, too much trouble. Pretty much digital now. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I like to give them distinct personalities and names. Created names like Circle and Triangle. Of course. Circle looks awfully lonely, so I decided to draw some friends. I named this Triangle, Triangle, and the Square, Square. The three colors don't seem especially friendly to one another, actually they seem to clash. 
I find my mind wandering in an even more bizarre direction. You're sharp triangle, but you're not right. Neither are you. Your argument is completely pointless. I'll be square with you. <laughs> Whoa, it's FE three houses. Uh damn it, you're right! Black Eagles, Blue Lions, Golden Deer! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on in. And then red is Edel Guard. But I think these two need to switch because Claude's not a Cindere. Dimitri is. Come on, sweetheart. You've only made three points and they're not even good. I decided to draw a purple star on my terrible comment. Represent me. I'll be. There's an awkward silence. I take in my surroundings and notice that the landscape is like graph paper as far as my eyes can see. Not that the geometric shapes have eyes, obviously. That was a figure of speech. I look back to my new companions, who, as far as I can tell, are staring at me with intense curiosity. I make my best attempt to stare back with equal intensity. Are you admiring my red hot bod, sweetheart? Which ancient evil dragon god is the star? That's me! That's me! I notice that Circle has a feminine voice. For some reason, I'm not surprised at all. Violet. Both Triangle and Square have masculine voices. Although, Triangle's voice is noticeably softer. Dave, you're squaring off against Alcor's four 90 degree angles. Are you flirting with her? Sure am. I didn't know you rolled that way. I'm a circle, sweetheart. I can roll anyway. Not at all straight. No straight edges, see? I'm, I attempt to read triangle and square's emotions, but that is impossible as they show neither facial expressions nor body language. Evil win, he has more triangles. I have to try. I, have, I try to have no reaction to the puns. That is so difficult. I'm completely straight, in case you're wondering. I'm... why should I even tell you? You'll be top delinquent at the School of Shapes. At this point, I attempt to change the topic by introducing myself. I'm Star. Cute name. I'm Circle. My name is Square. He's Triangle. They call him Tri. Nice to meet you all. Aw, you're adorable. I awkwardly survey the area and see that the four of us seem to be the only inhabitants of this piece of paper. I don't think I've seen Eve introduced in Geometry before. Triangle is the Kudere character. He's technically the Sundere, not the Kudere. Seeing no excuse with which to gracefully escape my new companions, I turn back to them and attempt to start a conversation. Ayame Ray vibes. So, what were you all arguing about? Cute name, now it's bang. Oh, I don't remember. Nothing important, you know? Now that you remind me, I wasn't done. What? Circle rolls towards me playfully and starts speaking in a very sugary voice. Try and I tend to ogre over all sorts of small things. I'm just pointing out when you're wrong. Be quiet for a moment, try, will ya? Circle rolls even closer to me. How about we make you a deal, sweetheart? Quick use the QTE action and split them wide open. If you go on a date with one of us... Oh my god. You really want me to play Metal Gear Revengeance, don't you? You can get a free tour around the area, and whoever you pick will get the honor of your company. So win-win solution. Ah uh, yes, very good. But there isn't anything to, to tour around the area. I have to agree with Triangle on this one. Shush you two, don't ruin the mood. So what do you think, Star? Consume. Consume the Volden stacks. They think about it and find no reason not to take the deal. I can't think of anything better to do anyway. And it might be fun to spend some time with these geometric shapes. Most importantly, I can end their argument and therefore also relieve myself from the terrible puns they have to keep throwing at each other. I'll take your deal. 
Ooh. Wait, what? Obviously pleased. Circle rolls back to where triangle and square is standing. You're not serious, right? Tell me you're not serious. Star, you see before you two alluring bachelors and one bachelorette with whom you can go on a date. Tell us, who would you like to choose today? I think about it, and I choose... Black Eagles or Blue Lions. I recommend doing squares last. Actually, square might be programmed to not unlock unless you do the other two first. Which FFE house is you picking? I was actually planning on doing circle next. So, that means uh, square is last. Wow, you just like Booba. Technically, I did do Black Eagles first. I'm currently in the middle of doing Golden Deer. So it was reversed. I choose circle. You mean it? Golden sleep. I do. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Cheese hair man doesn't get the love from a cheese. I always said I always thought it was like spaghetti. Fettuccine hair. Cheese hair man can stay on the ceiling. Bye. Triangle and square speed off, leaving the two of us alone. You know exactly who I was talking about. I have like 200 hours on uh, three houses, and I still have only done one and a half routes. Triangle and square speed off, leaving the two of us alone. I'm not a conversational person by nature, but fortunately, Circle is. Our first date. Tell me, sweetheart, what would you like to do? One root hurts. Which one? Well, I don't know. What is there to do here? I can give you a tour. Would you like a tour? I mean, doing one root hurts. Yeah, because it's so long. And then doing the next one, it feels like it's even longer. Technically, there's like, there's four roots in three houses. And then there's the DLC, which is sort of like a... It's like a diversion. You can only do the DLC uh, free time skip. That would be nice. Thank you. As soon as I found out, the graph paper is actually a fairly small space. But as soon as I found out, Circle's a lot more energetic than I expected. What? But Yuri is so cute. This is the top right corner of the graph paper. I see. I don't actually see. This area looks exactly the same as the last area we read. Um, three houses only has a very few number of uh, same-sex romanceable characters. I believe it's Edelgard, Dorothea, I feel like there's one more, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I think Linhard is also a same-sex romanceable character, but I can't remember. Maybe, yeah. Mia's very disappointed because her favorite character is Lysithia, but you can't marry Lysithia as female by I don't actually see. This area looks exactly the same as the last area, right? This is the bottom right area. I cannot remember the names of any of the dudes, including your future husband. He literally just dropped his name! <laughs> you already forgot it, Alcor? This is the bottom right area. Interesting. I didn't actually find it interesting, but this is definitely a lot of exercise. This is the bottom left. Ah. Now I'm just out of breath. I didn't know geometric shapes could actually be out of breath. Are you guys enjoying the tour of this glorious graph paper? And this is where we began, top left area. Star, are you okay? Yeah, let me catch my breath. You don't seem tired at all. 
you know what they say, they see me rolling. Yeah. My entire star-shaped body feels sore. Can I drink some water? Would you like to stay here and just talk for a while? Yes, I appreciate that. Star needs to hydrate. Sorry for leading you around in circles. I thought I accepted Circle's deal to escape the terrible puns. Obviously, I was wrong. I tried to talk about innocuous topics. Tell me about yourself, Circle. Myself? Well, between Tri, Square, and I, I noticed the flirt. I'm surprised you chose me. After all, I'll get round, you know? Being the most talkative of geometric shapes, Circle is obviously also the most prone to making puns. I wonder if I've made a terrible mistake. I see, so are you also the most popular? Sure am. I have a lot of hobbies, so it's easy for me to find something to talk to, to each individual about. To be honest, I'm quite well-rounded. can't tell if she's making puns or purpose, or if she does so habitually. Sounds like Waffler. I quickly changed the topic. In that case, do you draw? Sometimes. I'm not great at it, but would you like me to draw you a portrait? Please do. Look away for a moment, will ya? I look away for a moment. And duck. Uh, Aw, oh, the cute little star. I look back and now a picture of a purple star on the ground. Doesn't it look just like you? It does. Thank you. You're welcome. I tried to make you look as cute as possible. You're the star of this show. I experience a short existential crisis. How, do you, how close do you associate yourself with, with a starfish, Alcor? Oh, that's a very good question. Distant relative, being an interstellar tuna. Not at all, no? Starfish are not fish, right? I don't know. They're squishy. Fish can be squishy. I don't know if they're fish, but they can be squishy. I experience a short existential crisis, in which I remember that I am a character in a terrible Tomy game who is daydreaming about being a geometric shape. I quickly snap out of it. I look a bit lonely. Can you draw you as well? What's your thing? Within moments, a picture of a red circle appears on the ground. Hey Fang, thank you for the Q&A hydrate. Everyone, please take a sip of water. You say fish can be squish, squish the fish, squish the fish. I don't know what Circle is trying to draw, or how she is managing to draw without any arms. I probably shouldn't ask. Looking good. Squishy, squishy the fishy. Do we? Don't we look cute together? We complement each other so well. Righteous, welcome, welcome, space to the raid, yeah. Sorry you're lurking, that's perfectly fine. I hope you're enjoying this unfull experience with the rest of us. Takes a sip of Pepsi, ah, hydration. <laughs> I'm not sure if compliment is intended to be a math joke, but to be safe from further puns, I try to lead the conversation in a different direction. Let's draw them drawing together. Sure. Oh no, they're getting smaller. A tiny purple star and a tiny red circle appear on the crap paper. Aw, tiny star, so adorable too. Let's draw their drawings drawing together too. An even tinier purple star and red circle appear. A tiny star looks <laughs> like she twinkles. Can you draw us even smaller? Oh, you can't even see the star now. It looks like it's a dot. Oh, At this point, I can barely distinguish the shapes anymore. The star and the circle look like mere dots now. I admire their art, feeling vaguely flattered that circle is willing to draw portraits of me. It looks nice. I'm glad I chose to spend time with you. Star? Look at circle, who now seems a lot less flirtatious and a lot more hesitant. Yes, Circle? Can I tell you something? 
and mentally prepare myself for terrible puns. Yes. What is it? Circle pauses and takes a step back. Oh no, there's music. When I was younger, I was made fun of for being different. The other shapes told me I didn't deserve to play with them. Because, unlike everyone else, I didn't have any angles or edges. Because I'm so curvy, I was often judged for my body. When everyone else realized that I'm not straight, I felt even more ostracized. I felt that no one understood me. When I was lonely, I often doodled characters and pretended to talk to them. For some reason, the story sounds vaguely familiar. I suddenly feel closer to Circle. I feel like I understand her personality motivations and I want to feel like I want to know and I feel like I want to know her better. So, as I grew older, I acted more and more flirtatious and outgoing so people wouldn't think I'm pathetic. But really, I'm scared. I'm scared that people don't like me. But you just said that you're glad to ch you chose to spend time with me. This means the world to me. Thank you. Although this feels like a very cliche situation, I try my best to play the part of an Atomi game protagonist. Circle. Oh. It was just getting good! Come on! A dramatic climax of my daydream. My hand grabs the paper, the crap paper off of my desk. I look up and realize that it's the self proclaimed English major from the geometric proof argument. I instantly notice how confident and lovely she looks. Are you making comics? This looks adorable. Yeah. Uh. She turns her attention to me and smiles sweetly. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Rachel Davis, but call me Ray. <laughs> um, Rachel Davis, but call me Ray. I don't know, am I too dumb for this? Rachel Davis. Radius? Yeah, Radius, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm an English major and I want to become a journalist. <laughs> Finger guns, take one of these! Oh, hey? She looks at me with curiously as I try not to stare. I'm Mia. Mia Apple. I'm an art student. Oh, that's such a cute name. Pleasure to meet you. She turns her attention back to the graph paper. I feel an urge to climb under my desk in embarrassment, but I try to sit up as upright as possible. I discreetly look around the room to see if anyone else is watching, but the room is mostly empty. I somehow didn't notice the end of the glass bell. It looks like you drew a lot of little circles and stars. I turn back to Ray and look as straight-faced as possible. Is circumference somehow going to come up? Yeah. I also see some tiny circles and stars. Do the bigger ones have children? No! After they realize that my face is probably blushing. Still, I stare right at Ray, who is grinning at me. You're so cute when you're flustered, you know? I have to go now because I'm, I have another class to get to, but we should go round together and, <laughs> and talk sometime. Yeah, oh, okay. I suddenly realized that I too have another class to attend. Hi, Ray! <laughs> and so I bolt out of the classroom. I can hear Ray laughing behind me. And that was the story of how I daydreamed about dating a circle. Uh alright, let's speed run this. I wanna see I wanna see Square. Circle is good too. Good job, Alcor. This is wonderful. Back for more, I see. Your persistence is truly admirable. By now, you're probably very aware of how terrible the developer of this game writes. No, that thanks, I'm dying a little less now. Or diamond, or I've gotten you stuck. <laughs> Personally, I find this unbearable, but 
maybe you actually like this sort of thing. I'm definitely enjoying this. I'm still not supposed to break the fourth wall, so I'll try to tone that down a bit. Introducing myself again is completely pointless, but I'm going to do so anyway. My name is Mia. Mia Happen. I'm a freshman, my first year in college, and planning to study art and design. You're probably very familiar with my situation by now. I'm bored in my calculus class, being very bored. Sound familiar? Let's just get right to where this work actually begins. Skip! Square time! I choose square. Wait, really? Of the three of us, you chose square? Aw, how cute! Try, let's let them have their alone time. Yeah. Square is really serious. Good luck with him. Oh, maybe this is Dimitri. Of the geometric shapes I could have chosen, Square is definitely the hardest to understand. He seems very disinterested, but I'm not sure I can tell what he's thinking about. That he is thinking at all. I wonder if I've made the wrong choice. To be square with you, I'd offer you a tour if there was anything around here to tour. I see. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Alright. We fall silent again. Square doesn't seem to find the science awkward, but I'm not sure I can tell what he's thinking at all. He doesn't sound interested in anything, especially not me. If that counts as a date, it certainly isn't a successful one. I begin to... I attempt to begin a conversation. Tell me about yourself, Square. To be square with you, I'm just a blue square. You see, I've been told that I'm a very serious square. Circle and triangle often complain that I am too serious. To be square with you, I'm... Wait a moment, why do you keep saying that? Alcor, are there any calculating people in this world? Why do I keep saying what? To be square with you. Self-depreciating humor, maybe. <laughs> I don't think it's self-depreciating, it just sounds like a bad sense of humor. <laughs> Did you want to get isekai what? Honestly, Square's sense of humor is worse than Circle and Triangle's terrible puns, and I try to avoid puns like the plague. I find myself thinking that I definitely made the wrong choice. Do you mind not saying that every other sentence is Square? Sure, but why? Because it is repetitive, and the player probably thinks that the game developer wrote that to pad a word count for the script. Is this true? Oops, fourth wall, sorry. <laughs> I, tr I try to explain myself in the sweetest Otome protagonist way I can think of. Because I don't want you to be self-deprecating. You're a great square, and I wish you could believe in yourself more. Thank you. Anytime. I can't tell if my cliché motivational speech was successful. Swear doesn't seem interested in me. If he is, I can't tell at all. I tried to start another conversation. What do you like to do in your free time, Square? To be Square- <laughs> I like to contemplate about the meaning of life, the universe, and existence. Now the conversation is going somewhere. I feel relieved to finally have something, some, something somewhat interesting to talk about. <laughs> Only if the world I get isekai into has you in it. Smooth watch, check me. <laughs> That's interesting. How do you do that? I usually lie on the graph paper and think about everything I can think about. Would you like to try it with me? You usually lie only on the ground when I feel like garbage, usually after a very large meal. I wonder if this activity causes Square to be self deprecating. Ave, have you played Undertale? I have not. I've watched bits and pieces of it, but played it, I have not. I don't see why not. What should I do? Move over a bit and find some space. Lie down on the graph paper and don't talk. I'm fairly certain that both of us are already lying on the ground since we are dreaming of shapes on a piece of paper. Still, I attempt to follow his instructions as closely as possible. Is this good? Yes. Now we think about the meaning of existence. My mind feels empty, and I feel somewhat sleepy. I don't think this is working. 
square were you arguing with triangle and circle earlier? No, they wanted me to decide which of them was correct because I'm always fair and square. Uh, square sounds completely serious and I assume that he's not purposely trying to sound punny. I try to ignore his pun. I see. Do you never argue with them? Of course not. To be square with you, I'm always right. He's always right. Why is he always right? No matter which angle you're looking at, we both fall silent again. Square is definitely challenging to talk to. The only way I can get him to talk to me is evidently by asking him questions. I feel guilty for directing him from his thoughts. I don't know what else to do while lying on the ground. Time to try and start another conversation. Square. Yes. What are you talk what are you thinking about? I'm thinking if two squares become romantically involved with one another, would that be square x square? I would assume so. Would you call that square x square then? Or would you call that a cube? I try to wrap my head around the idea, but I can't. A, s a square square would not be cube because a square square is the power to the fourth. I wouldn't want to actually wrap my head around anything, honestly. It sounds painful. Although, given that I'm currently a purple star, I'm not sure which part of it is actually in my head. Still, I feel strangely enlightened. I don't know. I would probably call it a ship. A uh, ship? As in a relationship. To be square with you, that term might be better applied to bottom-up trapezoids. That is true. Square seems to be deep in thought again. I tried to be deep in thought as well. I wonder what I could call a square x star bubble. Square starship? A square fair? <laughs> a start of a great... a square? No, I must not make terrible puns. Square star. Square... Star, st star, I vaguely remember one of my friends, a girl who was notoriously bad at coming up with ship names. I wonder if talking to her has ruined my naming sense. I also wonder why I'm shipping a star with a square at all. I remember one of my other friends, a self proclaimed Kujoshi, who jumps at the chance to ship mid characters together. Square X triangle? Square angle? Squangle? Triangle? This is a reference to your game test friends. Do you still chat with them? Can you bring this up <laughs> to them and ask them what their thoughts are? I can no longer tell how terrible my ship names sound. Instead, my mind wanders away toward a mostly unrelated direction. Not all of them, but Caleb is one of them, yes. I wonder what my friends are doing in their classes. They're not stuck in calculus class like I am, but I wonder if they're bored. I wonder if they're also doodling weird things, or maybe they're coming up with weird ideas for stories to write. I wonder, are our actions important to the grand scheme of existence? Are my actions meaningful? Can I shape the universe? I can feel it. I can feel the cosmos. Somewhere out there, is someone watching me? Is someone playing the game of my life? Is someone making my important life decisions for me and watching the consequences of my choices? If I'm just a character to the players, am I still real? Are you real, player? I somehow wrap my head around the meaning of existence, metaphorically, and become one with the universe. I feel as if I've broken, <laughs> I've broken beyond the limitations of the fourth wall. You, see, you appear deep in thought. I am distracted by Square's sudden words and lose my concentration. Oh, yes, I was. What were you thinking about? I paused dramatically and tried to sound as enlightened as possible. I was thinking about the meaning of existence. I see, and what is that? Finally, Square seems somewhat interested in something I'm saying. This is definitely success. Am I a human daydreaming about being a geometric shape, or am I a geometric shape daydreaming about being a human, who is in turn daydreaming about being a geometric shape? Am I real? 
Are you real, Square? The players who are currently watching our reaction, are they real? Is chat real? Can you guys prove it? What was that? To be square with you, I think you broke my fourth wall. Oh, no! He's dying! He's gonna leak! I look towards Square and realize that one of his sides is now cracked. What have I done? Just when I was able to pique Square's interest. Are you okay? Please quiet down. To be square with you, I've been mortally wounded. Oh no! Mortally wounded? Yes, I'm sorry, Star. I thought we could take our time and get to know each other slowly, but that is not to be. Square, don't die! I'm sorry, Star. No! To be square with you, I've always wanted to tell you- oh. Is this the P- the TA? Miss Happen, what do you think you're doing? Those lines are rather... sketchy. <laughs> At the dramatic climax of my daydream, I am suddenly interrupted by the uh, professor's assistant. He does not seem very pleased with me. I look around the classroom to see if any of my classmates might be able to help me, then realize that the professor's assistant and I are the only two left in the classroom. You didn't hear the end of class bell? Shocked by the hesitation I am in, now in, I look at the professor's assistant. I'm sorry. He looks at me somewhat kindly, and I realize how good looking he is. You appeared deep in thought. You didn't pay attention during class, did you? I awkwardly nod. Surprisingly, he doesn't seem angry at all. Don't worry. To be frank with you, I'm not as serious as the, uh, about the class as I act. That's good to hear. I suddenly realized what he said. Wait, is your name Frank? Yes, it is Frank Sugai. Frank Sugai? Professor's assistant. How did you guess? I'm joking, it's actually just self deprecating humor, right? No pun there, really. Other than he can, he's. If I can be Frank. I can be frank with you. A frank way. Frank's a guy? Frank's. <laughs> yes, Frank is a guy. And sometimes I am also Frank. Frankly, I think so. Frank and I stare at each other for a moment. I can't really read his facial expressions very well, but I think he looks somewhat surprised. How'd you guess? I dramatically look towards the clock in the classroom and try my best not to laugh. Lucky guess. Oops, I have to run to my next class. See you later, Frank. And so, I bolt out of the classroom. As I expected, Frank didn't try to stop me. And that was the story of how I daydreamed about dating a square. Hey, we're all done! Oh. Alright. She killed the square. The square is dead! Thanks for creating this, Elcor. I need to start reading now. Here we are. Oh, why didn't this resize? Better. Oh, I know why I didn't resize. So I need to make this bigger. There we go. You're gonna prep for dinner, so you'll be lurking with Ella's uh, throwback. How many? What year did you make this game? Do I have food? I have food. Two thousand sixteen, you believe? And somehow you developed the story to Fire Emblem Three Houses before it came out. That's pretty suspicious. You even designed the exact colors for them. That's uncanny. Yes, your, un your uncle works at Nintendo. That has to be it. Like everyone's uncle. My uncle doesn't work at Nintendo. I wish I had insider knowledge. Here it is. 
Excellent. Alcor, do you have a grandfather named Jeffrey Bezos? to order two of those. When will Amazon offer those? Well, it's warm in here. Yeah, you're welcome to cheer here for a little bit. Or you'll rather warm up. Hello, hello. Oh. What's up? One second. The screen zoomed or is it just you? Uh, it is not just you. I need to fix that. Okay, now we should be good. Apologies. Should assign clock positions, right? Yeah, um, I mean we kind of kind of halfway did it. Yeah. So, um, Var she'll be west. I'll be north, e northwest, and then whoever the main tank is, followed by Arza. Yeah. What are we doing? Are we doing the video one or? Whatever I sent the screenshots for. Oh, you're doing that one. Okay. Do you know of hey, a virtue. different one? Oh, uh. Do you have to enhance Welcome the Raiders. Strict stand uh, where I am. Okay, I guess I'm, that's what I'm where I now. Oh, it's the Gulf collab. <laughs> nice. I forget how. Uh, the video I saw had them pulling the boss to where we're standing. You can, but he just resets in the middle, anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Now that we've gotten um, closer, uh, Hey, I just heard you were explaining yeah, stuff as we as soon as we were raided. Uh, we were just kind of so going more. over positions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll I'll do, um, for the, um, when we do light parties, it's gonna be Varsh over to Will, and then Ice over to me. Block quiet. The Moose Boy? Boy that's Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, please let me know if I said your name correctly. Or if you have another name you want me to uh, Wait, refer to you by. Change it? Yeah. Yeah, Mario will be want? southeast. Do we even have the markers for this thing? I haven't seen the markers for this. Well, thing. I'm going to put it down as soon as we know where our clock spots are. I guess I do the ones in the video. Uh, we. No, our clock spots, I think, are good. What did they do in the video? They just did one through four. Yeah. Oh, well, they did all the clock positions. They did one at north. If that matters. Not really. It's Lemu, but call you whatever you like. I prefer to call you by whatever you like, so I'll call you Lemu. Thank you again for the follow.
Are you getting a call right now, Mari? One next nearby. Someone in the room want to call. Oh, I see. Food check. Oh, let me. What a base. Oh, she only had one food. Never mind. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's fine. Virtue, how was Resident Evil 7? I'm good. Were you spooked? We need to We were also playing a game with Mia in it. But this Mia was us, the protagonist, and we weren't, uh. We weren't getting killed by Mia, we were dating shapes. Alright, good. I think Circle was my favorite. Yes, I like to get around. Uh, BPS get tethers? Shrek was underneath me. Uh, tanks and healers get, uh, rot. BPS back on C. Oh, you can be closer no, than uh, that. Behind, behind, be in uh, be the back. Oh, fuck. Alright. Uh, Mari. Wait. Fuck. It passed. Yeah, could you. Yeah, uh, Cure's dead. Bye, Kier! Did the Kier run through the middle of the ball? You guys gotta wait. Everyone, uh... Sort of crowded in... I was terrified in the beginning, but after fighting Mia, you are like, Ooh, just get me through it. Bad run? Going in. Melee just murder me, let me try again. Make sure you see the melee's done, what they're gonna do. You were playing Elcor's Vision a little early, right? I'm, uh, if I remember, I'll watch the VOD back to see how that went. It was a lot of fun! I mean, based on what I know, if everyone's stacked, it shouldn't matter. It does. Because people who... There's like an immunity mechanic that you might be... ignoring. I need to, uh... Do... Yeah, it's two healers, two DPS. Hmm? I have two healers, two DPS, two healers slash tanks, and two DPS. Yeah, and we don't want any of the healers and DPS to have the immunity, or the healers and the tanks to have immunity there because they need to get the uh, healer tank tethers. Well, it's not because the healer tank tethers, it's because. No, I'm, it is healer tank tethers right now. Okay, that's I was calling it. Okay. <laughs> A DPS, uh, a rot. Wait, why are you guys stacking behind? Why is DPS stacking? DPS, get up, please. I'm not. Relax. We're not there yet. Now we are. Come get us, please. Yeah, you need to take our ice, rot. ice, ice. Thank ice. you. Okay. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, so someone's a great teller. <laughs> Uh, Kira, you needed to take Tether. Oh, well, I mean, like, they, the people who needed to pass off Tether weren't standing where they needed to be. So, yeah, I think we need to review this real quick. If you gotta pass off the Tether, you gotta just stack by the, uh, stack behind, like, party. Mm -hmm. Like, where the rot group is, you have to be behind the rot group if you need to pass Tether. <clears throat> You need to be in front if you need. Well, yes, if you want to pass tether, yes. If you want to pick up tether, um, you need to be in front of the rock group. So, if you get hit by the first blood rake, that means you can't have the tether. 
you don't take damage from the first blood rig, get the tether. If you don't have, you don't get hit by the second blood rig, uh, pick up rods. That makes sense. Yeah. I guess I'll try and call like who's got a stack where. It's for the time we just being. Have to figure it out. Just everyone knows you should figure it out. That you... Of course. But that's what like calls are for is to help people figure things out. Because the second one's gonna be uh, annoying as hell to do. Tanks, tethers. Uh, there's tanks rot. Uh, DPS, DPS stack, stack behind the boss. Stay there. Heels and tanks. Get rot and go into the boss. Hey, remember, go from the sides. Don't come in from the middle. Hey, take the here, gear. Take here, the come in. Yay. Switching districts. Team one north when uh yeah team one north. I think I can loosely go into our clock positions now. In case it's poison. Wait. Oh, you are playing in the middle then. Okay. Uh yeah. Uh, I watched how other tanks. Fine. All right, it's water. And fire. Arms length it. Yeah, and then stack up on either side of the bus. At least you're in the wrong stack. Well, no, because we don't. Uh, Strix, which side are you going to be? Are you going to be a team one or team or not? Get to the sides. Get to the sides. If he's the main tank, I'm then. The main tank during this. Then I understand. should be in the north. North is well, we need to decide. Right we need to decide because if he's, we didn't know he was gonna pull itself. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm pulling it where the, the lightning is. It's, it is, it, it's where I'm, wherever the lightning tile is. I'm gonna pull right beside it. Okay, then. That oh, means I'm gonna pull there. So then it's gonna be different. So, ever uh, so, Kier, you need to be not wherever Strix is. Everyone else have the same group. So the tanks are gonna be flexing, but everyone else. Like, it's still going to be uh, myself, Arza, and Varsh on the north side of the boss. And uh, Ice, uh, Pote, and uh, Mari will still be south of the boss. Why is Shrek spelling it to the lightning? Because it is better for uptime, because during lightning, you are standing far to the center anyways. Where the poison and lightning is, if it's poison and lightning, lightning always goes off first, then you can spread off to lightning. It's just for melee uptime. Okay, so the boss is already at the edge, then the melees can, you know, don't have to run away from the boss who is currently at the center. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Well, alright, as long as Tear can tear it up. I have to find a tiny lala. Well, well, let's mark the healers. How about that? It'll make it easier. Because it always targets the healers. That's not gonna help them find you. No, it. Well, the two, the well, flat, the that, fire That's that's so. What happens is if sh if sh the boss is pulled south, then Kier needs to be on north. If the boss is pulled north, then Kier needs to see south. That's all it is. We'll just mark these like that. There. Yeah. 
I don't mean I don't know what these these are for, but uh, the, uh, the 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 fire tile always targets the healers. So I, yeah, I understand that, but like we, it here doesn't need to know where the one healer the is because he's flexing. Are... I'm Everyone. gonna mark this. I'm gonna mark the lalafil. If he wants a different mark, we can. Because we ignore the lalafil. Anyways, I'm done. Sailor feathers. Hey, Sailor's behind. I uh, keep missing that timing. Thanks, Sailor. Stack up. DPS don't stack up. I get rot and then come to the. You guys behind should be behind the uh, thing already. Wait, what? You should be behind right now. Well, worked out. Yeah. Although, I think it was kind of just luck. It's water. He's knocked and back. Fire. My grip stack south. Ice, that includes you. Westerly shift. So we gotta go over to D, but don't stand on the lightning side. Oh! Yeah, you gotta be faster. Uh, you I have know. to be there or there. I guess what we can try and do is call the second set earlier. Well, we should we should know already. It's gonna be lightning anyways. <laughs> oh, I lightning. know, but we could call it. Wait. So the groups are a little bit different. I don't know if that's that's confusing people. We had to change up the groups because their light party is now not um, melee and range. That's correct. So Ice is now south of me, mm -hmm. and Varsh is north of them. Feathers and tanks, tethers. 
DPS will be behind. DPS rot. The DPS, you're gonna grab rot and then go behind. I can still DPS over there, so it's fine. Are you involving an exit cluster? Yeah. Well, not a thing on to the addiction. Water. <coughs> Use resist. Fire. Same as last time. Lockback resist. Stack in your parties. Gonna be a lightning next. East, go to B. B, and then to the and sides. Right. And we have to spread out. Spread out. Oh shit, spread the poison. They're not that big. I think this is fine. They yeah, be a long ass time, Jesus. Time. Yeah, you get a lot of time. That was so comforting. That's so a tank buster. Get ready to swap. Yeah, he, he uh, during Blood Ray kill swap. Lightning is safe. Yep, lightning is safe. Oh my god, that hurts! Okay, I see what I have. None of us are safe. Uh, so this is where we got our clock position, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this boss is really annoying to move. Uh, I'm already here southeast. What are your clock positions? Spot. I lost my knife. Yeah, you're in the right spot, more or less. Uh, okay. okay so, so, Will, you're uh, in the wrong spot, right? No. Wait. wait. Everybody's in the wrong, we're in the wrong spot. Yeah, we're all in the wrong spot. <laughs> we're all in the wrong spot. You guys are, are facing the boss sideways? Yeah. Why we? Why is the boss sideways? Uh, oh, it's because of here. The boss north to north. So then I come to here to think. This one. Ah. Let me pull up the chart. For yeah. This again. <laughs> here, <laughs> point it north, please. He was trying to move the boss. That's the thing. Okay, so I was standing in the right spot. <laughs> he was trying to move the boss the whole time. Um. So Will, my spot more? is four. Yours is one. So the the cardinals stay where they are. The inter cardinals rotate clockwise to them. Um, um and those are our pairs for soaking. It, no, is that what no, this is? no. It's, we go counterclockwise. Yeah, it's counter. So the cardinals go counterclockwise ninety degrees. Inner cardinals go counterclockwise forty five degrees. Uh, inner cardinals go clockwise 45. Counterclockwise. 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 Yes. Okay. So, myself and it looks like Kier will go over to where D is to pick up the DPS orb. And then everyone goes 90 degrees counterclockwise for the second one. Correct. Or whatever clockwise orb is still remaining, because there's only going to be four left. Well, what do you mean? Whatever other clockwise orb is still remaining. Whatever counterclockwise orb is still remaining. My name is Parker, and this is quitting. A lot of people think 
that nicotine is an escape from anxiety or helps relieve it. For myself, vaping and anxiety kind of went hand in hand for a long time. When I tried to quit is when I realized that my anxiety kind of stemmed from nicotine. The best thing about quitting vaping nicotine is that I feel like myself again. Need help quitting vaping? Text Ditch Vape to 88709. Nuestra determinación nos impulsa, aunque todo sea contracorriente. Nosotros vencemos obstáculos. Y cuando llegamos hasta donde nos hemos propuesto, una nueva meta aparece para conquistarla. Siente la fuerza de las superpoderosas de Honda. Pilot, CRV, Ridgeline y la totalmente nueva Passport Trail Sport. This is only going to be four after the first set of explosions. Oh, yeah, sure. So it doesn't have to be, you know, dis discreetly 45 degrees again. It's just whatever wow. is after. Yeah, we're going to need mitigation cool. for that, too. Need mitigation for the blood rake? Well, well yeah, so yeah, uh, every blood rake will have the reprisal. Yes, but, please uh, discuss or that. The orbs, we need an, an actual mitigation shield or something. Yes. Wherever that depends if we have. I understand. It. We're probably going to need wings for it. Because you're going to have to heal during the first explosion, then. I think? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like this is the first fight where I, my heals don't feel sufficient. I need more fucking willies. Because <laughs> it's like. Before I I I could just save Numa for like emergency situations, but now I feel like I have to use it on cooldown. Like my cure three is not going to get out in time for these fucking demands. I don't mind doing it, but I won't have the fucking time. I, you probably can't use cure three in this one. Yep. Uh, stay safe. Here. Ah, uh, here. Yeah. Thank you for the Lurk Virtue. I heard that, uh... Northwestern Canada is getting fucked with internet outages. Oh, fuck. What? Uh, it said in, uh, BC and AB they're doing some sort of maintenance for the next day or something. No. That's nothing, though. Not even there. <laughs> well, let's go update the yeah, category. Yeah, they're in MT, right? Of course. There he goes. Did you disconnect? Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. I'll be back in a second. Kavarsh, mm -hmm. how many times do you use, um, the soul so in a fight, on average, do you think? Mm. This fight, just the opening? Yeah, so far. I don't think the boss goes anywhere. There hasn't been any downtime. It's a channel, right? So you can't even move? Yeah, have to channel it for six seconds. It's not. So it's literally the only purpose is if you have nothing else to do. That's really weird design. I don't know why there's nothing in your kit that gives you a stack of it. You think that's bad? You should see how that the, he has only one move that can only that's used from that buff of his. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's even worse. You can't even use that whatever that soul ripper thing is or that cleave. Oh, you mean his uh, yeah, the end of his his raid buff. No. Like, you can only use it once every two minutes. 
Yeah, but that's fine. It doesn't. Does it have its own button or does it replace the. It, it has its own button. It does like 800 stomp. potency if it has everyone. Everyone's weapon damage stack, I guess. What are you talking yeah. about? Plentiful yeah. Harvest? Yeah. Yeah, that one. It does give you uh, in Shroud, though. Yeah, but you can't. You can only use it every two minutes. <laughs> it's a Thank you, well, it's fine. It's like one. technical finish, right? It's not it's really. Line it up weird. with your arcane circle like every time, though. Yeah, I think the the soul so is a weirder. It's like an add-on. It doesn't really fit in the rest of the kit, or as at least that one has synergy with the other mechanics. It's kind of like the dancer thing where they can just dance for a while and get some resource. Mm-hmm. It's useless, except in the cases where nothing's happening. Yeah, but even then I would say the dance run is better designed because it, like, the resources you're building are part of the rest of your kit, whereas this one is just this one spell. That's nice to have, but I don't know. It's just weird parasitic design. DPS uh, tethers. Can you call up who needs to stand behind the boss rather than who needs to pick up rock? Well, yeah. The healers and tanks behind. Yeah, so DPS does everything. <laughs> healers and tanks stack up. <sighs> Bye. The heals. Not too worried until we have to actually deal with the mechanic. I have bullies ready. Alright, ice, go grab yours. Uh, grab no, yours. Dead. Yeah, Sorry. see? So it's not, um, it's not always Marsh, take the tether. one range and one melee. Um, just come on. No, just, just, just give here the tether. Let's just reset. <laughs> yeah, it's not always one melee and range. I had the tether, did someone run in the middle? Yeah, Kier did. But it's because the rot was messed up and he figured he'd just invulm or die. So... The order for, for DPS for picking shit up, if we gotta do it, is, um, but it was Ice, then Varsh, then Will, then me, so in that case it would've been Ice, then Varsh was to pick up, so just make sure you're not going at the same time. If you guys wanna wait, like, a couple seconds, I can tell you, like, someone go, someone go. Just like, but um... It's up to you. Yeah. They just don't touch each other, that's it. Yeah, they just can't go at the same time, and they can't run through each other to get to it. That's fine. Let's go. The only part of that video I didn't watch was the last uh, tether mechanic on. Same thing, but uh, it's gonna be... Uh, we gotta have to figure it out, actually. Okay, well, get there when we get there. Gotta f get this, uh, balloon burst. Uh, DPS in the back? It's tank healer tethers. Yeah. Yeah, well, so DPS in the back, right? Well, that's not the oh, lot. No. Alright, DPS uh, stack behind the boss. Oh. Uh, Mari, you don't want to be there yet. Mari, don't want to be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll get yeah. in there. Alright, I'm gonna go in. Oh, yeah. I already have them. No, you go. Right in the middle. After ready, you don't need to move in. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I already got my tether. <laughs> yeah, fine, uh, uh, Kier. Oh. <laughs> no, you already had yours, Kier. Or rather, you took mine. That's why you need to be with us. Stop standing up front. Well, I didn't need rot. No, uh, if you have the rot and then all, everyone else is immune, it doesn't yeah, matter. Okay. You should stay with the group. You still need to stay Wait, with the group. It's a matter of the order. You're going to mess up the order if you don't come and... So how do you want me to call it? You told me to to, so, to decide so to, stay, for, to say who stands behind. So I, it was a I meant to do it as a to combination. Why, so for the first blood, uh, for the first blood, say who gets the tether, mm -hmm. and then for the second one, 
say who By has order. to who has to to stand behind the boss. Okay. So. Yeah. Oh, I see. So rather than saying who's doing rot, say who's not doing rot. That's basically it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I can say that. So it's easier to say, you know, DPS pick up tethers and DPS stand behind the boss rather than, you know. Yep. Okay. DPS do tethers. DPS do rot. Yep. Okay. Would it just be easier to say DPS do everything? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> no. Because they don't they have get, to always do everything. Always. They get both the shut up! Tank. Just shut up. Making too much call it in three <laughs> different ways depending on if it's like a two heads or two tails or one head and one tails. Like, come on. Well, because if the tanks get hit, just start. Just start the countdown. Just, we could just say DPS do everything. All right, all right. I'll I'll say DPS do everything. Which means you take tether and you have to take the rock. Easily done. I want to just say Strix do everything. Yeah. Can't, because I can only take one of your tethers. Breathe in and wonder is this helping? Zero cloud. Oh, Breathe out. Now you should feel much worse. Vaping nicotine can actually increase feelings of stress and anxiety. Let's call a vape what it is. It's a breath of stress air. See for yourself. Breathofstressair.com Nosotros tenemos un superpoder. El de salir siempre adelante. Las superpoderosas de Honda. Pilot. CRV. Ridgeline. Y la totalmente nueva Passport Trail Sport. Just not trying hard enough. Yeah. Does it consider that? Nah. How many tethers can you really fit on a lullaphil? Less than one. DPS tethers. Uh, thanks, Sealer Stack. I can't put Here, you want to be here right now? Yeah, no, no. I just try to get him stuck in place. Well, he's gonna turn around anyways. Yeah, I know. Right. Okay, ice, grab your thing. Alright, now we all go in front. Grab the tethers. Oh my god, Bote. So close. Ah, you're fine. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. You guys took literally zero damage from me. Why don't you clean I don't know if that's zero, but... <laughs> it's zero it's my ass! You took no damage, what do you mean? I mean, maybe emotional damage. Maybe. Here, come to our side. Come to one here. Okay, so I am always on the butt of the boss. Yes, that's, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it water, water, then fire, knockback resist, knockback resist, snow, stack up, don't stack in fire, I right, lightning, and then uh, north, poison. That's north. swords. You can spread out a little bit now if you want to. Oh my god, there's no way. I have to do my mineral combo though! How do I get from C to the boss? You just run. You just fucking run! You have to fucking look! <laughs> you have to teleport, don't you? Uh, I guess I'll try that, but... I guess you're not using ethereal manipulation, actually. Not until I know when I can use it. <sighs> Alright, I'll go away. My melee combo. Oh. 
Oh boy. Uh, oh, fire is safe. This hurts. Uh, I hate uh, video games. Yeah, oh. I'm sorry. Okay, we need him up for this. My Swift is down. Clock positions. Go to your clock positions. Clock positions. Yeah, uh, we're on a clock already. Uh, shoot. <laughs> this is gonna mess up the thing right now. I mean, everyone's gonna die, right? It's not yeah, that good. So. No, he, he's still gonna... Uh, he can still get the debuff. He just needs to okay, be up okay. before orbs appear. He got it. Yeah. My healer. Oh. Alright, so me and Varsh are soaking south first. Here, you're gonna follow me over to D, okay? To D? Yep. Here we are. Oh, oh god, I'm sorry. Uh, heal. <laughs> Close the field up. Yep. Wait until the tether's first, and then not move. Yep, yep. Come here. We need to take this together. Wait, wrong. Where are you guys going? Okay. And then take okay. the other one. Yep. And then take this one. Perfect. Wait. 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 No, it's not perfect. Oh, perfect it's for me and uh, Kier. Uh, oh! <laughs> it's gonna take me a couple of tries to see that play out. No, we did. Thank we you, did Nay. It right, Bob, we did it right. Did we? Oh, you guys yeah. took the one that we were supposed to take. What? The second one, you took ours. The one that me and Varsh were supposed to soak. Oh wait. Here, you and I did it perfectly. Me and Varsh are supposed to soak... Uh, oh wait, no, no, maybe you didn't. Me and Varsh are supposed to soak yours and Amari's. Yeah. Yep. Always. Mm -hmm. Same people. Okay. It's, it's clockwise, counterclockwise, right? Yeah. Yep, counterclockwise. So, yeah, um, uh, Avery and Kira did theirs correctly, because they went from A... To D, D to, to 3. Uh, was it? Yeah, D. Yeah. No, yeah, 3. A to D to three, just about. Yeah, that's that's correct. Okay, yeah. Yep. So I'm supposed to. We're me and Mari supposed to go to C to B to one. Mhm. Mm yeah, I got confused there because I didn't see where we we're supposed to go. Oh. Just follow me for yes. that. Oh. I'll try. I, I know what we're supposed to do, but it was just gone. Stress. Yeah. Uh, so what I'll do is, I'll move over near one of them and I'll let you come and pop it if that's okay. Yeah, that works. You can but do that if you yeah. want. That's fine. Pop it. Uh, what was the- Pop it. Um, after your- or before your tank buster, can you kind of, like, position yourself like you're going towards the center? Uh, sure. If there's nobody there, I guess, sure. Yeah, well, it's just- I don't know. It'd make it a little bit easier for me to get it more, like, centerized than having to play with it the whole time. <laughs> I just kind of aim it to a dead spot from the top hot, hot panels. Yeah. And it'll kind of help out with if it's like poison. So I intend to stand like dead center inside of it. DPS tether. Uh, DP healers and tanks stack. Stack and uh, or pick up the things and then go in front. Ice you first. Grab it, go in front, Varsh, you next. Alright, good. Varsh and get it. There we go. Grab a tether. I used to get the tether. I used to go to... Oh, no, we're dead. No, we're, we're fine. Dead. Be quiet. I guess no one's doing the positionals for the one we set up before. What oh, positionals? Uh, I don't know, it just gets a little chaotic with the uh, Well, wherever tether. Marsh Nice is, it's supposed to be like at one or two, one and four. Wherever yeah, so the way that we could do that is having Ice and Harsh pick up the tethers first, and then have Will and, Will and I go get the other one. 
Well, and me. English. Yeah. Water. Fire. Same as last time. Knockback or this now? It said I, but honestly, English is a fucking stupid thing. I think it's uh, lightning. Yeah, lightning. I think it's me there. The right, D. The is, uh... And sword. To remove it, and then uh... don't stand in the puddle. The per poison. Don't stand in the poison. Don't stand in the poison. Spread, 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 uh, spread out. Okay. Uh, Tote. Close. Oh. Having a will. Fuck! I thought. Oh, it was ice, ice kill pool. Oh, yeah. Um, um I'm trying to think of how we should. Well, you should definitely not just yolo that spread. But you have time. It's like. Yeah, it just keep it running. Go off, like... <laughs> Oh, poison C. Eat video games. Not that I'm mad. Alright, well, if that's the case, then. Poison's not right. safe because if you stand in poison, it kills you when it goes off, doesn't it? Yeah, like, yes. no, with the, the way it was tethered. That's oh, the yeah, call tethered. for the yeah. second cream. Yeah, from like the video that I've seen, is Strix will be standing in front of the boss, and DPS will be staying like. Um, on the safe quadrant, like to its side, another DPS on the above the boss, and I'll be like inside the boss. I'll be sitting at like max melee, so like I'll be fine. Shrix should be fine, and the DPS should be fine, and everybody or the range just have to kind of figure themselves out. You just have to walk away. Yeah. More or less. But not in the same direction. Yeah. You have time, don't worry. You have like a lot of time to dodge poison. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like why I wanted you to kind of face him towards the like going towards the center. Because it'll give me a safe spot, give you a safe spot, and the DPS should have a safe spot. I don't know who wants the side of it and who wants the Breathe in and wonder, is this helping? Now you should feel much worse. Vaping nicotine can actually increase feelings of stress and anxiety. Let's call a vape what it is. It's a breath of stress air. See for yourself. Breathofstressair.com Nosotros tenemos un superpoder. El de salir siempre adelante. Las superpoderosas de Honda. Pilot. CRV. Bridgeline. Y la totalmente nueva Passport Trail Sport. That's a question for Ice and Barsh. You want the butter of the side? Ice will take the side. That means you're on the butt. I'll get those cheeks. People in my chat keep calling Hesperos a dilf and I don't like it. They need to stop. They're very cursed. He is quite the specimen of the Dracula. <laughs> EPS Toby. I guess sailors and tanks stack. Uh, DPS do everything. Ice first. Uh, you have to take our tethers too. Uh, 
Hote, you gotta take the tether. Yeah, I know. It's time. Go. I gotta wait for everyone else to take the tethers, otherwise I'm gonna take their tether. You guys can be in front if you guys want to take all the tethers ready. <laughs> wait, that way you guys don't have to play dancing with the tethers. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I would just stop the stack in front. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's not always north. Okay. That's the thing. Um, good to know. Water. Fire. Fire. Knockback resist. Oh, that was too early. Lightning. Lightning. Blast. Blast. Knockback. 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 Uh, be in front, be in front. Spread after, just spread around, spread oh, around. No, 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 no. Melee can gap close in. And don't be in the poison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do not have him. I got him already. Uh, get ready for the uh, Benny. Yep, wait again, another sec. Alright, gonna okay. try and heal. We're gonna get another uh, blood rake. Blood positions, fire safe. Yeah, it's fire. We have time, right? Okay, yeah. I, I don't get ten time for another ten seconds, but we have time. We have time. He hasn't uh, marked us yet. He's what is mark this? Us. Oh. Uh, he's gonna mark us twice. This is gonna give us the, the right. buff. Then he's gonna mark it again with the uh, element. Mm -hmm. It's fire is safe. Yep. So after you get the second orb, run straight to fire. So close. Do we have um, uh, shake it up or missionary for that? Uh, I casted it before everybody went in. Okay. Oh, I this, see. the safe house still does some damage, huh? The what? Uh, the safe oh. house still does some damage. You know. Oh, it doesn't do damage. Are you standing inside the fire? Oh, the holes the themselves do damage. Isn't that what you died to, Omar? Uh, just straight up damage. Hey, Big Leaf, yes, P or S hype. Because I forgot to. See. Well, actually, I didn't even forget. I just had nothing to top myself off during that. Uh, I'll try to save Dark Missionary during the whole thing. Yeah. I, I won't do it for the Blood Rake then. Okay. I mean, we, don't we already have um, Shake It Off for Blood Rake? We don't need to stack them. Yeah, I should be getting that, so. Okay, um. <laughs> Let's just. Prizal every blood rake and thing then. Yeah, I'm trying to get the first blood rake. Okay, we'll just do it that way. But we'll prize the blood rakes and then shake it off for the whenever you need to. I'll dark missionary the Oh, uh, whatever the orbs. Yeah. I don't think that's enough though. Dark missionary alone is not enough. I mean it's not, but like I'm just trying to heal during it. Yeah. Your statics like, in P3S at phase, can't wait to somewhere get somewhere here, this fight looks like a trip. Oh, I think this fight is way singing? easier than uh, I can, I can uh, save it for P3S. That P3S. P3S is just yeah, annoying so to look at, especially. We can't add all that because the damage isn't from him. Okay. Yep. Oh, should we let Strix get his food? Yes. Oh, well, yeah, fine. That's only 4,000 health. That's a lot. <laughs> Helpful. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. It's the precipice between life and death. I 
man with the truck? See this pause? You going in? You going? How? How does this keep happening? What's up, Molly? So, Periactoy doesn't seem all that complicated, right? It's just... How does this keep happening? You stand in the circle. It's another one. And then, if you're not in the circle, you pick up the tether. And then you stand in the circle. If you're not in the circle, you pick up the rod, right? Yeah, same thing. Same uh, concept as the first. It's impossible. To take hold of the world spotlight overnight. Create your own uniform. Be a cover model, a powerful athlete, or compete as a trans woman. Impossible? No. I'm possible. My discount goes a long way in Bob's Discount Furniture. In fact, four sections long. My Lux Four Piece Sectional. Super comfy with soft chenille like fabric. Super stylish with 10 accent pillows that I don't charge more for. And it's available in two colors. All this style and comfort for my everyday low price of $19.99. Space tight? Go with the two piece for an untouchable $13.99. Either way, that's a lot of sections for an untouchable price. Shop what's in stock in store or at mybobs.com. Yeah. I mean, it sounds as simple as that. I think, um, isn't Periactoy just the one that blows up the tile that's not marked as safe? Yeah. So then there's feathers and towers that I gotta do. And then rotten towers, and that's it. Their bosses are usually pretty quick. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a fifty percent, or what is it? Forty nine. Yeah, forty nine. So, um, 
the well with the the lone burst not the lone burst the second set of tethers and rot uh our partners are slightly changing um if you're on a cardinal you're rotating clockwise to your ranged fellow and that's it it's uh, uh for the towers yeah for the tower phase that's right yeah, there's no bursts during that, so it's just... Yeah, there's no bursts. There's only one burst phase, right? It's bursts, and then coils, and then just repeat until finish. Mm -hmm. Okay. This fight reminds me a lot of Kafka. A little really? bit, yeah. That's what I was thinking for a second. I'm a little mad. I mean, I like Kafka. Like, Door yeah. Boss Kafka, or...? No fake-out mechanics. Yeah, yeah like, I feel like the fake-out mechanics is the most memorable part about Kafka. There's a cursory similarity to some of the mechanics, I think, but... In terms of, like, he had tether orbs, I think? Uh, the... The... the, the God Kafka did. God Kafka had the skulls, that's right. Yeah. Neo Kefka. Ah, uh, DPS, DPS take tethers, yep. Uh, DPS stack. The other tanks take your thing and then go behind us. Rix and then P and then Amari. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You just be right right in the back. Like where I am standing. <laughs> you can be there. Oh, never mind. Uh, well, you're on the wrong side. Water. And poison. Go to your clock positions. Lightning. South. Knockbacks. So stand in front of it ish. <laughs> yeah, already like heal heals for all that. I mean I took a hundred K damage. I was standing on the panel like an idiot. Where did you take a hundred K from? I from the lightning. Lightning. Can you not move quick enough? I was not far away enough, even though I was right in front of the cape. Well like your snapshot thing or something. It could be a snapshot, it could be that it's just like exponentially less damaged by it like is. a foot. It is. You basically <laughs> have to be in this outer you just have to be here just to this you. outer tiles. I don't even know how I died to hey, the Izzy. Alien. Or if it doesn't have enough health. Yeah, but I don't know why you were so low in the first place, because water doesn't do any damage. Boots, man. My arm's length didn't go off, but I was still not in range of any of the other, um... Uh, poison did a lot of damage, that's for sure. Well, that poison is what killed him. Then he must have gotten double stacked, even if it didn't look like it. Well, what, what, what are I we didn't... talking about? How Versh died? Yes. Yeah. He ate a tick of the lightning puddle when he got oh, knocked back, and that oh, knocked him right. down That's to like right. under fifty percent. You can't. So like, you know how each of the tiles has that like the crater, the hole. If you stand in that, you get a dot. So don't stand in. Oh. That. Well, yeah, that, that dot fucks you up. Yeah, normal mode also has the same thing. Don't stand in that because you get a dot. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Yep. Well, I guess oh, that was just a visual thing. Nope. Nobody assumed that you would stand in a. Hit of fiery hell in order to find out. Yes. 
I don't like these spikes because they're clearly spaced out enough that any one of us could stand in between them, but we still die. Yeah, welcome to Alexander. They are glowing, so presumably there's some weirdness going on with them. Weird vampire magic. Deep weird vampire magic. Me too. Uh, DPS tether. Tank stack. DPS grab your tether, then go through them into the boss. Or er, er, rock. I send me. I should have waited, but whatever. Go into the boss. Usually just south and north, anyhow. Uh, I've noticed people are forgetting where you are. I think it's just familiarity because they're used to going with the other healer. Mine next. Lightning. Fire. Alright, uh, my team to the corner. Alright, go ahead. Oh my god, I'm not getting healed. Northerly shift, it's swords, so don't stand in front. Oh, oh it. Oh, I forgot, <laughs> I just forgot about the knockback. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, you know what? It, you know what? You know what really helps? When people in voice chat say something. <laughs> but no one expected it. No one expected it. <laughs> no one expected it. <laughs> Will did, which is why he's giving a shit. Every oh. single time, it's been the other way. Mm -hmm. Well, if if it's lightning and poison, then it has to be next no. to the Well, way. yeah, well, forget. Strix, I don't see you doing it correctly. What do you mean? I died during the yeah. <laughs> during the auto. Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't do it correctly. You weren't yeah, supposed no to one die. Me during the after that. I was Maybe healing you. you. Stop dying. <laughs> don't you see cardio on you? That was me healing you. Yeah, that was like nothing healing me there. <laughs> yeah. Man, all I'm hearing is bitching from our dark night. Zero. You keep bitching, I'm not gonna heal you anymore. He's a wall of fella, it's in his nature. Watch, don't make uh, all my uh, GCDs have heal in it. Just watch. <laughs> like, yeah, alright. Bring back you just be like me Wasn't that blood weapon? That used to be and the old like, blood weapon. Six was years no, they have. Oh, that was an old blood weapon, was it? I thought blood weapon used to give you health. No, it gave MP, like massive MP. Like every I'm thinking about every... blood price, are you? I think oh, it was blood price. price. Yeah, it's probably blood price, actually. Now that was MP battery. Only in AoEs, though. APS, Tyler. DPS stack. It's impossible to take hold of the world spotlight overnight, create your own uniform, be a cover model, a powerful athlete, or compete as a trans woman. Impossible? No. I'm possible. My discount goes a long way at 
Bob's Discount Furniture. In fact, four sections long. My Lux Four Piece Sectional. Super comfy with soft chenille like fabric. Super stylish with 10 accent pillows that I don't charge more for. And it's available in two colors. All this style and comfort for my everyday low price of $19.99. Space tight? Go with the two piece for an untouchable $13.99. Either way, that's a lot of sections for an untouchable price. Shop what's in stock in store or at mybobs.com. Hey, ladies and tanks, grab your stuff and go behind. Tricks first. Here, go, go behind, behind, please. Go behind. There you go. You can be right here, Kira. That's fine. Yeah. I was worried. I, I was waiting for Kira to move because he was technically in front of me. That weapon upgrade boosted ice and DPS by like a crazy amount. It's yeah, two weapon anything. damage. Yeah. It's crazy. Hey, I got divs on the next one. I think I did that too early. Yeah, I did. Oh! oh. <laughs> the okay. lap. Bye, guys. <laughs> the fucking wall. I did that too early. I was gonna have to let Kier take two. Ice, are you reporting them or me? <laughs> We're not winning. <laughs> not by nice log shot. Dude. They reported him when he forgot his food. Fair enough. Strix is infringing on our gaming experience. By being on Leaking LFL. Illegal activities. LFLs are the master race here. Mm. Mm. Bold yet wrong claim. <laughs> the masters of starch. What's so superior? Why is there only one of you right now? Because I'm like the only one in this <laughs> the guild with the lava belt. They actually have like kind of a crazy amount of diversity in terms of race and gender in this stack. DPS to other. That's true. The only thing we don't have is Rodons, but nobody plays those. Oh, and the... Uh, um, DPS stack? Oh, it's DPS stack. And the, um, the race that came out with the era that no one plays. Except, like... Sure. It's like Standing a behind. hard for you. Yeah, go behind. behind. Yeah, I was trying to avoid Kier the whole time. Yeah, Kier's just fucking running wherever he wants. <laughs> because I'm still very oh. confused about oh. this mechanic. Oh. Why don't you ask questions then? It's, it'll eventually be like... Oh, like, oh. like well, where's your food? <laughs> I got him. That's what Miss Frizzle says. Wait, no, he has food. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He, his gear just oh. sucks. Food? No. Oh, cause each class changed. Yeah, imagine playing Bard. Yeah, you know that 1% could have hit the HP increase would have been nice. Okay, again, <laughs> we don't have the 1%, I mean <laughs> HP, I guess, but like, he's doing more damage, so it's fine. Stop harassing me. Okay, don't lightning, freak out, lightning. lightning. Don't freak out. Fire my group to the corner. Oops, I used Surecast. Oh shit. Can... <laughs> we can, we can... South, no, South. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can, do that. can we go back? Yeah, no, you your... no, we can. We can. So what we'll do is. Cory <laughs> doesn't have a dash. <laughs> Let's find. We I'll miss the raid. Are we winning? No, we're not. <laughs> if we all walk, then we're fine. <laughs> we don't. We're not winning. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I am too. I'll try to make a move. Uh, I'll try to get the boss to move like sh as back here as possible. Right. So the DPS can be over here and it just. Josh is real. Yeah. Marty just. So all we'll do is if this if this thing is here, if the boss is here, 
You guys will be, um... Thank you like for the community hydrate, side. everyone. Please yeah, take yeah, a sip of water. And then we'll be Gabe, on this are you hyped for FE Warriors? Right? Not of, really. Uh, I wasn't a fan work. of the first one. Here and then just let the melees do uh, their thing from Max Melee. Like, am I interested in seeing it? Sure. Am I yeah, we, gonna we get it day stacks, one? So one stack's no, gonna be probably here. Not. No, one stack's gonna be here. The other gonna be here. Wait a minute. Like, can't we... Since there's, like, enough time for us to get in our positions, just, like group up, and once lightning goes off, then the other group will move, like, behind it or to the side or someplace that's not over. Why wouldn't we just They're reposition at... it? Just bring it to the thing, and then one group will go east or north, and the other one will go south. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, I'll just tell I you mean, we can't go east because that's where... Well, no, actually we can because um, that's where... Lightning once was. Lightning off, yeah. yeah, once lightning, lightning goes off, off, we can technically turn. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, yeah, strict, you know, my group can, you know, start here and then rotate this way, and then your group can come in from that corner. Well, no, they don't have to. Well, we weren't going to go all the way to the corner. We are going to stay near the boss the whole time. Like oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Technically, you guys can just come with us, right? Just stack with us, and then we split up this way for... Or oh, you guys so can just move stay, yourself, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather you, you not guys leave. don't have to be over there, like, all, all the way over here. You don't have to be here. So, yeah, if it's lightning and fire, you can literally just stay with us for lightning, and then we split up into our small groups. Okay, but well, your group's moving, mine's staying put. Why? Because I don't want to move! Wow, what a lazy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> No, he Gerald, you never want to move. <laughs> he has manipulation, he doesn't want to use it. What good does that do? <laughs> it happened so fast, there's no manipulation. You want me to get snapshot and blow you up? The only thing he wants to manipulate is everyone else, so he doesn't have to move. Man, you'll bitch so much. <laughs> final bitching 14. <laughs> Except it won't be the final one, because tomorrow you're gonna do it, and the day after. The day after tomorrow, try next Tuesday. You find something to bitch about tomorrow. Think about Lost Ark? Probably. I don't play any Lost Ark today. Yeah, I don't know. You guys bored of it already? Uh, DPS Taylor <laughs> played after Root. I just... Eh, I don't know. I'll try it tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna play it fully though. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a permanent fixture for me. Uh, healer strength stack, DPS do everything. Yeah. yeah, be Strix. Are you happy? Yeah, it's easy, right? Just DPS do everything. <laughs> we can just sit here and just do, just not have to do anything. I heard they made uh, 1.4 billion from uh, Lost Ark already? From just the Founders packs? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we reached a an era of gaming where games will make insane amounts on like just Twitch hype. And early access. And then they'll just drop off. There's so many games that are going to be like New World where they just sell a billion copies and then just fucking gone in a week. But still, that's kind of insane, like 1.4 billion off of that already. <laughs> There's a lot more gamers in the world than there used to be. Mm -hmm. yeah, North People are willing to, to try these games that they don't okay, really want to play. It's sign worse, at least in that. Water. Fire. Knockback resist now. Party stacks. Alright, it's gonna be, uh, lightning and then poison. Yeah. Westerly shift with swords. I'm gonna Actual fuck off. Thought. Oh! I'm gonna fuck off. Yeah, it's red. I'll get Fote. Yeah. Oh. 
pop all the in here. Um, actually, no more healing for both things. Water egg? Water egg. Oh. Oh. Shoot, okay, uh... I don't have swift. I got it. Perfect again. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, Just do your best. Block positions. He's gonna do all this manipulation stuff. Uh, yeah. yeah, that was actually a really good time. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes Walk a mile in my shoes Well, before you abuse, criticize and accuse Walk a mile in my shoes I hope buffs come up here. Not no, three time. minutes. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna dark missionary around this blood ring. Or no, after. No, I got it. Okay. Okay, never mind. I did it too early. Or never mind, I did. Okay, I'm gonna go barrier right now. Cool. Yeah, that sounds good. Fire blood up. Um, water. damn it. Okay. You gotta be a water. Be a water. Oh, I it's, missed it. It's not enough. Much. Um, I yeah. think all that we need to do is we need to, to squish it in. Like, do exactly what we're doing, but we just pull in tighter to the boss so heals can reach further. I, it, it's, I think the heals are reaching. I don't think we're healing enough. Um, hey, um, hey. Do two people have to soak it? Yes. Can two, I two, solo soak it? No. You will uh, die. Even with all my cooldowns? So is there things we can do to mitigate it? Uh, For which part? For the orbs. Can tanks solo solo tank it? No, you can't. No. Is uh, that a good moment to faint? Uh, no, faint won't work for not. that. The only ones that are going to work are um, uh, ones that target that buffs the players, not the debuff the enemy. So like, Troubadour would be useful, but not. Uh, yeah. What gets he popping up for it? So I'm using yeah, all those. I, I don't remember if I have Panima. I should have Panima for it. Yeah, because they're on the four minute mark, I should have Panima. Uh, are you using uh, Temperance, Mari? Uh, I can be? I was just cluttered up from trying to pay attention to the mechanics, but I'm pretty sure it should be up by then. I'm trying we, to play. We don't have sh we don't have shake. We do have dark missionary. We do have uh bi uh magic barrier. We should have temperance there. Okay. What sucks is that I probably won't have any fucking loads. Uh, just full medica two after the blood raid. How about that? that should I'm be going to pray that it's enough. That should be a, a, enough if all the shields are up, I guess? Or resistance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have, I, I have a Zoe Numa in between the first and second orbs, but like we still need another like 8k healing. Yeah, so Medica 2 will probably do that easily. I care. Um, if you see me close enough to the orb, you can run into it. I won't be able to run into it because I'm casting heals. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I just need to share it with you, but I don't need to be the one to pop it. It's okay. a fairly large AoE. Just don't do it too soon. Wait until we have, like, it, you know, 80% of our health or something. Yeah, I'll shield you as well, so we can at least... The first one won't be so bad. See if Mari's back. Yeah. Oh, no one cares if I'm back. Did you say BRB? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear it. back. So I'm through another radio check. Healer to each other. DPS stack. Healer's tanks do everything. Wow. It's time. Typical of Black Page, make us do everything. <laughs> I think it's a standard. Healers adjust. <laughs> Hear you first? I gambled with my health and was successful. Was it worth it? A little bit. Unless that was a high damage roll. Um, then I just died. I like how you're still taking autos when he's not even doing any animation. Yeah, it's it's a thing for this boss, that's why. <laughs> I feel like he's just tacking you through Oh like... my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Lightning. 
poison. Oh, bye Definitely. guys. Uh, lightning, oh, no, no, lightning, here. Lightning's gonna be safe. Just wait until lightning. Now move in. Now spread. Oh, we gotta spread. It's gonna be okay, he says. I was like, fuck that. The lightning tile is gonna be okay, so you can go up Lightning becomes safe, and then you can just spread out. Yes, well, you have to spread out amongst the lightning. Yeah, Yes. Or you could do what I did and was fucking off the rest of you guys. You essentially can just kind of get in our position. I just ran to the opposite side of the room. Yeah, like, you literally could just stand with me at the boss, Farsh, if you want. Then once we can transition over, you can go to the you know, other there side. There is nothing or, I could have done to save them. It would be ice that's with me. And it would just go over to the other side. What? Uh, it's for lightning. Um, poison. Like, we can just pre-stand where we need to be at. My name is Parker, and this is quitting. A lot of people think that nicotine is an escape from anxiety or helps relieve it. For myself, vaping and anxiety kind of went hand in hand for a long time. When I tried to quit is when I realized that my anxiety kind of stemmed from nicotine. The best thing about quitting vaping nicotine is that I feel like myself again. Need help quitting vaping? Text Ditch Vape to 88709. card. DPS sellers. DPS do everything. No. I can't stack for you. Be in front of Back us. In front. Lightning. Fire. Oh, okay. Oh, you guys aren't doing it? <laughs> yeah, I thought you guys were going to be in melee range. That's okay. Yeah, I thought you guys were going to do it, whatever. It's fine. Knock back. North? Yeah. Yep. In front. Uh, arms like the guys. Arms oh, I like the oh. I didn't see the other one go off. Spread. Alright, oh, you have to double arms like that. Ah, we're getting auto-attacked! <laughs> yeah, we're oh. <laughs> yeah, 
I, I don't know. I forgot the timing was. Uh, it's pretty fast. The timing for that. Yeah, because I thought it would show both of them going, then it would do its thing. You can immune both of them. Mm -hmm. uh, the knockback and the water. Water in the keep. Yes, Tyler. Uh, DPS stack. They give the. Roll call and go behind. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck to do with it at this point. Sometimes it's glorious and sometimes it's just not. Take a short break. Yeah, sure. Do the melees want to go to their clock positions or spread around the boss? That makes would sense. Be nice. Well, when the boss is positioned like that, half the spread is not available. Uh, so I think what Kier had in mind was. You do the clock positions, and then the person who is blocked stands right under their hitbox. Right right under the boss's hitbox. And everyone else is like sort of max melee. And then the range just fucks off wherever. Yeah. Sounds a lot easier said than done. Good so try. I'll be standing still then. I'll be standing still facing the boss, so then yeah. she'll be under. Yeah, it's like you're always going to be in the same spot. I'm going to be dead center because it doesn't matter about I don't care care about positionals and yeah. the DPS it's like yeah. Var said he's going to be the Tushi on the clock. and then Ice was going to be on the side I feel like you've been using that Kitsu doll for the past like 
four years. Oh, he's dead. What a shame. F. Are you still trying to figure out when to use uh, your bell? Timings are just so off. But I'm sure I'll figure something out. Um, or at least study. Do you have Bell? What's the range on Bell again? Do you have it for uh, orbs? I'm pretty sure I do. That's gonna be like a good place. Like ninety percent sure I should. At least they are guaranteed to be taking damage. Yeah, I'll be taking three instances of damage, and then the Lily will stay around for maybe two of that. Or rather, two steps. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because the Blood Rake, there's a lot of time between the Blood Rake and the actual orbs damage, huh? So, I think... Hmm. I can either Hollows the Blood Rake, or I could Hollows the orbs. Maybe the blood rake, so we can have the damage reduction while we're doing the orbs. The uh, I think it's more than twenty seconds between orbs and blood blood rake. It's a long time, I think. Yeah, you have a point. That would probably have to be something I really have to find a look into. Timeline. B4S timeline. Let's see. Uh, balloon burst. Balloon burst is when the orbs appear, right? So, I think. Um, there's ten seconds between. Yeah, there's ten seconds between blood rake and when the orbs appear. So I imagine I'd only I'd be able to use hollows on two of those. On the blood rake and the Breathe in and wonder, is this helping? Breathe out. Now you should feel much worse. Vaping nicotine can actually increase feelings of stress and anxiety. Let's call a vape what it is. It's a breath of stress air. See for yourself, breathofstressair.com. Discover card. The first orb. It'll, it'll be close though. <laughs> um, which means I can save Arachel for both uh, sets of orbs. And then I also have uh, Numa in between the first and second orb. I should have. I don't know if I'll have Panheima. Let me think. So I'm using the first Panheima for Blood Rakes. No, yeah, after the second. Uh, before the first. Before the second Blood Rake. Although I don't know if that's a great idea. Hmm. Might... Might change up when I use Panheimer. The 
I don't know if my Anheima is even blocking the damage from the tether at all. Yeah, I would say so. It's like 25 seconds between Blood Rake and the other damage going up. So, in that case, I'm going to be using Holos and Panheima for the two Blood Rakes. Holy. Can it work? Uh. Maybe not, because it's 15 seconds apart, and my shield only lasts 15 seconds. Hmm. I'll try it and see what happens. I don't know. And then the next time I have and Haima up is after <clears throat> Basically, just save Panheima through all of Pinex. Or do I? Part of me says I shouldn't. Because if I don't. Then I'll have Kenheima back for the three decolations at the during enrage. Okay, so I'm thinking. Hollows on Yeah, Hollows on the Blood Break. Which should cover the first orb and then Arachel for the both orbs and Numa in between them. Everyone nice. Heck. We got him. Seventy, probably seventy. It's about okay. halfway through the okay. door boss. He pushes at like forty-nine point six. What do you? Yeah, something like that. Um, and then he repeats like after uh, I think the second set of uh, towers. Yes, that's right. He starts repeating mechanics. Food check. My oh boy, more pumpkin potter. I only have 10 seconds left of mantra. Uh, hey, 
this tank stuff is. DPS stack, healers and tanks do all the things. Rixie first. coming in or not? I oh, I thought they were coming in, that's why I left. Ah, shh. North. Turn north. Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I see now. Um... So I, just I, I, the, I think I said shoot north was the arm's length. You, you're supposed to arm's length that one. Whenever it's water, you arm's length. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. you meant true north as in, like, north is where we had to go. No. I was going to say arm's length, but I said true north on accident. I went, I, I mean, I went north because he said true north. <laughs> it was north. Oh, north okay. was where we were supposed to go. Yeah. That's why I was confused. <laughs> I, I think you have to do it like when it's half the bar of the southerly, or wherever the northly wind or sh northly shift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it's like half the bar, just uh, pop your arms like swift cast, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Um. Or... So yeah. So group two, what are you doing when it's lightning and fire? So group one knows where to go. I mean, we'll just go close to where you are. We don't have to stack on top of you. Yeah, well, they I don't mean... have to stack on top of us. We're just gonna do our fire in melee range. Okay. As long as you guys aren't on top of us, just so we're aware. Yeah. <laughs> they okay. should be right beside the boss, like right here, because we'll be right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they should be like around here somewhere. Okay. Max melee. Yep. That's fine. It's not why Strix died though. Strix just died to damage, I think. My name is Parker, and this is quitting. A lot of people think that nicotine is an escape from anxiety or helps relieve it. For myself, vaping and anxiety kind of went hand in hand for a long time. When I tried to quit is when I realized that my anxiety kind of stemmed from nicotine. The best thing about quitting vaping nicotine is that I feel like myself again. Need help quitting vaping? Text Ditch Vape to 88709. Mitigate the fire. Throw your 
Or your cooldowns. Well, I guess we could use our cooldowns. There's no because the yeah, there's. I guess we yeah. could use cooldowns. I fucking hate use tricks. That, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> fucking hate use tricks. <laughs> well, this was so much easier being a paladin. This guy's right. always <laughs> bitching about dying. He doesn't use his fucking mitigation. But be a paladin. Don't let your dreams be me. No, but then paladin sucks ass after that. <laughs> well, let's stop bitching. They're just there to take the hit. That's it. I didn't see what the first one was. Did it was, uh, it's, uh, DPS get the tethers. Okay. You can also double check by seeing who took damage. Uh, yeah. Healers. Tank stack? Uh, DPS stack. DPS stack. Oh. So it's, uh, tank healers do. No, sorry. DPS take oh, yeah, the tethers. Yeah, yeah. DPS take the tethers. Uh, Care, be Amari. careful, keep Amari. Yeah. Oh wait, you should. Oh yeah. He yeah. needed fucking help, and I he tried to heal. Oh no, that was my fault. I missed the. I missed one. My leg. Oh. <laughs> His leg. That was my fault. I, I noticed one of my heals it wasn't used. I like had to slither up like a snake and pray that that lily would save them. It is lightning, then it will be water right after. Mm -hmm. It is water, and fire, knockback resist. Get ready to go to the edge. East. Of the east. east. And it's a knockback. Oh shit. No, it's not a knockback. Yeah, oh, that is, God. it's a knockback. Oh, it's that knockback. I thought you said it meant water knockback. No, it's the... I already know it was water. Or, I already know it was, um... Lightning, because you said so, but then I said knockback because of the cape. I feel like that would be a better knockback to resist. No, uh, you want to knock back the water. I want to what? Knock back water, or knock back immune water. Every single time. How come? Because water, if it's water and fire, then <laughs> you won't be in position for the fire. You just have to get knocked back together. To the same spot. It's... Cause that's it's... a lot further of a knockback than the water is. Water just knocks you back a little ways from the center. Yeah, but uh, if the... Does that one blast you across the room? It Was it water from that one? Or was it lightning? No, yeah. it was lightning, yeah. It was lightning, and then... Yeah. So yeah, that knockback knocks you like across the whole room, but you have time to move after. Like, you can avoid everything else. Except for the panel that's poison. Yeah, you can't avoid that one. Hmm. Technically, melees can just gap close, cancel it. Yeah, well that too works too. <laughs> if people are using it. Tank tether. DPS stack. The other tanks do you think? 
There's the heal that I missed. Well, oh, fuck. Well, now you do it because it's your butt on the line. Hmm? Who's taking tethers? Hey, you guys. Okay. We're doing everything. Guys, we need to take tethers. I've stood in the wrong place. Okay, we have plenty of time. Here, please, me. You need him. Akira uh, has so much aggro right now, but oh god, try it, I'll beat him. No, it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, dance off. <laughs> Lightning. Fire. Just like, uh, like where is my group like, even at? <laughs> where the one is. <laughs> You're the one who's supposed to. Uh, south. South and sword. Knock back. Now. Knock back now. Uh, oh, jeez. I remember. Split up. Split up. I thought that was lightning. Uh, so Not in the poison. That, Don't spread out in the poison. Uh, oh, no. uh, <laughs> have he has so much time. Like, I made it to the other side of the map, just walking. Wait, no, Will, let me die with you! Will, come back! Will, come back! Will, come back! Oh, Will, come back. Oh, it's, no. a, it's a two-hitter! Oh! Sure. <laughs> How did you forget? You're the one healing it! Look, I sometimes disregard the punishments of life. Alright, so, my, what I was doing with Penheim was completely useless. Do it at like 34 seconds. So, yeah, I don't know where the groups are going actually. Yeah, like, it's, no, it's, let's just mark someone and go to them. Is Strix groups moving or is the. You're... No, the group know. that's not me is moving. <laughs> I'm staying okay. put. Well, where are you going? Are you going to the corner again, or are you going to the cardinal? Mm, I, I thought we were going like the inter cardinal on the boss. Okay. And they could just well, both light, do the. Well, lighting the pop first, and then and then here after. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what do you mean? Oh yeah. Okay. If this box is like, I guess. Because there were just like two groups of just random. All right. People all right. Actually, that's true. So you're pulling it. You're pulling it always to the lightning, right? Yeah. So that well, means wherever that... the lightning and poison is, that's where it's gonna be pulled to. Okay, so if it, I'll always go to the the poison, but if it's always between lightning and poison, then I'll go to the poison one. Uh, my group will go there, and you guys can can. Well, if it's lightning and poison, you can't be in the poison after, but whatever. You all figure it out. Well, if it's fire. Yeah, but if it's poison. Well, if it's lightning can't... and poison, then we're not stacking up. So that's correct. Yeah. We get to split up in the lightning tile. Yeah, it's the light and the fire one. Anyway, let's do it. I don't have I ever seen lightning and poison? Yes. Yeah. We were discussing it during our break what what to do with the melees during the poison. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I don't have uh, make sense. That sucks. Oh. oh, I was wondering what all that noise was. I did like get slapped by the boss once, but that's okay. Ow, you're it's fine. No okay. <laughs> you're fine. Uh, DVS, so Um, healers and tanks stack. Wasn't it? You're never responsible for unauthorized purchases on your Discover card. Cat
Coalition. It's so good to see you all. All right, let's brainstorm. Any ideas for new members? I'd like to nominate Alaska Airlines. This neck pillow I'm dating says great things. Ooh. A caring airline? Wait, those exist? It says here they were the first airline to switch from plastic bottles to boxed water. They also hire a lot of people from caring professions. I'm seeing former teachers and nurses. Oh. It's settled. Alaska Airlines is officially in the running. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> Get Us. Yeah. Okay. Stack in the middle. You guys have full HP. You'll be fine. That will you. Yeah. I don't take damage during others. Unless I want you to. That is true. Yeah, I guess I prefer it this way. Normal with my Lily is actually a super nice caution, so I'm okay with this. Spread out right there. Yeah, hey, it's gonna gosh. be a lightning after he jumps. Last, so go to D. Don't stand on. And it's gonna be spread after it. Oh, it's, oh. it's stack, isn't it? Yeah, it's stack. Uh, stack. Cool. Yeah. Can I group here? Oh, wait, no, I can't go there. Can't be on the fire. Where's. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Hello, guys! <laughs> we said stack! <laughs> Yeah, I was like, where's, where's my group on fire? I was like, wait a sec, what's going what do you on mean? here? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Well, it okay. can't let's, stack okay. on the fire for so, that. So, okay, let's... No, it's, team, so it's okay. easy. We'll just do... So, my okay. team will stay on the edge, and your team will go into the middle. So, so another change I want to make. Okay. My team just always be with Strix. Don't have... Uh, and K, you're always on the butt. Yeah. Alright, let's just maintain that. Don't, let's, let's not like slip, flip flop for the one instance where we have to go south. I didn't realize that we could also go east and west, though. That's why I made that suggestion. But, like, uh, Arza, Varsh, and myself just always be with Strix. Is that fair? So we'll be on top of the boss, like inside the hitbox, and then Kyo will be outside here just doing this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll just be down that way. So for, for that fire, when we're on the edge of the fire, I'll just stay on the here and you guys can go inwards, right? No, we're inside the boss's hitbox. We're going to be like right here, right inside the boss's hitbox. And you'll be just outside, like right here. Or hmm. to the sides. Depending yeah, on whatever, which seeing. way you wanted. Not yeah, anywhere that's way. not on the fire tile, but not underneath the boss. Because uh, the DPS wants their D DPS, so they could just do it here. 